Chapter 376 Dilemma Can't the city gate be guarded? Xiang Xuai was stunned. In an apocalyptic world where zombies and mutated beasts are rampant, it is difficult for ordinary people to imagine how difficult it is to build a foundation. After taking control of Wushui County step by step, Xiang Xuai put a lot of effort into the defense system in order to maintain this foundation. Building the city walls and gates consumed a lot of various materials and labor. In Xiang Xuai's heart, this city gate is an important defense for protecting Wushui County. And it also gives her a great sense of security. Now that Jiang Lusher said that the city gate could not be defended, Xiang Xuehai felt a little sad for a while. But reason told her that Jiang Liusher's judgment was right. Not only the huge water monster outside that expanded like a balloon, but also the flood that was slowly spreading. As long as it continues to soak, the foundation of the city wall will be washed away, hollowed out, and collapse sooner or later. Once the city wall collapses, there will be zombies floating from the water and the unpredictable water monster underwater. She looked outside the carriage again, at the low temporary shacks built along the base of the city wall. In the shacks, there were skinny survivors lying or sitting to avoid the heavy rain. There are hundreds of such shacks as far as the eye can see, densely packed together, and they are all packed with people. Those foreign survivors who came in before, such as Chi Lao, did not care about ordinary people at all and naturally they would not evacuate these people. But Xiang Xuehai couldn't help but shuddered when he thought of the consequences. Luo Jun Jiang, send your men quickly and call on all the people to move to higher ground. Tell them that the area around the city wall will be very dangerous. Xiang Xuehai got out of the carriage and said seriously to Luo Jun Jiang who was standing outside the carriage. Wushui County is a county town built on mountains. At the base of the city wall, the water now reaches the top of the feet. When Xiang Xuehai spoke, it was an imperial edict for Luo Jun Jiang. He quickly brought a group of city guards to evacuate the survivors in the shacks. At this time, there was a loud boom. The entire city wall trembled, and large pieces of rubble were scattered everywhere. The city gate seemed to have been hit by a huge hammer, and a dark tentacle eight or nine meters long was thrown heavily on the iron city gate. A large piece of the city gate suddenly protruded, and the entire iron gate was swaying. I was afraid that if it was hit again, it would not be able to hold up. This deafening sound made the ordinary survivors, who had just escaped into the city change their expressions. Chirp. A strange, long groan came from outside the city wall. From above the city wall, the huge balloon-like water monster poked its head out from the 20-meter high city wall, supported by eight long tentacles. Its pair of triangular eyes shone with a cold light as it stared at the people inside the city wall. Being stared at by this small mountain-like water monster, the survivors in Wushui County suddenly panicked. Even Jiang Lusher in the base car felt an inexplicable pressure. In the end of the world, whether they are zombies or mutant beasts, they are very aggressive towards humans. And the same is true for these monsters in the water. There are also several city guard members on the city wall observing the situation outside. At this moment, they wanted to escape. And a long tongue came out of the big water monster's mouth. The long tongue covered with thorns and thorns swept across, scraping against the city wall, making a squeaking sound and trapped the city guard team members one by one. The city guard members screamed and tried their best to resist, but they were wrapped in mucus on their long tongues, and soon their heads drooped and they lost their voices. Now there is no need for Luo Junjian to appeal. Many survivors know what to do. Many people rush to higher places in Wishui County. This water monster is poisonous! The base vehicle had already started up at this time and was running to higher ground following the crowd. Jiang Liosher's eyesight was stronger than the others and he had already gotten into the small bunker-like war room on top of the base vehicle. The giant water monster's tongue was covered with viscous liquid. When stained with this liquid, the members of the city defense team became stiff and motionless, with no ability to resist at all. The same was true for the mutated zombie just now. It was contaminated by the mucus that touched its wrists and gradually lost its power. That thing seems to be a mutated pufferfish. Sun Changshin, an old water conservancy expert, was at the back of the car, looking at the water monster through the rear window, and suddenly said something in his mouth. Yes, some physiological characteristics are very consistent with the appearance of a pufferfish. The old professor nodded, while observing the appearance of the water monster. Well, the belly is snow white. The body can inflate like an air bag. The snout is short. And the mouth has a small transverse slit. It does look like a pufferfish. Li Yusin nodded in agreement. Sun Changxin is a water conservancy expert. There are river dolphins in the waters in northern Jiangsu. When he was exploring the hydrological conditions, he saw river dolphins frequently. 
Li Yusin is a medical student. She has read many books and knows something about the toxins in puffer fish. After carefully comparing the characteristics of this big water monster, they all felt that it looked very similar to a puffer fish. Tetrodotoxin is a strong neurotoxin that can cause nerve paralysis, vomiting, chills in the limbs, and even stop the heartbeat and breathing. Its toxicity is equivalent to 1,250 times that of the highly toxic drug sodium cyanide, and it only takes less than 0.5 milligrams to kill someone. After the mutation, the toxin of this water monster will only become stronger. Mutation of pufferfish? No wonder the mucus is highly poisonous. Its eight tentacles and fish scales seem to be the result of mutation. Jian Lusher frowned. This kind of water monster is much more dangerous than ordinary water monsters. First of all, you have to face the extremely poisonous mucus. At this moment, after the mutant pufferfish devoured several members of the city guard, it was obviously not satisfied and its eight tentacles attacked the city gate one after another. Boom! The iron gate has not been broken down yet. But the connection points with the city wall have begun to loosen. Women holding children. Old men on crutches. Almost all the survivors in Wishua County were rushing to higher ground at this moment. Half an hour later, many survivors were already halfway up the mountain. The terrain of Wishua County is relatively gentle. And halfway up the mountain, it is only a dozen meters higher than the base of the city wall but halfway up the mountain to the top. The terrain becomes steeper. By the time we got here, many survivors had lost their strength and lay limp in the dirt. Boom! Suddenly, an earth-shattering collapse sound came from the foot of the mountain. Jiang Lusher followed the sound and saw that the iron gate collapsed, and large sections of the city walls on both sides were swept down. The huge body of the mutated pufferfish was completely exposed in front of everyone. Its snow-white belly bulged and bulged, with only a small part still in the water. Its huge body bulged like a ball under the support of its tentacles. Its tentacles kept sweeping towards the shore unwillingly, and some shacks were vulnerable to a blow with sawdust flying. Seeing this scene, some of the survivors who originally lived in the shacks were trembling. If they had left a little later, they might have ended up like those sawdust. Oh, I'm so scared. The sound of a child crying could be heard in the crowd of survivors. What should I do? Some of my food supplies are still in the shack. Now I have absolutely nothing to eat. I will starve to death. We can't defeat this water monster at all. Are we all going to starve to death here? Why don't we escape? There are no floods in the north. The cries of children, the wails of adults, and some whispered discussions rang out among the ordinary crowd of survivors. People's hearts are floating. Originally, many people fled to Wushue County because it had good order and was a paradise near northern Jiangsu. Now the promised land is about to turn into a H, L on earth and many people feel despair. Don't be afraid. Everyone. The monster can't come ashore. At this time, a clear voice sounded above the crowd. The person who spoke was Xiang Shuahai. She stood next to the base vehicle on the roof of a three-story building halfway up the mountain. The view there was wide, and almost everyone could see her. Xiang Shuahai's voice, under the influence of the supernatural power, surged with the wind. It was very clear in the wind and rain, and it drowned out many cries and whispers. When she said this, everyone looked at the mutated pufferfish at the city gate. Sure enough, the huge mutated pufferfish did not come ashore. Its long tentacles just swept around several shacks in vain. Its huge triangular eyes stared at the densely packed survivors halfway up the mountain and roared. Obviously, although it is mutated, it still has not broken away from the nature of the fish and cannot go ashore. The survivors felt relieved for a moment. Quiet, everyone. I am Zyangswahai. We are facing floods now. I hope everyone will not panic and cheer up. Collect all the food. Wood. Blankets. Clothes. We will temporarily camp here on the mountainside. You believe me. As long as you have me here. Wushue County will not be invaded by zombies or water monsters. We will build this place into the Great Steel Wall. As long as everyone works together. We will definitely survive. Xiang Shuahai's words were sonorous and powerful. She didn't say too many beautiful words but the sincerity in her words could be felt. The floating thoughts of many survivors gradually calmed down. They looked at the fragrant snow sea in the wind and rain and talked in low voices. Those people with superpowers can escape. But how can we ordinary people escape? Walking hundreds of miles in the heavy rain? Just walking is nothing. Where are the zombies in the flooded areas now? I guess they all go to those who haven't. The place is flooded. That's right. If we escape, we have to pass through a dense group of zombies. How can we escape? Ba Xiang is capable of escaping, but he is still with us. 
What else can I say? These ordinary survivors have very little power and simple ideas. And they just want to survive. As a strong man, Ziyang Swahai fought side by side with them and was in danger, which gave them a sense of trust in Ziyang Swahai. Jian Lusher was also looking at Ziyang Swahai from a distance. During the storm, the woman who stood on the roof of the building encouraged supernatural powers, worked hard to spread her voice, and cheered for a group of survivors. Her face was filled with a strange light. Ba Xiang is such a good person. Sun Chang the old water conservancy expert, suddenly said, compared to Yang Feng, Xiang Xuehai was much kinder. If it was Yang Feng, why would he care about the lives of these ordinary people? His words made everyone in the Shuring team unanimously agree. But this is of no use. The Fuyang River has burst its banks. And the Xuanli River and Yen River next to it seem to have burst their banks. And the flood will surge by then. We are hiding in high places. Even if the flood cannot kill people. But with so many people without food. There is still only a dead end. It's useless. Even though we have strong manpower. We still can't defeat this thief. God wants us to die. The old man's son Changchun said angrily. Looking up at the dark sky with heavy rain outside the car window. Everyone in the carriage was silent for a moment. Jian Lusher felt extremely heavy after hearing this. Sun Chanshin is an old water conservancy expert. And his judgment is very reliable. But if the flood continues to surge, the mutant puffer fish lurking in the water will have the opportunity to attack the people in Wushui County halfway up the mountain. It's definitely very dangerous here. Not to mention how many water monsters there are underwater. With the mutated puffer fish around, there was no way to search for some food near the city gate. Even Ziyang Swahai's warehouse is inaccessible. They retreated so urgently that they had no time to prepare. The floods won't last long. And the water monsters will recede with them. But during this time, with so many people hungry and soaked in the rain, people will soon get sick and die. And the situation will only get worse quickly. For a moment, Jian Lusher was shaken and wanted to leave Wushui County. After all, there are actually no floods in the north. Now the mutated pufferfish has set its sights on the survivors in Wushui County. And it will definitely not leave the flooded areas in Wushui County. The Stone Shadow team continues to stay here. Which is very dangerous. Well, if there weren't that water monster, I can think of many ways. But with those water monsters, the people in Wushui County can't move forward and can't do anything at all. Sun Chongqing sighed. In this world, it is too difficult for ordinary people to survive. Brother Jiang, that Kuang Zhongyuan has abnormal mental fluctuations. He seems to be threatening his companions and trying to escape. Ren Shiyu said suddenly from behind the carriage. Jian Lusher was distracted. But he caught a glimpse of Ran Shiyu's face. Which looked very bad. Ran Shiyu looks tired. From the confrontation with Lao Chiu and the others on the Qin Tower to the minibus rushing halfway up the mountain. Her mental detection powers had not stopped along the way. This was a huge drain on her. When she was dealing with Yang Feng before. She had overdrawn her mental power. Just because Li Yusin's medical powers had recovered a lot. But now she still shouldn't use her powers for a long time. Shi Yu, please leave Kuang Zhongyuan alone for now. Take a rest for a while and let Yusin treat you and recover. Jian Lusher noticed the tiredness on Ran Shi Yu's face and expressed concern. Yes. Ran Shi Yu took a deep look at Jian Lusher and did not refuse. She knew in her heart that her ability was now very important to Jian Lusher and the entire Shuring team. Therefore, she needs to allocate her power reasonably and never overdraw. Because she had a vague feeling that the moment when she needed her most had not yet arrived. So she has to stay in top shape. Li Yusin came to Ran Shiyu and began to examine her. After Ran Shiyu closed his eyes, Jian Liosher's eyes moved to Kuang Zhong Yuan hidden in the crowd. Kuang Zhong Yuan was staring fiercely at the five or six superpowers at this moment and was shouting something in a low voice. Several of the superpowers seemed quite shaken and some disagreed with Kuang Zhongyuan's words. Kuang Zhongyuan pointed his hand at the vast flood and spoke loudly. The storm muffled his words. However, Jian Lusher could vaguely tell that Kuang Zhongyuan was probably frightened by the mutant puffer fish and wanted to escape. Moreover, Kuang Zhongyuan not only escaped by himself, but also wanted to escape with a group of people with superpowers. After all, in this world, one person's power is insignificant and only those who work together have a greater chance of survival. And people with superpowers are no exception. Can you escape? Jian Lusher stared at Kuang Zhongyuan. With a sneer emerging from the corner of his mouth, he has had murderous thoughts towards Kuang Zhongyuan since Qin Tower. Later, Kuang Zhongyuan was frightened by the air cannon of the base vehicle. Killed the seriously injured prisoner. 
and tried to please him and Xiang Xuehai one after another. Jiang Lusher still did not trust this guy. But he didn't expect that Kuang Zhong Yuan would betray him again so soon. Now every superpower is very important to Wushui County. When Kuang Zhong Yuan wanted to take away these superpowers, Jiang Lusher was the first to disagree. The Bai Bar in Jiang Lusher's hand was already aimed at Kuang Zhong Yuan's head in the distance. At this time, a sudden change occurred. The two superpowers following Kuang Zhong Yuan suddenly swelled their fist muscles, as if a hammer appeared and hit Kuang Zhong Yuan's head. The long knife in the other's hand slashed with a substantial sword light, slicing towards Kuang Zhong Yuan's legs. Caught off guard, Kuang Zhong Yuan was hit hard immediately. As soon as the bloody light appeared here, the four nearby superpower users, who had just been scolded by Kuang Zhong Yuan, reacted and used their superpowers one after another. In a few breaths, Kuang Long Yuan was chopped into a corpse. Then one of the superpowers rushed out of the shack and rushed towards the three-story building where Xiang Xuehai was. Jian Lusher was dumbfounded after watching this scene, and felt dumbfounded in his heart. Not long ago, Kuang Zhong Yuan betrayed Mr. Qi and tried to use Mr. Qi's body as a surrender certificate. It seems that several of the superpowers around him did what Kuang Zhong Yuan Zingjin did to Mr. Qi. Chapter 377 Are We Considered Friends? These superpowers didn't intend to escape, so there was no need for Jiang Lusher to take action. It was Xiang Xuehai's business to arrange for these people. Jiang Lusher looked at the city gate again. The water monster had returned to the water, with half of its body still on the water. Level 2 plus mutant energy detected. Starseed's voice came. This is a second level mutated pufferfish. Starseed had warned him before. But in the fierce battle, Jiang Lusher didn't pay attention. The second level mutant pufferfish has a plus sign, indicating that it is actually infinitely close to the third level. Maybe after digesting the mutated zombies and those wild dogs, and then devouring the survivors in Wushui County, it could grow into a third level mutant beast. Level 3. Jian Lusher has never seen a level 3 monster. A few hours later, boom, with a huge V-shaped impact of the minibus, an abandoned house near the foot of the mountain collapsed. The young survivors who were following the minibuses rushed forward one after another, carrying usable bricks and concrete blocks with steel bars in their hands and on their shoulders. They braved the heavy rain and carried them. A prototype flood control embankment was built towards that. The flood control embankment is to prevent the flood from continuing to rise, and to add a layer of defense against the impact of the water monster. However, sandbags are not enough to build flood control embankments. At least better building materials such as bricks and stones are needed. The survivors in Wushui County, who had insufficient materials on hand, could only dismantle some abandoned houses in dangerous areas to make flood control embankment materials. Jian Liosher's minibus, which had a huge collision angle, acted as a temporary collision vehicle. The flood control embankment is 5 or 6 meters down the mountainside, still some distance away from the city wall. Xiang Xuehai and Jian Liosher carefully considered this distance and found that this distance was a safe distance that was not easily attacked by water monsters. Of course, all these actions were taken because Ran Shiyu had determined that the mutated puffer fish had gone away. At this time, of course, we must seize the time to arrange. Being drenched by heavy rains in recent days and with insufficient food supplies, many survivors carrying various materials were not strong enough and had to walk hard on the muddy ground with almost hunched backs. Boom! An elderly survivor slipped on the soles of his feet and fell into the muddy ground. The concrete blocks on his shoulders were about to hit his feet heavily. However, at this time, a gust of wind blew, and the concrete blocks changed direction in the air, changing their landing point. At this time, a white and strong hand stretched out and pulled him up from the muddy ground. Old man? Are you okay? The old man looked up, only to find that it was Xiang Xuehai who helped him up from the mud. Xiang Xuehai's dark hair was tied up and her hands were covered with muddy water. She nodded to the old man, and then continued to check the construction progress of the flood control embankment. The old man was very excited. This was a superpower. The leader of Wushui County, who would actually care so much about him. An ordinary survivor. Old man, don't carry such a heavy thing. Just go get something lighter. Everyone, hurry up and work. A young man next to him greeted the old man and helped carry away the concrete blocks on the old man's body. Okay. The old man looked at the young men. After the end of the world, he had not seen such a scene for a long time, and rarely heard such words of concern. On the contrary, in this predicament, he felt a touch of warmth again. The old man gritted his teeth and continued walking towards the area where the materials were piled up. 
he still had the strength to take what he could. Ba Xiang is such a nice person. Zhang Hai shook his head and sighed when he saw the scene. Jiang Lusher listened and said nothing. Now Wushui County has mobilized all the people. And all the survivors have begun to work hard for the flood control embankment. No matter where Jiang Lusher went, he could see people working silently to carry various materials to the flood control embankment. Some survivors were so tired that they could no longer do it. Someone nearby brought them prepared hot water and some porridge and rice. All arranged by Xiang Shuihai. No one is lazy. Everyone helps and encourages each other. There seemed to be a long-lost passion stirring in everyone's hearts. Although it was very cold and tiring to work in the heavy rain, everyone was in high spirits. Like the old man, Jiang Lusher had not felt such an atmosphere for a long time. People from Shuring's team also participated in the construction of flood control embankments in Wushui County this time. Zhang Hai and Sun Kun took the initiative to get out of the car and start doing hard work. Jiang Lusher also got out of the car and helped everywhere. Not only the city guards, but also many ordinary survivors knew that Jiang Liusher's shooting skills were terrifying. He was the captain of the surviving team driving the steel monster. When they saw Jiang Lusher coming, some were hurriedly grateful, and some were a little afraid. Brother, let's take a rest. Ling made barbecue in the car, and I brought it to you. Jiang Zhuing walked briskly, followed by Sun Changxin, an old water conservancy expert. Sun Changxin held a tray in his hand, with mutated animal meat added with cumin on it. In such a harsh environment, the taste of mutated animal meat is particularly tempting. Is this how you got it? Why did you let expert son do it for you? Jiang Lusher asked speechlessly. What? I could have taken it myself. I just asked expert son to put it on my arm for me. But he said he would come with me. Jiang Zhuing raised his bandaged hands towards Jiang Lusher. It's none of Xiao Zhang's business. I took the initiative to help little girl Jiang Zhuing get the barbecue. The old man always has to do something. Sun Changxin said. In fact, Sun Changxin saw the busyness of all the survivors in Wushui County, including Xiang Xuehai, Jiang Lusher and others. He also secretly ran to help. But it was a pity that this old expert usually studied water conservancy and did not exercise frequently. In addition, he was old, carried a sandbag, and almost fainted from exhaustion when he was caught in a heavy rain. In the end, he could not help at all, even if it's a little thing. He wants to help. The atmosphere in Wushui County was the survivor base in his imagination. Although there had been fights and intrigues before, everyone could work together in the face of disaster. Sun Changxin also hopes that Wushui County can survive this disaster safely. Mr. Sun, what do you want from me? Jian Lusher still respected this old water conservancy expert. In Yang Feng's military base, although he was said to have saved Sun Changxin, if Sun Changxin hadn't warned them in time that a flash flood would occur, even if there were base vehicles, it would have been very dangerous to escape from the flash flood. Telling them to return to Wishaway County was also the result of this old expert. Otherwise, they would have gone to other places randomly and risked being surrounded by floods. Now that we have repaired the flood control embankment, I shouldn't be here to pour cold water. But as long as the Fuyang River embankment is not repaired for a day, it will be difficult for the flood to recede. There is a big water monster in the water, and the days are dangerous. Sun Changxin sighed, said, hearing the sigh. Jian Lusher looked solemn. The floods have not receded. Wushui County is in danger. And if Shuring's team leaves Wushui County, they will not be able to find a way to Panju City for the time being. It is not even known whether Panju City was affected by floods. Sun Changxin looked at the survivors, who were busy and his eyes were a little red. Human, it's so hard to live, Captain Jiang. I'm old. You rescue me. And I will stay in Wushui County. I am a native of northern Jiangsu. My family is all on this land. I will die here too. Let's reunite with them. Jian Lusher looked at Sun Changxin silently, and then followed his gaze to those who were working hard. Mr. Sun, is there really no countermeasure against this flood? Jian Lusher asked. What's the use of countermeasures? Now that the big water monster is nestled in the water, there's nothing we can do. Sun Changxin continued to sigh. That mutated pufferfish was instantly killed even by mutant zombies when they met. And it was in the water. So it couldn't be dealt with at all. Jiang Liosher's heart moved. He heard Sun Changxin's tone. He seemed to be able to deal with the flood. But he was afraid of the mutated puffer fish. Mr. Sun, what if the mutated water monster dies? Do you have a way to reduce the flood? Jiang Liosher asked. How could the water monster die? Don't do anything stupid. 
Sun Chongqin was startled by Jian Liushu's serious expression and said quickly. Jian Liushu smiled faintly. He was very aware of the horror of the mutated puffer fish. Naturally, he was not asking casually. Killing that monster is definitely dangerous. But it's certainly possible. It just requires a few conditions. The most important condition is that he needs a ship. A ship with enough firepower. He now has a second level special mutant blood core in his hand. After installing this blood core, the base vehicle can directly open a new base vehicle form. And the activation type is amphibious. However, this kind of activation requires the base vehicle to scan the ship. And then the base vehicle will simulate the function of the ship and evolve a new base vehicle form. Such simulated evolution does not require any additional materials. As long as there is a ship. Of course, the strength of the ship also determines the strength of the simulated amphibious base vehicle. In addition, the ship required for scanning must have a standard displacement of no more than 400 tons and a full load displacement of not more than 500 tons. It can only be a small tonnage ship, like that kind of ocean-going destroyer. That's far from enough. That would require the base vehicle to evolve to an extremely abnormal level. The current base vehicle does not even have an energy laboratory open. Therefore, as long as he finds a ship that is powerful enough and meets the requirements, Jian Lusher believes that his amphibious base vehicle will be able to kill the mutant pufferfish. Mr. Sun, you just need to answer my question and say that's it, Jian Lusher said. Sun Chongqing pushed up his glasses and sighed. Captain Jiang, if you insist on asking, in fact, if the water monster is really dead, then there will be no interference in doing things in the flood. I have several ways to make the flood recede. Jian Lusher calmed down. It seemed that Sun Chongqin really had a solution. So now we just need to kill the mutated pufferfish and that's it. Then Mr. Sun, don't worry about other things. I would like to ask if there are any shipyards nearby. I need a small tonnage ship with enough firepower. You want this kind of boat? Do you want to use this kind of boat to kill the water monster? Captain Jiang, you, you are committing suicide. Sun Chongqin shook his head repeatedly. Jian Lusher saved his life. And he didn't want to watch. Jian Lusher went to die. Mr. Sun, if you say so, do you know about this kind of ship? Jian Liusher's eyes lit up. Well, I do know. In Yang Feng's military base, there used to be an old expert from the military shipyard. But he later died. But when he was chatting with me, he said that their military shipyard once received a manufacturing order for a Type 022 stealth missile boat. That kind of missile boat is small, has strong firepower, and has certain stealth capabilities. It should meet your requirements, Sun Chongqin said solemnly, although he didn't believe what Jian Lusher could do. Nor did he believe Jian Lusher could really kill the water monster. Since Jian Lusher had to know, Sun Chongqin answered Jian Liusher's words. Type 022 stealth missile boat? Jian Liusher's eyes lit up. According to Mr. Sun, this kind of ship did meet his requirements. Mr. Sun, do you know the specific location of the military shipyard? You still have to think about this. Sun Chongqin thought for a long time before recalling the location. This place is the lower reaches of a river between Wushue County and Qingxia County to the north. The location is very hidden and the water is very deep. It is indeed very suitable for the military shipyard to be built here. Um, suddenly Jian Lusher was stunned. He received news from Ming. At this time, boxes of food, gasoline, diesel and other items were placed in front of the base vehicle. Luo Jun Jiang was still directing the members of the city protection team, constantly unloading goods from a medium truck. Jian Lusher already understood what was going on through Ying. Xiang Xuehai kept his word and sent over the reward for hiring Xiu Ying's team. At this time, Xiang Xuehai came to Jian Lusher. Captain Jiang, you came just in time. I have sent you everything you asked for. But the water transportation you wanted was not found for a while. There were only a few broken boats, which are probably of no use. Xiang Xuehai explained to Jian Lusher, said apologetically. Jian Lusher smiled faintly and shook his head. No need. There are floods now, and there are many water monsters in the water. If you go out with an ordinary boat, you will die. There is such a shortage of supplies in Wushui County now. But Ba Xiang is still so honest, Jian Lusher said. Xiang Xuehai was indeed a very principled woman, and Jian Lusher also admired such people. Captain Jiang, Xiang Xuehai hesitated and asked. The floods around Wushui County are still rising, and we are expected to be in a difficult situation for some time. I wonder what your plans are. Captain Jiang? The prisoner is dead now. The cooperative relationship between you and me has come to an end. In fact, 
Xiang Xue Hai guessed that Jian Lusher might leave. Originally, Jian Lusher only came to Wushui County to collect information and find people. He was willing to attack and kill Yang Feng because of this. Now at Yang Feng's place, Jian Lusher has got the information he wants. And Jian Lusher has also helped him with his request to kill Mr. Prisoner and others. There is really no reason to stay in Wushui County, which is full of dangers. Place. For others, leaving Wushui County means facing the threats of numerous zombie groups and mutant beasts. But Xiang Xuehai feels that Jian Lusher can withstand these dangers. Xiang Xuehai waited for Jian Lusher's answer. She looked into Jian Lusher's eyes. After developing his brain power, Jian Lusher's eyes became deep and black, giving him a mysterious feeling. And Xiang Xuehai stared at her. Unknowingly, her mind thought of the kiss on the minibus. Xiang Xuehai quickly came to her senses. And when she thought of Jian Lusher leaving, she felt very reluctant to leave. Captain Jiang. Xiang Xuehai bit her teeth and said suddenly, Wushui County will be my home after the apocalypse. And these survivors will risk their lives and escape with a narrow escape because they believe in me. I can't abandon those who come to Wushui County. If Wushui County and I can survive this time, and if there is another chance in the future, I welcome you to come to Wushui County again. To say that the cooperative relationship is a bit too distant. You saved my life. And we can be considered friends. Right. Xiang Xuehai gently brushed her hair and said with a smile. There was a feeling of sadness in Xiang Xuehai's heart. But she still didn't say anything. She didn't directly ask Jian Lusher to stay. Not only now, but also in the future. Jian Lusher looked at Xiang Xuehai. He saw that the roots of Xiang Xuehai's ears were a little red. And he also felt that Xiang Xuehai still had many words that he had not said. Plan? I have some plans. I want to go out and get a boat. Jian Lusher said. Huh? Xiang Xuehai was stunned for a moment. Then subconsciously asked. Then what? Then go kill the big water monster. Jian Lusher said calmly. Chapter 378 Strength and the Abilities. You, are you going to kill that mutated pufferfish? Xiang Xuehai Ying's lips opened slightly. And she was so surprised that she didn't close them for a long time. Suspecting that she heard wrongly. As a person with superpowers. She certainly knew how powerful that water monster was. That thing is capable of crushing mutated zombies. With such a powerful water monster. Even if Yang Feng comes, he may have no choice but to run for his life. Jian Lusher said he had to deal with such a thing. But he still said it in a matter-of-fact tone. She could feel the confidence in her words. But, why did Jian Lusher want to kill the big water monster? Not to mention the danger of the big water monster. In the north of Wushue County, there is a higher place where you can leave here safely. His decision was completely unexpected by Xiang Xuehai. Is it, could it be because of me? Facing Jiang Liuxia's deep eyes, some charming thoughts suddenly appeared in Xiang Xuehai's heart. But then she felt ridiculous. Such an idea was too narcissistic. Moreover, Jiang Liuxia's character does not seem like someone who would do things based on personal impulse. This mutated pufferfish has what I need, Jiang Liuxia said calmly. In fact, there are many reasons besides mutated crystal nuclei. But Jian Lusher felt that there was no need to say it. Captain Jiang, have you really thought it over? If you can really kill that big water monster, you will be a great help to us survivors in Wushue County. I don't know if I can help you. Captain Jiang, what can I do? Just ask for it. Xiang Xuehai was silent for a while, pursed her lips, and looked up at Jian Lusher. Although she had only been in contact with Jian Lusher for a while, she knew that Jian Lusher was a cautious and steady person and would not brag casually. No matter how incredible Jiang Liuxia's plan felt in his heart, Xiang Xuehai still chose to believe it. Yes. Please ask Ba Xiang to provide me with a large amount of diesel. The more the better. As for the ships I need, I already know the information from Mr. Sunday. Jiang Liuxia did not refuse and nodded. He has checked Star Seed and learned from Star Seed that the power source of the amphibious base vehicle requires a large amount of diesel. God is not as good as man. He is not sure how long it will take after the amphibious base vehicle is activated to kill the mutated pufferfish. So he had to prepare for the worst and struggle with the mutated pufferfish on the river for a long time. The diesel he currently stored alone might not be enough. Moreover, he had consumed a lot of diesel along the way, but it had never been replenished. In any case, replenishing large quantities of diesel is imperative. He didn't want to end up with the amphibious base vehicle paralyzed in the water due to lack of energy in the middle of the battle with the water monster. Okay. Xiang Xuehai agreed without asking Jian Lusher any more questions. She believed 100% in the man in front of her. 
At least everything this man had shown so far was worthy of trust. She just needed to give Jiang Lusher the greatest help. Moreover, if Jiang Lusher succeeds, Wushui County will be saved. She will do her best to help both emotionally and rationally. Jiang Lusher returned to the minibus and told the Shuring team his plan. Ship? Kill the mutated water monster? Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan's eyes widened. But then, Zhang Hai suddenly shouted, Damn it! That's so awesome! Jian Lusher was going outside to find the mutated pufferfish in the boat. After hearing the news, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan were shocked and eager to try again. The water monster blocked them here and dared not go out. But Jian Lusher had the idea of hunting it. These monsters suppress people and beat them, treating them as food. But most people don't dare to resist. Only their captain dares. How could John Hai and Sun Kuan not be excited? Especially today, when they took the initiative to participate in the flood fight in Wushui County and saw the survivors building flood control embankments with their bare hands, which made them even more angry. You two stay here, and the others will come with me. Jian Lusher said. Seeing John Hai and Sun Kuan stunned, Jian Lusher added, This time, I can only drive a minibus. There are too many people in the car. And here in Wushui County, we must always pay attention to zombies and mutant beasts. Even the attack by the water monster. Wushue County went through a round of internal strife before. And now it lacks manpower. You can stay and help. Moreover, the group of superpowers around Xiang Shuehai were mostly those who followed Mr. Prisoner in the past. Luo Jun Jiang and the others might not be able to suppress them alone. Zhang Hai and San Kuen were still very intimidating with shotguns. Zhang Hai scratched his head. As if he wanted to say something else. But after thinking about it, he readily agreed, patting his chest. That's right. We can't let Brother Jiang have any worries. Jiang Lusher smiled slightly. This time he went out to find the boat. If he found the boat and achieved his goal, he would come back quickly. In fact, he didn't need to bring too many people with him. Ran Shiyu is a person with spiritual powers. He can detect fluctuations in surrounding spiritual energy along the way. Predict dangers in advance. And target enemies. This is one of the main combat strengths and must be brought along. Not to mention Li Yusin is the team doctor. In case of any emergency, the role Li Yusin can play is crucial. Brother, I have to go. I have almost recovered. And being in the water is just convenient for me to use my abilities. Right. Jian Juying said quickly. As she spoke, she raised her hand and arcs of electricity danced in her palms. Jian Lusher looked at Li Yusin. While Li Yusin glanced at Jian Juying with some embarrassment and then said, Juing's ability has indeed almost recovered, but his hands still need to rest. But Sister Yusin, won't you also follow? Jiang Juing leaned on Li Yusin affectionately, and said with a smile next to Li Yusin's ear, Li Yusin seemed to be tickled by Jiang Juing's breath, while showing an expression of being unable to dodge. She couldn't help but laugh. Don't be like this. The two girls' affectionate and noisy appearance made Jiang Lusha reveal a smile in his eyes. Outside is a tragic apocalypse with monstrous floods and dense monsters. The joy and laughter inside this minibus are all brought about by strength. I understand. And I will try my best to help you recover completely as soon as possible. Li Yusin couldn't bear it anymore and said quickly. After realizing that Jian Lusher and Ran Shi were looking at her, she immediately blushed. Okay then, Jian Lusher said. Jian Zhuying immediately secretly made a V sign. I'll go too. Another voice came. Jian Lusher followed the sound and saw that Ling was leaning on the armrest at the door of the car, watching them silently. In fact, when they arrived in northern Jiangsu, the deal between Zero and the Shuring team was over. Along the way, Jian Lusher did not communicate much with this girl, but after several battles, he felt that she was a woman who spoke very little, but acted steadily and took action. A fierce person. Since she wanted to go, Jian Lusher had no objection and nodded. In addition, there is another person, Sun Chinchin, an old expert who is very familiar with the nearby area and can point out the specific address of the military shipyard. He must be brought with him. Xiang Xuehai always acted vigorously and resolutely. She agreed to Jiang Liosher's diesel supply, and she immediately took people to various warehouses and gas stations to search for it, and in the minibus. Check the base vehicle thoroughly. Jiang Liosher sat in the cab and immediately connected with Star Seed. Accepting the host's instructions, the base vehicle starts inspection and scanning. Ching Zhong's cold voice echoed in Jiang Liusher's mind. This cold voice actually made Jiang Liusher feel a little warm in his heart. This is his greatest reliance in the last days. On the Star Sea panel, 
The basic information of the current base vehicle appeared. Vehicle type, base vehicle. Space configuration, upgraded bedroom X1. Kitchen X1. Bathroom X1. Small living room X1. Junior war room X1. Weapons and equipment, primary compressed air cannon. Primary impact angle. Compressed flamethrower. Energy laboratory, 30% progress in opening. Under the basic information, a long scanning progress bar appears. Scanning. The tires of the base vehicle are damaged. The airbag of the left middle reinforced tire is broken and 10% damaged. The right middle tire is 2% worn. The fuel tank needs to be replenished with 300 L of fuel. The bulletproof glass of the right window is damaged. The degree of damage is level 1. The star seed scanning results were displayed one by one. Jian Liosher's attention paused for a moment on the 30% progress bar behind the energy laboratory and then shifted to the scan results. After checking it, there are still many minor problems. If it is not repaired in time, if you encounter any powerful mutant zombies or mutant beasts when you drive out, you may be in a lot of trouble. Jian Lusher had enough storage space to repair these things, such as steel, chromium and other metals, oils, etc. So he quickly asked Xing Zhong to start the repair process. The waiting process for repairing takes 10 minutes. Jian Lusher didn't waste any time and thought about it. Snapped! A curtain of light appeared in front of Jian Lusher. And options for evolution and enhancement appeared in front of Jian Lusher. The last time he left Shanghai Base City, he had evolved and strengthened many places in one go. By now, if it weren't for these enhanced things, the base vehicle would probably be in a lot of trouble. Not to mention anything else. Just with the enhanced bulletproof tires. If the tires are still the same as before, if they are poked a few times by the fangs of the mutated wild dog, the durability will be damaged by more than 30%. Not the current ones. A mere 10%. Not to mention how many times the bulletproof glass and alloy SH. L withstood heavy blows from rocks and cars. Last time Jian Lusher used up all the mutant crystal cores in one go. But there were actually some things he was greedy for. Now that he has 12 crystal cores in his hand, he still doesn't know how many will be needed after turning on the third form of the base vehicle. However, although the mutated crystal core is valuable, it should be used when necessary. Jian Lusher directly targeted the biology laboratory. He has evolved brain nerves, evolved agile reactions, and awakened blood mutation blood. The combination of these abilities has saved his teammates and himself time and time again. But after what happened to Yang Feng last time, Jian Lusher realized that his physical fitness was still not as good as that of some very powerful people. He wants to continue to improve his physical fitness. In fact, if you bite off more than you can chew, if your body cannot keep up with the neural responses of your brain, in many cases, you are seeking death. If you only have agility and lack of physical strength, you will die quickly. But now, Jian Lusher has integrated and mastered all the abilities he possesses. And he feels that he can go further. Improving physical fitness is nothing more than enhancing agility, strength, physique, brain nerves, etc. He thought about it and found that currently, he had strong spear skills, but he would be much weaker in close combat. In the final analysis, his overall ability is not good enough. Jian Lusher wanted to obtain these abilities, but after some consideration, Jian Lusher still focused on strengthening defense. Enhanced defense can give him stronger survivability. Although the first level defense enhancing genetic fluid in the biological laboratory is far from enough to allow him to withstand pistol bullets and the like, facing sneak attacks with sharp knives and the like, as long as he can resist, it is enough. For those tree roots controlled by Yang Feng last time, if Ran Shiyu had not used her mental power to attack Yang Feng at the critical moment, Jian Lusher would definitely have suffered a big loss. He couldn't stay in the car 24 hours a day. Now that he will face the mutated pufferfish soon, Jian Lusher must improve his survivability. After summoning the biological laboratory panel, Jian Lusher saw various options. First choice. First choice strength and defense. Make muscles, skin, and blood tough and powerful. Able to withstand sword attacks. After the second evolution, you can even block pistol bullets. After the defense is strengthened, each time it is improved, you can gain stronger defense power, which is what Jian Lusher is very excited about. Moreover, this defensive evolution is a comprehensive defensive evolution of the body, which is of great benefit to him and can also lead to a substantial increase in his physical fitness. After consuming a mutated crystal core and waiting for a while, Jian Lusher had a bottle of green potion in his hand. He drank it all in one gulp, and instantly, his body began to react on fire. However, 
After several experiences, Jian Lusher quickly overcame the adverse reactions this time. Ten minutes later, he looked up sweating profusely. As soon as he stood up, he clearly felt that his body was different from before. His skin was now very delicate and had a light sheen. But if you dig it with your nails a little, Jiang Liusher's nails won't leave any traces on the skin at all. It felt to him that it was tougher than cowhide. But he couldn't tell it from the naked eye. His bones and muscles seemed to be much stronger than before. And a strong vitality filled his body, making Jiang Liusher feel comfortable all over. Bamboo Shadow! Come here! Jiang Liusher suddenly called out to Jiang Zhuing outside the car. When he was in the base car just now! Except for him and Ng. Everyone else got out of the car to help. And no one noticed anything strange about him. Brother, what do you want to do? As soon as Jiang Zhuing came in, he glanced at Jiang Lusher and immediately felt that his brother was a little different at this moment. You give me a shock. Jiang Lusher said, Ah, brother, this is the first time I've heard of such a special request from you. You won't become him. Right? Jiang Zhuing asked strangely. I'll just call you if I ask you to. There's so much to talk about. Jian Lusher said speechlessly. What the heck? This sister has found out about these strange things all day long. Jian Zhuing smiled narrowly. Although her arm was injured, after Li Yusin's treatment in the past two days, she was able to do some small swing movements. Without saying a word, she reached out her hand and put it on Jian Liusher's outstretched arm. A small electric current flashed through. Jian Liusher's expression suddenly changed slightly. And he groaned due to the shock but a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Done! Brother, no way. I guessed it right. Seeing that Jiang Lusher was so shocked that he started laughing, Jiang Zhuing looked at Jiang Lusher exaggeratedly. You are actually a fake brother. Right? Where is my real brother? Facing Jiang Zhuing's fuss, Jiang Lusher remained calm and calm. He was secretly happy. His body's defense ability had indeed been strengthened. This mutated crystal core was well used. When Jiang Zhu filmed him just now, although he still felt pain, his ability to tolerate pain has increased a lot. Moreover, the numbness disappears quickly, and it will not directly shock those people to the point of being unable to walk for a long time like other people in Jiang Zhu film and television. This proves that his blood, muscle defense, and recovery have been greatly improved. A few hours later, outside the base vehicle, Xiang Xuehai had already sent people to transport barrels of diesel. In order to find these diesel oils, Xiang Xuehai really spent a lot of effort. Not only did she plunder the inventory, she even used fuel pipes to pump out the diesel from the fuel tanks of many trucks. This is also thanks to the foreign survivors, many of whom drove trucks, and the oil was naturally requisitioned by Xiang Xuehai. Moreover, Xiang Xuehai specifically informed the survivors in Wushui County about the news that Jiang Lusher needed diesel. Passed from person to person, Almost all the survivors knew that Jian Lusher needed diesel. The survivors were in awe and gratitude to the captain of the Shuring team, who killed the mutant beast and helped them build flood defenses. And they also heard that Jian Lusher needed the diesel to deal with the big water monster in the flood. After the water monster is killed, water conservancy experts will find ways to release the flood. And these survivors will be saved. Now these survivors acted silently. They searched everywhere in the county. A few old survivors dragged a threshing machine oil tank over and sucked some diesel from it. When this group of survivors brought the diesel and placed it in front of the base vehicle, Jiang Liusher's throat rolled, and his eyes slowly swept over the faces of the ragged and thin survivors. There is hope in the eyes of these survivors. They sincerely hoped that Jiang Liusher could really kill the big water monster. Captain Jiang, I estimate that all the diesel in the county has been obtained for you. There is only so much left. Looking at the messy diesel barrels behind him, Xiang Xuehai wiped the sweat from his forehead and apologized to Jiang Lusher. Her palms were black from carrying diesel, and when she rubbed them, several black oil marks were left on her smooth and white forehead. Enough? Enough? Jiang Lusher nodded seriously. He roughly estimated that the amount of diesel oil contained in those oil drums, and even some old iron drums was more than a thousand liters. Ah, by the way, I also brought you the mutated wild dog you killed. This is your team's trophy. Xiang Xuehai remembered something and clapped his hands at Luo Jun Jian behind him. Where Luo Jun Jian stood, there was a large piece of linoleum carpet under his feet. The dark brown blood on it had dried up, and the mutated wild dog that Jian Lusher killed was lying on it. The beast meat is well preserved. The survivors around know that you hunted it, and they didn't dare to eat it secretly. The mutated crystal nuclei are also there. 
Xiang Xuehai smiled at Jian Lusher, with a hint of pride at the corner of his mouth. The survivors in Wushui County have not eaten anything good for many days. It can be said that they are always hungry. However, in the face of such tempting mutated beast meat, no one has tried to steal some. Many survivors even warned each other to stay away from the place where mutated beast meat was stored, because that thing was hunted by the Stone Shadow team, who were going to deal with the big water monster, and they needed nutrition to replenish their strength. I'll hold the mutated crystal core, but let's share the mutated beast meat, Jian Lusher said to Xiang Shuahai. There was enough mutated beast meat stored in his minibus. So he couldn't eat so much. How is this possible? Xiang Shuahai said quickly. Jian Lusher waved his hand. And before Xiang Shuahai could react, Jian Lusher loudly said to the survivors around him, Let's all share the meat and eat it. A group of survivors around him were stunned for a moment. And then the crowd burst into cheers. A little girl with bright black eyes and a dirty face looked at the mutated wild dog on the ground. She suddenly ran two steps forward and said to Jian Lusher, Thank you, big brother. Before Jian Lusher could say anything, she turned around and ran back to the crowd. Mom! Mom! Big brother gave us meat to eat! Chapter 379 Let's Go! Continuous rainstorms. Running away. Building flood levees. A series of events have brought the physical and mental strength of the survivors in Wushui County to the edge of their limits. If it weren't for Xiang Shuihai's leadership, and if it weren't for each other's spiritual encouragement, Many people would have fainted from exhaustion at this moment. Now that they heard that Jiang Lusher was going to kill and eat the mutated wild dog, the survivors who were dying and sitting around suddenly became energetic. Many people secretly drooled. Normally it was difficult for them to even eat a few mouthfuls of dry rice. But now they could eat mutated beast meat. It was unimaginable. In addition to being excited, they were even more grateful to Shuring team. No team of superpowers has ever been so kind to them. Who doesn't know that mutated animal meat has always been the exclusive food of superpowers? Some of the survivors, who still had physical strength, consciously divided the work. Some went to get clean water. Some went to get a big basin. And some quickly picked up things to make a bonfire. Without saying a word, Zero took the initiative to take on the task of cutting up and grilling the mutated beast meat. With a flick of her knife, a piece of meat was cut off. Leusen also took out some condiments from the storage space, sprinkled them with cumin and pepper and applied a layer of cooking oil. The mutated beast meat on the crackling campfire soon gave off an alluring aroma. After the mutated beast meat was grilled and served in a big basin, bursts of joyful shouts erupted in the survivor gathering area. The shouting went on for a long time. Piles of bonfires reflected the oil stains on the corners of the survivor's mouths. A little girl tried her best to push the animal meat into the mouth of her mother next to her. But she was clearly swallowing saliva secretly. Mom! Eat! Mom! Tong Tong is not hungry anymore. The mother was so skinny that she just hugged her daughter and kissed her, with tears streaming down her face. Tong Tong, Mom, eat with you. We can all eat whatever meat is left. Not far from the mother and daughter, Jiang Zhuying stood silently on the collapsed wall of a nearby room. Zhuying, what are you looking at? Jiang Lusher walked up behind Jiang Zhuying. Brother, I was thinking. Jiang Zhuying looked at the laughing couple of survivors. Mother and daughter and suddenly turned her head and smiled at Jian Lusher. I am quite happy. Jian Lusher was slightly startled and silently hugged Jian Zhuying's thin shoulders. Both of his parents died, and Jian Lusher took care of his sister silently since childhood. Now that it's the end of the world, the two of them are indeed lucky to be together. Jian Zhuying tilted his head and leaned on Jian Lusher's shoulder. Only her brother's shoulders can give her warmth and security. Brother, would you always be by my side? Brother. You are so kind. Are you done acting coquettishly? Get in the car quickly. Jian Lusher forcibly ordered Jian Zhuying to get into the base vehicle. It's still drizzling outside. Jian Zhuying hasn't recovered yet. So he's just standing outside. Xiang Xuai sent another batch of materials, which contained some metals, machine lubricants and other things that needed to be replenished. The base vehicle was repaired not long ago. Several of his supplies were in short supply and he really needed to replenish them. Although Wushui County was a small place, it was also a big market during the apocalypse. So he had all these things found. This is a map I found. You should be able to use it. The map includes the place you are going to. But it does not specifically indicate the location of the military shipyard. He handed it to Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher nodded. Now that he is a map and Mr. Sun is here, it should be easier to find the military shipyard. Help! Help! Suddenly, Heart-piercing cries of pain came from the distant flood area. 
This shout suddenly broke the cheerful atmosphere on the mountainside. Everyone looked out and saw a dilapidated fishing boat being swept towards Wishue County in the rolling flood. There were two big men on the fishing boat, being bitten by a zombie, with blood and flesh splattering everywhere. Suddenly, when he saw the zombie killing one person and trying to pounce on another person, a splash of more than three meters high opened on the water. A huge figure appeared, opened its huge mouth, turned the fishing boat over, and swallowed all the zombies and big men inside. Mutated pufferfish. Jiang Liosher's eyelids twitched. This guy was so haunted that he was always lurking in the water. The other survivors in Wushue County all looked at each other. Their hearts that had been agitated just now were half cold. As long as the flood does not recede. Who can get out with such a big water monster in the water? Jian Lusher glanced at Flood silently. His brows furrowed. The situation was not optimistic. Soon the Shuring team and others were sorted out and ready to set off. The survivors from Wushue County, as well as Xiang Chuai, all gathered around the base vehicle to see them off. Brother! Come on! In the crowd, a little girl jumped and waved to Jian Lusher. Have a safe journey! The survivors, old and young, looked at Jian Lusher and other members of Shuring's team and said goodbye loudly, their eyes full of hope. Brother Jiang, be careful on the road. Jiang Hai shouted, You two remember what my brother told you. And be more careful. Jiang Zhuing reminded Jiang Hai from the car window. Don't worry. Boss, I've recorded everything here. Sun Kun punched the left side of his chest and assured with a smile. Jiang Lusher nodded and shifted his gaze to a beautiful figure in the crowd. Captain Jiang, take care of yourself along the way. Xiang Xuehai pursed her lips and stared at Jiang Lusher. She suddenly felt a deep sense of reluctance in her heart. And she suddenly felt an inexplicable fear of what would happen to Jiang Lusher during his trip. And of not being able to see him again. In the end, thousands of words were swallowed down her throat. And a smile appeared on her face. Captain Jiang, you must have a safe journey. The survivors of Wushue County and I are waiting for your return. Jiang Lusher heard the deep emotion and deep worry in her words. Human beings are not grass and trees, and rivers and rocks are not ironclad. He felt Xiang Xuehai's affection for him, and some softness in his heart was touched. I will definitely bring the boat back and kill the mutated pufferfish. Some words rolled in Jiang Liosher's throat, and finally turned into a promise. Yes! Xiang Xuehai smoothed her hair and nodded. After saying this, all the emotions in Jiang Liosher's heart subsided. He closed the car window and said in a deep voice to the shadow, Drive! Boom! Amid the eager waves of everyone in Wushue County, the base vehicle drove towards the heights of Wushue County. One section of the path leading to the military shipyard is a dirt road between Wushue County and Qingshu County. The distance between Wushue County and Qingshu County is actually very far. More than a hundred miles. There are many peaks in the middle. And building roads requires a lot of money and manpower. Before the end of the world, there were no decent roads. Only a three meter wide dirt road. This dirt road is just north of Wushue County. The base vehicle still needs to go to the high ground in the north of Wushue County to reach it. The road is not easy to walk on this trip. We have to walk at least dozens of kilometers on mountain roads. In the carriage, veteran expert Sun Chongxin was wearing reading glasses and murmuring to himself while studying the map. The military shipyard was very hidden. And because he often came out to do underwater research, he was able to find a way to get there from places like this. The real route to the military shipyard cannot be found on civilian maps. That is to say, an old expert like him can remember the route in his mind. The dirt road we drove on turned out to be extremely difficult. Many roads were washed away by flash floods. And some roads required base vehicles to extend their robotic arms to clear the way. Moreover, in several places we passed, due to continuous heavy rains, the road surface was broken and sharp stones were cracked, which caused some damage to the reinforced bulletproof tires. If John Lusher hadn't repaired many parts of the base vehicle early in the morning, it might have been even more difficult. Driving for most of the day, there was no one in sight, and the car completely drove into a sea of green. This is very strange, since the strange virus in the Siberian permafrost has ravaged the entire earth. Not only many people have turned into zombies, but animals have turned into mutant beasts. Even the growth rate of plants is much faster than before. Jiang Lusher and the others once passed through the urban area of northern Jiangsu on the Suwang Secondary Highway and saw that many buildings inside were covered with vines. The same goes for the dirt road we are passing now. Dense and thick vines, overgrown weeds, thorns, and towering ancient trees 
filtered the light leaking above the head into an eerie atmosphere. At first, everyone could clearly see the dirt road in front of them. But at the back, the dirt road was covered by more and more vines and weeds. And the roots of many trees penetrated the dirt road. A few hours later, the base vehicle could only follow the general direction shown on the map and could no longer see the road. According to the map, it should be here. This is almost the end of the dirt road. And then go northeast. Old expert Sun Chongxin struggled to identify the surrounding directions and said slowly. But his words were not so confident. Because the road in front of us was completely different from what we had in mind. And because the trees were too lush. There was no view. No one can be sure that the road will have no deviations. Brother, this section of the road is really quiet. There is no sign of any living things. Jiang Zhuying leaned against the car window and observed the situation outside. Frowning. I passed the village just now. And at least, I could see a few zombies patrolling around. But here, all traces of people were completely wiped out. Suddenly, she turned her eyes and saw something unusual in front of her. Man, there are some abandoned cars there. Jiang Zhuying suddenly pointed to the road ahead and signaled to Jiang Lusher. Jiang Liusher's heart moved. Following the direction pointed by Jiang Zhuying, he saw five or six cars parked deep in the vines on the road ahead. It's just that the continuous heavy rain has made many places on the exterior iron sheets of those cars rusty. And the broken windows are covered with vines. If you don't look carefully, you can't see it. Cheer up and be careful, Jian Lusher said. The car was abandoned here, which was a bit unusual. Moreover, the tires of these abandoned vehicles were obviously punctured and had big holes. Several of the vehicles still had bullet marks on them. Moreover, some cars were in newer condition than others. Obviously, they were not abandoned at the same time, but in sequence. There are five people in ambush ahead. Ren Shiyu's voice suddenly sounded in the hearts of everyone in the car. The mental fluctuations are not obvious. He seems to be an ordinary person, she added. The place where Ren Shiyu sensed it was immediately shared with Jian Lusher. Not far ahead. There was a hidden hill on the right side of the dirt road, with five red dots exposed inside. The mental fluctuations of red dots are not obvious. Jian Lusher frowned slightly. In the last days, there should not be too many survivors who dominate the mountain. As long as they occupy a favorable terrain and prepare an ambush, it is possible for ordinary survivors to kill the superpowers. He could definitely take out the ambush person with one air cannon. But after thinking about it, he hesitated. The power of the air cannon was too great, and it would not be cost effective if it attracted something. There is a high probability that mutated beasts exist in these deep mountains and old forests. And there are quite a few of them. Captain, I'll go. Ling walked quietly behind Jian Lusher and said, Unlike Zhang Hai, Sun Kun and others, Ling always used to call Jian Lusher captain. Okay, be careful. Jian Lusher nodded. Jian Lusher was relatively reassured about Zero's ability in this jungle environment. Her special powers make her extremely flexible and agile, and she is good at sneaking in ambush. Um, Zero nodded. His eyes turned into a pair of green cat eyes. His fingers turned into sharp claws. He held a dagger with a cold light in his hand and quietly sneaked forward. In the small hill in front, several men were sitting. They were different from ordinary survivors. They all had rosy faces and they didn't look like they hadn't eaten enough. Each of them wore a hat made of straw on their head. They tried their best to hide themselves behind the hill and looked at the minibus. Holy crap! Why can't that minibus come here? One of the men was tall, naked from the waist up, and had a centipede-like scar on his body. It's been a while since a car passed by. I'm going to make a big profit this time. Another man answered. The last batch of goods is almost finished. Now another car has come. I thought that this dirt road has become like this. And no one will pass by. A young man wearing glasses said. He looks very handsome. But his eye sockets are sunken. And he always looks exhausted. Hey, Lao Chi. Look at you like this. Did you go to work again last night? That girl will be killed by you sooner or later. The tall man smiled ambiguously at the young man wearing glasses. Otherwise, there's nothing to do. The young man replied. At this time, the tall man's smile had just appeared on his face. But suddenly it froze. A sharp dagger dripping with blood emerged from his heart. The other strong men were stunned for a moment. And just as they came to their senses, a petite figure of a cat-like lowly girl was revealed behind the man who fell to the ground. The light behind the hill was dim. In the dark environment, Zero is like a reaper holding a death scythe. Her murderous movements were extremely graceful and light. Her galloping figure suddenly appeared behind the men, and the next second she appeared above them. 
clutching the hanging vines. Every time she appeared, a man's throat was slit by her dagger. Don't, don't kill me. I surrender. The handsome young man, wearing glasses, saw such a horrific killing method for the first time. His mind went completely blank, and he sat down on the ground. As soon as the dagger landed on his throat, he paused. You, are you Liao Fong? Ling's voice was strange and unexpected. Chapter 380 What a Coincidence The young man who was so frightened that he collapsed on the ground was slightly startled after hearing this. And a trace of doubt appeared in his frightened expression. Why does this voice sound familiar? He plucked up the courage and glanced at Zero in front of him. And then his eyes showed a look of shock. You, are you Jian Ling? At this moment, Zero has restrained all his supernatural abilities. His cat claws have retracted into his body. And he has returned to his normal girlish appearance. With a small and straight nose. Thin lips. Neat short hair. And sharp eyes. Ling Qingli's face has a special heroic spirit. Seeing this face, some familiar images in Liao Feng's memory overlapped with the girl in front of him. The long-lost familiarity dispelled some of his fears. Yeah! Zero nodded, feeling ups and downs in his heart. Jian Ling, this name seems to be covered in dust. No one has mentioned it for a while. While she looked at the young man in front of her, the memory in her mind was rapidly turning forward. The Liao Feng in front of him is far different from the arrogant and domineering student union president in school. The memory of Liao Feng in her mind was not good. In school, Liao Feng is the president of the student union. And Liao Feng's parents are the bosses of Zero's parents. Liao Feng pursued her. But Ling's parents asked her not to offend Liao Feng. So she could only keep her distance and politely refuse. Otherwise, given her character, she would not pay attention to this dude at all. While speaking, in order to hide the impatience on her face and the fact that she didn't want to see Liao Feng at all, she simply lowered her head and didn't look at him. The face of Liao Feng in front of him no longer had the flying attitude of the past. Replaced by a decadent and restrained temperament. With flickering eyes. I was scared to death just now. I didn't expect that my old classmate would actually become a powerful superpower. Liao Feng forced out a smile and breathed a long sigh of relief. If it was Jin Ling, that would be easy to say. And this girl has become a superpower what great news. In fact, although Jin Ling was not really captured by him at first, Liao Feng felt very good. This girl kept her head down when talking to him. Very shy. He felt that if he wanted to win, it would be very easy. But before he could implement it, the end would be over. Jian Ling, where did you go after the end of the world? I asked several classmates, but there was no news about you. I thought something happened to you, but I didn't expect you were fine. It's great. Liao Feng's face showed happiness. With a smile, he got up from the ground and patted the dust on his butt looking like he cared about Zero. Why are you ambushing here? How many of you are there? Ling said calmly without taking Liao Feng's words. She wiped off the blood from the dagger on her hand and tried her best to remain calm. But when she saw Liao Feng smile, she thought of his domineering appearance in the past for no reason. She really wanted to let this hypocritical face disappear in front of her now. Liao Feng was slightly stunned. It seemed that Jian Ling had no intention of reminiscing with him. Then he saw the bloody dagger in Jian Ling's hand. He felt a sudden tremor in his heart. Hey, Jian Ling, this is probably a misunderstanding. Before Liao Feng could finish speaking, he was interrupted by Ling. My name is Zero now. Ling's cold tone and condescending attitude suddenly made Liao Feng feel a little irritable. He wasn't used to such Jian Ling. He was still used to the little girl who lowered her head and talked to him. Thinking about the little girls back then, they didn't dare to show their anger in front of him. And their family background was far inferior to his. Even Ling's father was very respectful when he saw him. Unexpectedly, Zero has now become a superpower. The gap between him and her before suddenly became a huge gap. A hint of cruelty flashed away in his eyes. And an awkward smile appeared on Liao Feng's face. Zero, listen to me first. What happened just now was really a misunderstanding. After the end of my life, I got into a group of strangers' car because of the chaos. We originally planned to run to Qingxia County. But when we got here on the way, we were ambushed. Fortunately, we had someone in the car. A big brother with superpowers. He killed all the robbers. We have stayed here during this period. There are fewer zombies around here, and it is safer. We just ambush here. Not because we have any thoughts about you. Just daily vigilance. You also know that this world is very chaotic. And everyone is very vigilant. Liao Feng explained patiently. This damn zero actually humbled him. Of course Ling would not believe Liao Feng's words, which were full of mistakes. 
it was obvious that the condition of the abandoned vehicles was different. And they were clearly divided into several ways of people who came here at different times. And when Zero first infiltrated, he heard their conversation. This Liao Feng is still the same as before. Obsessed with women, which is not a good thing. Her chaotic thoughts suddenly converged. And she no longer wanted to continue listening. No need to say more. I believe what you say. But I killed four of you. What are you going to do? How are you going to explain it to your superpower boss? Zero asked lightly. She had already had murderous intentions for a moment. But she quickly changed her mind. There is also a boss with superpowers behind Liao Feng. With Liao Feng's clever personality, it is easy to lure him out and catch them all. These guys like to sneak up and ambush. Which is not a good thing if you think about it. Liao Feng breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. This girl looked cold. But it seemed that she still cared about him based on the previous friendship. As long as this is done, it will be easy to handle. This little girl is very innocent. With Liao Feng's methods, maybe he can still win her. If he could eat her to death, wouldn't he be able to live a comfortable life again? You are a superpower. Even if you kill a few of us, our boss can't do anything to you. I'll just go back and talk about it. His melee strength is actually not as good as yours. After a pause, Liao Feng stood up and glanced at the minibus over there casually. Where are you going? How could you come to such a place where birds don't poop? He made a silent assessment in his mind. Even though it was far away, he could still tell that the minibus looked very new. How did it get here all the way? Ling looked indifferent and did not answer Liao Feng's words. He just put the dagger into the pendant on his waist. You should leave quickly. I will tell our captain about you. After leaving these words, Zero turned around and walked towards the minibus. What? Zero and a captain? Liao Feng's face was full of shock. He thought Zero was strong enough. Now that Zero actually has a captain, what kind of ruthless character will his captain be? After leaving a few words, Ling was about to leave when Liao Feng's deep words came from behind. I still want to call you Jian Ling. Do you know? In the end of the world, I have always treasured you in my heart. You are one of the motivations for me to live. I thought that when I have the strength, I must go looking for you. Now that I see you are still alive, I am very happy. I have always kept the M9 army spur you gave me. Ling, who had his back to Liao Feng, slowly turned around and glanced at the dagger in Liao Feng's hand with an indifferent expression. The handle of the dagger was cylindrical, with a mesh pattern on the surface. There was a small slot at the end of the handle, and the blade shone with a cold light. It was indeed an M9 military spur. She didn't know about Liao Feng's tricks to seduce girls. I'm afraid this dagger was always carried by Liao Feng for self-defense. But he just happened to not lose it. The guy still feels as good as ever. In fact, this military thorn was just a gift from her parents. She knew that Liao Feng liked these things. So she got them specially. And then borrowed Ling's hand to send them out to build a good relationship with Liao Feng's parents. When she set it away, she didn't even say another word. You can keep it. Ling turned around and walked towards the minibus without looking at Liao Feng. Liao Feng was stunned. He didn't expect that this move didn't move Ling's face. He thought Ling was going to be moved. His face suddenly turned cold. He snorted secretly, turned around and walked towards a place behind the hill. On the top of the hill, there is a cave hidden behind a huge rock. The cave has a natural hollow hole through which the outside can be observed. At this time, there were three big men hiding in the cave. One of them was a big man with a bald head and a strong back. He held a telescope in his hand and was spying on the minibus from a high position. In the corner next to the big man, there were five or six naked women huddled. The bald man squeaked while snooping, with an extremely excited look on his face. Okay, we encountered a lot of big deals this time. This is the first time I have seen such a luxurious minibus. Hey, what a beautiful girl. Why don't the minibuses move forward? He was really drooling. When he first looked at the minibus with a telescope, the windows were made of dark glass, and he couldn't see clearly what was going on inside. But when a little girl stuck her head out and looked outside, at a sudden glance, she saw the luxurious decoration in the car window. This is simply a RV. And there are several beautiful girls with curvy figures. While I was watching, suddenly another person peeked out of the open car window. It was a young man with short hair. The moment he stuck his head out, his eyes stared straight at him. Has it been discovered? The bald head was startled. Although he didn't believe that someone could see him hidden in the cave from a few miles away. That kind of vision would be too scary. But the young man gave him the feeling that he had discovered his spying. And the young man's eyes were very sharp. Like an eagle. Giving him a strong sense of oppression. 
an inexplicable danger surged over him. He put down the telescope in shock and took a few steps back. How evil! He seems to have seen me! But how is it possible from so far away? The bald man muttered to himself. At this time, Liao Feng had just rushed back angrily. Boss Shang! Boss Shang! What's wrong? The brothers we were ambushing were all killed! Liao Feng looked ugly and gritted his teeth as he returned to the cave. You mean? Zhang Wei and the others are all dead? Then why are you still alive? What's going on? The boss Shan was furious. Their team was originally small. But now four of them died at once. How could they keep him from getting angry? I, the person who killed our brothers was my former female classmate. She was a superpower. Seeing Ba Shan's ferocious face, Liao Feng's heart trembled. And he carefully told Ba Shan everything about the horrific scene that had just happened. Listening to Liao Feng's words carefully, Ba Shan's expression was uncertain. Inside the minibus. Just now, someone was spying on us with binoculars in the cave on the hill over there. Jian Lusher said calmly. After Ran Shiyu's mental detection distance continued to expand, he discovered the snooper. And Jian Lusher locked the location based on the direction Ran Shiyu said. At this time, the carriage door opened and Zero walked in quickly. Zero, did you leave anyone alive? Jian Lusher asked in a deep voice. He and Ran Shiyu shared their mental vision and could detect five red dots behind the hill. Four red dots disappeared, leaving only one red dot left. This shows that Zero did not kill the other party. This is very unusual, based on Jiang Liuzhi's understanding of Ling. Ling is not an indecisive character. I met my former classmate, Zero said calmly. Jiang Liuzhi was a little surprised. What a coincidence. Then he thought that Ling had indeed mentioned that there were some of her classmates in Subei before following them to northern Jiangsu. Captain, I asked him to go back. There is a superpower boss behind him. I'm afraid this matter won't go well and they will come for him soon, Ling said in a deep voice. Jian Lusher glanced at Ling, then nodded. Zero is indeed very decisive in doing things, and this classmate probably doesn't have a good relationship with her. I trust your judgment. Jian Lusher was very confident in the strength of the Shuring team at this moment. In such deep mountains and old forests, unless they were mutant beasts of level 2 or above, if others wanted to provoke them, they would just kill them. Um, through the front window, he saw a person walking down the hill in the distance. The man was young and handsome, and walked towards the minibus with something in his hand. He walked very carefully, and kept looking at the minibus. Zero, is your classmate here? Jian Lusher said suddenly. Ling hurried to the front of the carriage and looked around in the direction pointed by Jian Lusher for a while. His face darkened. Captain, this is my classmate. She calmly took out the dagger. You go down and take a look at the situation. Jian Lusher said. Yes. Zero nodded and quickly got out of the car. Liao Feng walked all the way to the minibus. To be honest, after Ling turned around and left, he was almost scared to death. He didn't want to see Ling again. He had watched Zero transform from a catwoman into the pretty look of his former classmate. And he had also seen with his own eyes the bloody appearance of Zero when he killed. He cherished his life and did not want to have contact with this murderous female classmate again. But Ba Shang's threat forced him to come over again. Besides, Zero letting him go made his mind more active. When he was still a hundred meters away from the minibus, Liao Feng became impatient. Logically speaking, Ling should have seen him. So why didn't he get off the bus? He remembered Zero saying that her captain was in the car. He didn't want to meet the more powerful superpower. When ordinary survivors face a person with superpowers, their mentality is like a white rabbit meeting a tiger. In panic, his throat felt cold. A dagger was pressed tightly against his Adam's apple and he could feel the cold air from the dagger penetrating into his skin. Liao Feng was so frightened that all the hair on his body stood up and his whole body became stiff. You want to die? Didn't I ask you to leave? Ling's cold voice came from behind Liao Feng. I, I want to see you. Liao Feng said bravely. There was a pause, and the dagger at his throat disappeared. Liao Feng secretly breathed a sigh of relief, smelling the faint girly fragrance in his nose. When he turned around, he saw Ling's beautiful face. He was secretly happy that this sentence was still useful, proving that Zero still had feelings for him. It's just that Zero's attitude is too cold now. When he captures her, he must make her become like an obedient kitten, Ling said coldly. Liao Feng, what do you want to do? Liao Feng calmed down. I, I, our boss heard what I told you about you, and he doesn't want to be your enemy. Also, as an old classmate, I met you in the last days, but I can't help you with anything. 
You? I can only bring you some saved dried meat. I hope you can accept it. With that said, Liao Feng handed over the bag in his hand and looked at Ling. Affectionately. With his eyes. He said so. And a little girl like Zero would definitely be moved. In the bag, there was a large pile of black. Dried meat. No need. Zero said directly. Depend on. Liao Feng almost choked. She was not moved by so much meat. No. This is also what our boss means. If you don't take it away, I won't be able to explain it when I go back. Liao Feng said seriously. Ling pursed his lips, turned around and glanced at Liao Feng, handed a piece of meat to Liao Feng, and said coldly, Take a bite first. Liao Feng nodded. Without hesitation, took a bite and said while chewing, Don't worry. It's not poisonous. I have such a relationship with you. You still can't trust me? Zero nodded and said nothing. After a pause, Liao Feng added, By the way, our boss also said, It's getting dark now, and it's easy to rain. You can drive a little northeast. There is a stream there where you can get clean water. You can fish. And the terrain is relatively open, making it easy to camp. Liao Feng's words were just to make Ling feel that this group of people had released great kindness. Okay. I'll tell our captain. Zero nodded. Okay. I'll go back first. Seeing that Ling had put away the pieces of meat, Liao Feng felt relieved and turned around to leave. Ling didn't move. He stared at Liao Feng's leaving figure and suddenly said, You are afraid of me. Liao Feng's shoulders shook, and he turned around with difficulty, forcing a smile. How could it be? I'm very happy to see you. It's been very humid recently, so the meat can't be kept for long. So eat it quickly. Yeah. Zero lowered his head, turned and left, without saying anything more. But the look on his face became even colder. She wanted to know. What else did Liao Feng want to do? Jiang Lusher stood by the car window. After the neuroevolution of his brain, he not only has sharp eyes, but also has good hearing. He heard clearly the conversation between Ling and Liao Feng. Um? He suddenly frowned slightly and glanced at the cave on the other side of the hill from the corner of his eye. He found that in the hole of the cave, there were still people using binoculars to observe secretly. A sneer appeared at the corner of Jiang Liusher's mouth. Chapter 381 delivered to the door. Shang Qiangjuan held the binoculars and kept secretly observing the movement of the minibus. He didn't believe that the young man in the minibus had actually noticed him spying on him just now. But Shang Qiangjuan was very cautious and deliberately changed the observation point to a more concealed hole. He looked at Liao Feng's classmate, who was a female superhuman, and took the piece of meat into the minibus. I also saw that the minibus started driving soon after, and went to collect water and light a fire near the stream in the northeast when he observed that the piece of meat was being grilled in a bonfire and seasonings were thrown in. He felt excited. Boss Shang, how's it going? Did they eat the meat? Liao Feng said flatteringly from the side. Xiao Liao, you did a good job. They are eating my poison meat. We will leave in ten minutes. Boss Shang's Adam's apple rolled. Secretly excited. I haven't encountered such a fat sheep for a long time. He had taken a closer look just now. There were several beauties in the car. And then... There was a young man and a bad old man. Thinking about the figures of those beautiful women made his eyes water. I knew this would happen. Hee <laughs> hee. My female classmate has liked me for a long time and will definitely not doubt me. And in order to dispel their wariness, I even took a bite of poisoned meat. Liao Feng was standing next to him, smiling and taking credit. As soon as he came back, Shang Qiangyuan praised him and absorbed the toxins from the poisonous meat he ate. His cruel trick was very successful. As long as this vote is made, it will definitely be cool for a while. And being able to play hard with that bitch. Thinking of Zero becoming a superpower and having such a condescending attitude, he felt very uncomfortable. After waiting for a while, the sky became darker and darker. The people in the minibus had eaten and drank enough and returned to the minibus. In the cave, Shang Qiangju had observed the minibus for a while and found that there was no movement at all. He licked his lips and wiped his bald head, feeling a little excited. Let's go! After waiting for a while, Shang Qiangyuan estimated the time and ordered. Liao Feng walked at the front, followed closely by Shang Qiangyuan and others, rushing towards the minibus. Along the way, everyone was a little excited. Boss Shang, are you sure that each of them has eaten the meat I sent? Right. Seeing the minibus parked quietly by the stream, Liao Feng felt uneasy for some reason and asked again. Shang Qiangyuan said a word. You don't believe me? Shang Qiangjuan glanced at Liao Feng displeasedly. 
even if they didn't eat meat. As long as I walk near the minibus and wave my hand casually, with my poisonous power, none of them will survive. No. The purpose of using poison is to paralyze them and prevent those girls from dying. Shang Qianjun was full of confidence. The panic in Liao Feng's heart subsided. He also witnessed the strength of Shang Qianjun several times. After they fled to this area, they ambushed several groups of people a few months ago. There were also people with supernatural powers among them. But they all died from Shang Qianjun's poison controlling powers. As much as possible. The poison emitted by Shang Qianjun is colorless and odorless. And can spread 15 meters away. The poison can be divided into several types. Which can paralyze nerves or corrode muscles. At this time, the surrounding environment was dim, and it was almost dark. When he was 15 steps away from the minibus, Shang Qiangjuan stopped. It's so quiet. His dried flesh released neuroparalytic toxins. This toxin is difficult to detect and penetrates directly into the muscle texture of the meat. The group of people in the minibus should have been fast asleep by now. But why were there no snores at all? Shang Qiangjuan is undoubtedly a very cautious person. Song! Go to the car and check the situation. Shang Qiangjuan said to a man next to him. Pause! The man shivered. This kind of work was not easy to do. He heard from Liao Feng that there was a person with superpowers in this minibus. But he was glared at by Shang Qiangjuan's murderous eyes. So he just went to touch the minibus. But he walked to the minibus and pressed the door with his hand. But he couldn't open it. The door seemed to be welded to the carriage. As a last resort, he put his head to the crack of the door, trying to hear what was going on inside. At this time, the door suddenly opened a gap, and a dagger with a cold light was inserted. Enter from the left temple of the big man, and enter from the right temple. The big man didn't even hum and slumped down. The carriage door creaked and Zero jumped out of the car. Jiang Zhuing also came down. You are indeed here, Zero said calmly, wiping the blood from the dagger from the face of the corpse beside him. Shang Qiangjuan's heart sank. It was impossible. He clearly saw this group of people eating his seasoned dried meat. How could it not be poisoned? How is that possible? You, you. Liao Feng's eyelids were twitching wildly, and he was stammering. Why aren't you poisoned? How could I possibly believe you? Ling looked at Liao Feng with cold eyes. A look of contempt on the corner of his mouth. We pretended to eat the meat you gave us. Just to lure you out and catch them all. Jian Zhuing sneered. Besides, there is a sister in our team who can detoxify. The sister she spoke of was, of course, Li Yusin. In fact, when Ling sent the meat pieces to the carriage, Li Yusin used her medical ability to detect the toxins hidden in the meat pieces. Even under the observation of Shang Qianjun's telescope, the pieces of meat they ate were not given by Liao Feng at all. Although Li Yusin could remove toxins, Ling didn't want to touch the pieces of meat brought by Liao Feng. People like you are not worth our trouble. We are just waiting for you to come to our door. Jiang Zhuing added, seeing Ling's contemptuous expression. Liao Feng understood everything instantly. He is such an idiot. He was actually deceived by a woman. But he still felt good about himself along the way, thinking that this woman would be tricked by him. If you haven't eaten, I'm afraid it will be more painful. None of you can escape our boss's superpower. When the time comes, you fall into my hands. Jian Ling, I will make your life worse than death. Liao Feng stared at looking at Ling. He said viciously, He hates this woman so much now. So it's okay to let Ling, a woman who doesn't know the heights of heaven and earth, taste the pain of their boss's poison. In response to Liao Feng's curse, Ling just raised his dagger and stared at Liao Feng with murderous eyes. Staring at her with such murderous eyes, Liao Feng felt so terrified that he couldn't curse anymore. The bald Shang Qianjuan next to him turned cold, and the feeling of being teased made him furious and the arrogant look on the other side made him even more irritated. You all die! Shang Qianjuan shouted, just as he was about to make a move. Jian Zhuing, who was opposite him, suddenly clapped his hands. The dazzling electric arc was fan-shaped, bursting out with astonishing beauty in the dark night. And then Shang Qianjuan was instantly electrified until his internal organs seemed to be on fire. Several of them bounced up and fell heavily to the ground. The huge electric current and the numbness caused Shang Qiangjuan instantly lost control of his body. Let alone the use of toxins. His heart sank. This is a person with the power of electricity. When Ling's figure swooped over like lightning and thrust the dagger high into Shang Qiangjuan's chest, Liao Feng's heart shrank as he watched from the side. Boss! He couldn't help shouting out of his throat. Shang Qiangjuan was very strong in his heart. But why did he end up like this just after meeting him? If Shang Qiangjuan died, his end would be miserable. 
Chapter 382 Stealth Missile Both Unfortunately, no matter what Liao Feng thought, Shang Jiangjuan still couldn't move his body and could only bend his fingers a few times. Most of Jiang Juying's electricity, just now, was directed at Shang Jiangjuan. It shocked the bald man directly. Although Shang Jiangjuan is burly, he is not a supernatural being who is good at physical body after all. And his ability to resist electric current is not good. At this moment, all the nerves in his body were still in a state of paralysis after the heavy electric shock. Shang Jiangjuan's heart suddenly sank to the bottom. Paralyzed and haunted. If he had attacked earlier, the outcome would have been different. And as long as he is allowed to slow down, the toxin can be released. At this time, several people got out of the minibus. Seeing these people, Shang Qianjuan's eyes narrowed. He could feel that the two beautiful women had strong fluctuations of supernatural energy. As for the young man, he was holding a bai bar in his hand. And his eyes, like an eagle, were scanning over him coldly. Shang Qianjuan couldn't help but shudder. He remembered that he had met the young man's eyes through the telescope. And the young man's eyes at that time were exactly the same now. He had no doubt at this time that the young man really saw him at that time. What a terrifying sight! Coupled with a spear in the young man's hand. He is definitely a terrifying shooter. Don't play any tricks. Suddenly, Shang Qianjuan felt a sting in his mind. And a powerful mental force suppressed him so much that he could hardly control his body. There are actually people with psychic abilities? Shang Qianjuan had heard about the horror of mental superpowers. They were powerful beings who could spy into people's souls. So many strong men are actually concentrated in one team. Shang Qianjuan's unwillingness was completely dispelled by reality. If he had known that he was encountering such an elite team of survivors, he would have run away a long time ago. How could he have sent them to his door to seek death? Leave one person to ask if he is familiar with the nearby terrain, and the others will take care of it. Jian Lusher ordered calmly. Jian Lusher didn't have the slightest fondness for these guys who liked to lay ambushes. From the old and new abandoned cars, as well as the iron nails deliberately thrown on the road. You can guess how many murders and arson this group of people have done. Poof! Two sword flashes flashed, and the two big men behind Shang Qiangjuan had their throats cut instantly by Ling, and they collapsed in a pool of blood and twitched. Don't, don't kill me. I'm still useful to you. I'm a superpower. I can control poison, and I definitely have combat effectiveness. Shang Qiangjuan was stimulated by the two corpses next to him, and he trembled and begged for mercy loudly. And you are not looking for someone who is familiar with the nearby terrain? I am familiar with it. I hunt and run everywhere in this area. Jian Lusha raised his eyebrows. He was not interested in Shang Qiangjuan's identity as a superpower. With the strength of their team, they did not need and would not accept such people. However, Shang Qiangjuan said he was familiar with the area, which attracted Jian Liusher's attention. Liao Feng had been trembling on the side. When he saw Jian Liusher's contemplative expression, he was so frightened that he could only keep one person alive. If Jian Liusher was moved by Shang Qiangjuan's words, he would be the one who died. Don't listen to his nonsense. This Shang Qiangjuan is a guy who does all kinds of evil. I reported that he escaped from Panju City. It is said that he is wanted. If you don't believe it, there is a wanted warrant on him. He takes a shower I saw it with my own eyes. Kill him quickly. This guy is very dangerous. Liao Feng suddenly shouted to Jian Lusher. His eyes filled with fear. He could tell that Jian Lusher must be the captain of Ling's group. Liao Feng. After Liao Feng revealed his identity, Shang Qiangjuan was so frightened that he stared at Liao Feng with a fierce look in his eyes. If he hadn't been paralyzed at the moment, he really wanted to pounce on Liao Feng and skin him alive. How dare this guy betray him? Keep your head bald, Jian Lusher said calmly. I, I reported him. Why don't you keep me? This is unfair. Zero. We are classmates. Considering our past friendship, please put in a good word for me. Liao Feng didn't want to die. His face, his muscles twitched, and his lips trembled. Asking Zero for help. Ling's figure flashed. And the dagger mercilessly sliced through Liao Feng's throat. Liao Feng covered his throat. Blood gurgled between his fingers. His body was twitching. And his pupils gradually became dilated. Ling's face was expressionless. It was okay if Liao Feng didn't talk about affection. But when it came to affection, she was so disgusted that she didn't want to keep Liao Feng for a second longer. At the moment of death, Liao Feng finally understood that everything was just about him feeling good about himself. In Zero's eyes, killing him was no different than killing a bed bug. Tell me your identity and all the information you know about Panju City. And on this map, how do you find the road to this area? 
The previous path was covered with plants, and we can't find the road. Jian Liuxiu's voice was cold, as he threw a map in front of Shang Qiangjuan and pointed to the general area of the military shipyard on the map. He needs news about Panju City. And now there is a wanted criminal from Panju City. Which is perfect. Shang Qiangjuan doesn't dare to have a little bit of Xiao Jiujiu in his heart now. Judging from the behavior of this group of people, they are not the kind of soft-hearted team. At this moment, Shang Qiangjuan poured beans out of bamboo tubes and revealed his identity as a wanted criminal and everything he knew about Panju City. Panju City is a large city famous for its mining. Before the end of the world, it was the city with the largest immigrant population in Huyong province. Such a big city has not established a safe island or base city for human survivors. It now has three large forces. Entrenched in three major areas of Panju City, namely the Mad War Alliance, the Falling Star Society, and the Huyong People's Front. Among them, the Mad Fighting Alliance and the Luo Xinghui are mortal enemies, while the Huyong People's Front is neutral and is also the smallest force. Shang Qiangjuan was wanted by the Mad War Alliance. The eight district chiefs of the Mad War Alliance all signed the wanted order. The reward for the wanted order was three mutant crystal cores and 800 kilograms of mutant beast meat. Hearing this reward, Jian Lusha raised his eyebrows. Damn, this reward is already very high. The guy in front of him was not in Jian Liuxiu's eyes at all. But he was actually worth so much money? But what Shang Qiangjuan said next left Jian Lusha speechless. Shang Qiangjuan was indeed a crazed guy. It turned out that he used his ability to control drugs to sneak into a large warehouse of the Mad War Alliance and try to rob him. As a result, the poison accidentally contaminated the entire warehouse and killed an entire team of warehouse guards. Dozens of people in total. Thousands of kilograms of food and various resources were contaminated. This time, the Mad War Alliance was completely angered. The whole city was wanted and all the entrances and exits were blocked. Shang Qiangjuan only escaped by luck and then started blocking roads and robberies here. A wanted warrant found by Ling from Shang Qiangjuan also confirmed Shang Qiangjuan's statement. Shang Qiangjuan also honestly explained three ways to enter Panju City. In addition, he also pointed out the dirt road that was originally covered by vegetation and disappeared on the map Jian Lusher handed over. After receiving this news, Jian Lusher smiled. He was very satisfied. It was an unexpected surprise. There happened to be no one around him who knew Panju City very well and knew nothing about the situation there. Shang Qiangjuan is a native who escaped from Panju City. He confessed a lot of news about Panju City, especially a secret route he used when escaping. In case there is any danger for Shuring team to go to Panju City, this route can be used. I'm really cooperative. You, you can let me go. After telling all the information he knew, Shang Qiangjuan begged. Zero, you handle it. Jian Lusher didn't even look at Shang Qiangjuan. This man was cruel and ruthless, and Jian Lusher had no sympathy for him. Hearing Jian Liuxiu's words, Shang Qiangjuan's heart sank, and he already knew Jian Liuxiu's cruel answer. Don't give me a way to survive? Then I'll fight with you. Although his body was paralyzed and he couldn't move, Shang Qiangjuan's face suddenly bulged like a toad, and there was a look of madness in his bloodshot eyes. Every part of his body was swelling. His body made a sizzling sound and pustules formed on his skin. Some pustules burst, and the venom splashed out eroded holes in the surrounding grass. The cells in his body are completely poisoned, and he is about to self-destruct. At this moment, Shang Qianjun's mind buzzed, and a sharp stabbing pain came. Psychic superpower? Damn it! At the last moment, an unwilling thought flashed through Shang Qianjun's mind, and immediately his spirit was severely suppressed, and he fell unconscious on the ground. A cold light flashed, and Shang Qianjuan's neck was cut open. It's all settled. Captain. Zero placed the dagger on the tree next to it and wiped it. Shang Qianjuan's blood was highly toxic, and the area where the tree was wiped made a sizzling sound and began to dry up. Without further ado, let's leave now. Jian Lusher said loudly, turned around and strode towards the minibus. Now that he knew the direction of the shipyard, he couldn't wait any longer. Wushui County was very dangerous and the survivors in Xiang Suhai were waiting for them to return. Late at night, the roar of an engine suddenly sounded from the dense forest beside the stream. After knowing the specific direction, the dark night could not block Ying's vision. The minibus opened its V-shaped collision angle and roared, crushing through numerous woods along the way and advancing rapidly toward the lower reaches of the stream. More than three hours later, the stream suddenly came to an end. 
Jian Lusher vaguely heard the sound of rolling water in the distance and arrived at the river with only his naked eyes. In the dark night, Jian Lusher saw an abandoned port by the river. There is a large factory building and a power distribution substation above the port. You can vaguely see the huge booms of several cranes in the factory compound. On the riverside, there was a stranded steel freighter docked. There is no sign in front of the factory, but the high walls, barbed wire fences, and guard booths surrounding the factory all illustrate how tightly guarded it was in the past. Finally, we arrived at the military shipyard. Jian Lusher perked up, and the minibus drove forward cautiously for a while, then stopped in front of the shipyard. The door of the shipyard is tightly locked with iron locks as thick as a child's arm. Jian Lusher is in a hurry now, and does things simply and roughly. The minibus ran directly and brutally, and with a loud roar. The iron door was knocked down. The headlights on the front of the minibus illuminate the things in front of you. Ship assembly workshops one after another, as well as shipyard supporting facilities such as painting, sail rigging, and outfitting, appeared in front of everyone. As the minibus moved through the huge shipyard, they didn't even see a single body along the way. Some areas were empty, and it was obvious that a lot of precision equipment had been moved away by soldiers from the military shipyard. This shipyard may have been moved and evacuated before the end of the world. Even if some personnel stayed, all important equipment had been moved away. Jiang Liosher's heart sank. If the Type 022 stealth missile boat was also moved away, then the trip would be in vain. There are no ships in the shipyard. Let's go out and take a look. After searching for a while, Jian Lusher drove the minibus directly to the only cargo ship in the port. As soon as he walked to the port, he saw at a glance a ship dozens of meters long floating in a very hidden place on the outside of the freighter. The Sea Blue ship is a catamaran way piercing ship with a data antenna mounted on a tall radar mast. Jian Liosher's heart beat hard. Although I haven't seen it, there is a high probability that this is the Type 022 stealth missile boat. However, in order to further confirm, Jian Lusher still stepped onto the ship. Zero followed beside him. Everyone else was ordered by Jian Lusher to stay on the minibus. Compared with a huge cargo ship, the missile boat looks quite small. But when Jian Lusher actually stepped onto the steel deck of the missile boat and looked around, he was still shocked by this steel monster that was more than 40 meters long and more than 10 meters wide. The heavy rains in recent days have caused water to accumulate on the deck of the ship, and moss has grown inside. When you step on it, there will be waves of water squealing. Brother Jiang, be careful. There is something. Suddenly Ran Shi's warning sounded in his mind. At this time, the wind roared behind his ears. Jiang Liosher's heart tightened. His body rose up. His footsteps stomped heavily on the deck. And he jumped into the air and turned to look behind him. He had already pulled out two 54 pistols with both hands and pointed them in the direction of the sneak attack. A three to four meter long strange fish jumped up from the side of the boat opened its bloody mouth, and swallowed the rocks in the river. Water monster. In the darkness, the pistol in Jian Liosher's hand fired a few sparks. After a few snaps, the strange fish was smashed into a sieve in the air, and then fell heavily back into the dark water. The genetic fluids transformation and improvement of the body made Jian Liosher much stronger, and his marksmanship became more proficient and accurate. Even in the dark, this little water monster did not pose much of a threat to him. She you. Is there any movement in the cabin? After Jian Lusher stood still, he asked in his mind. No, I haven't detected any other fluctuations. But you have to be careful. There are a lot of red lights in the water. Ran Shi reminded. Jian Lusher felt relieved. As long as there was nothing in the cabin, it was enough. Besides, he just needed to stay away from the side of the ship. After walking inside the cabin and seeing clearly the configuration inside, and then checking the missile launchers on both sides of the ship, and the small caliber automatic turret mounted on the bow. Jian Liosher's heart was completely shattered. Shadow! Jian Liosher said in his mind. He left all the mutated crystal nuclei in the base vehicle in advance and handed them over to the base vehicle steward. Jiaying, for use. Feeling Jian Liosher's thoughts. And quickly put a mutated crystal core into the groove of the base vehicle. Star Seed, conduct the third scan. Scan the Type 022 stealth missile boat in front of you. Jian Lusher said loudly in his mind. Chapter 383 The Third Form of Base Vehicle The scanning progress is 60%. 70%. Starseed's cold reminder echoed in Jian Lusher's mind. He jumped lightly from the deck to the shore and said H, low to zero. Let's go back now. Ling Wei was surprised. Didn't he come here just to look for this missile boat? Why did you go back? 
but she didn't ask any more questions. Jian Lusher is the captain of the Shuring team. He doesn't ask too many questions about his affairs. He just does his job and is fine. Not long after the two turned around and landed ashore, a star seed notification sounded in Jian Liusher's mind. Beep the scan has been completed. The base vehicle has opened its third mode. This mode combines the basic characteristics of the Type 022 stealth missile boat and the minibus. In the darkness, no one noticed that the Type 022 stealth missile boat that was originally floating in the river suddenly disappeared without a trace. As soon as he got back on the minibus, Jian Lusher noticed that everyone's eyes were focused on him. Brother, why did you hear gunshots just now? Did you encounter a zombie? Jiang Zhuying asked with concern. When she heard the gunshot just now, she was worried and wanted to take a look. Fortunately, Jiang Lusher and the others came back soon. It's nothing. It's just a little water monster that has been killed. Jiang Lusher said solemnly. Did you find the missile boat? Jiang Zhuying asked this question, which was also a question that others in the car were concerned about. They worked so hard to find the missile boat. Found it. Jian Lusher nodded vaguely. Of course, there were some things that he couldn't say in public, as that would be too shocking. And Sun Changxin is an outsider after all. So some things are even harder to say. He went straight to the cab, and quickly stood up and sat in the passenger seat. As soon as he sat in the cab, Jian Lusher started the minibus, holding the steering wheel and driving all the way to the river. The wheels in front were soaked in the river water. At this time, Jian Lusher thought, a gap slid open next to the instrument panel, and two buttons emerged from it. One of the buttons is black and one is ocean blue. He pressed the sea blue button without hesitation. Switch to the third form of the base vehicle missile boat base vehicle. Buzz. Suddenly, Jian Liosher's mind was shaken, and he felt a strange wave rushing through the base vehicle. Immediately afterwards, the holographic image of the base vehicle appeared in his mind. The interior of the original minibus began to change rapidly. The entire interior space is expanding. The field of vision is rising. And the cab that was originally connected to the carriage has now become a sealed bridge with an aluminum alloy structure. The densely packed console is dotted with complex buttons of various colors, such as the photoelectric shooting control system. The steering wheel has disappeared and been replaced by a round steel steering wheel. Everything inside, including the handbrake, manual lever, instrument panel, etc., is changing in the holographic screen. The appearance of the minibus began to change. The thin alloy SH. I was gone. Replaced by a thick steel plate deck and a navy blue aluminum alloy hull. After a while. A low. Flat. Wave piercing catamaran missile boat with simple and smooth lines. Equipped with anti-aircraft cannons and anti-ship missile launchers. Appeared in the holographic picture in Jiang Liusher's mind. Inside the missile boat. Jiang Zhuying's eyes widened in surprise. Staring at everything around him. There were no changes in the interior of the minibus. But the cab in front became a sealed bridge, and she could no longer see her brother Jian Lusher and Ying. Through the car window, she could clearly see the metal deck and ship sides outside. It clearly became a boat on the water. How is this going? Ah! By the way, this must be my brother's superpower! Jian Zhuying remembered. Jian Lusher has the mysterious ability to modify machines. And that incredible minibus is his masterpiece. She has experienced the transformation of a minibus into a mining truck several times. And she also knows that the minibus has some shocking and powerful weapons and functions. But this time, the transformation of the minibus is far more exciting than the transformation into a mining truck. Shock. Brother's superpowers have improved again. Jiang Zhuying was excited. She has always been proud of Jiang Lusher. The stronger Jiang Lusher is, the happier she will be. In her heart, Jiang Liusher's extraordinary ability was a matter of course. The shock in Liusen and Ran Shiyu's hearts was also stronger than before. After all, a minibus turning into a mining truck and a minibus turning into a ship are completely different concepts. Their guesses were roughly similar to Jiang Zhuing's, and they felt that Jiang Liusher's magical mechanical modification ability must have been enhanced. Sun Changxin, an old water conservancy expert next to him, was completely confused. Oh my god! Where did the minibus go? Sun Changxin rubbed his eyes suspecting that he was hallucinating, patting the wall of the base vehicle next to him. The hardness and paint color had changed, making him feel incredible, like he was in a dream. There are also outside decks and ship sides. Sun Changxin couldn't believe everything about this growing hull. Mr. Sun, don't be nervous. This is my brother's superpower. Super mechanical modification power. Jiang Zhuying actually only had a vague idea of Jiang Liusher's superpower. 
but that didn't stop her from taking the initiative to introduce it to Sun Chongxin. Seeing Sun Chongxin's stunned look, Jiang Juying showed a playful smile. Do you have such a special ability? Sun Chongxin was stunned and muttered. It's not like he hasn't seen people with superpowers in Yang Feng's military base. That Yang Feng can control plants. His supernatural power is incredible enough. But Jiang Juying in front of him actually said that turning a car into a boat was also a kind of supernatural ability. Sun Chongqing shook his head. Still a little unacceptable. He has received a lifetime of materialist ideological education and has his own set of scientific concepts. But the scene in front of him had a huge impact on his thinking. But when the facts are in front of us, we have to believe them. Otherwise we don't know how to explain them. After the apocalypse, people can turn into zombies, superpowers, and giant underwater monsters. Which of them would subvert many of his previous knowledge? What's impossible about a person with superpowers transforming a minibus into a ship with his unique abilities? Now the door from the carriage to the deck could not be opened. So the old water conservancy expert could only put his head out of the window and look at the front and rear of the ship. After seeing something, he was even more surprised. And he vaguely knew what the ship he was on was. This was the 022 missile boat. Boom! The missile boat base vehicle was launched. With its huge hull and powerful kinetic impact. The metal monster suddenly rushed up a wall of water more than 10 feet high in the rolling river. The sound of water being launched drowned out the sound of surrounding water. Plowing out a billowing white water line on the water. Among them, there were several strange fish patrolling underwater. But they were hit by the fast moving hull of the ship. Half of the scales on the body of the giant fish. Which was about 10 feet long. And its head were smashed off. This caused other water monsters to rush up one after another and devour the flesh and blood of the dead fish. So strong! Through the shadow, Jiang Lusher could directly see everything on the water and below the ground at the base. The strange fish that were smashed to death under the water made him feel very happy. This kind of water monster can usually be killed with at least the firepower of a rifle. Pistols are useless against them with rough skin and thick flesh. The missile boat died immediately upon impact. Jiang Lusher, who rushed into the water, was in a good mood. This is the third form of the base vehicle. It looks like a missile boat, but it actually retains many features of the minibus, such as the cabin behind the bridge. It looks like the cabin of a ship, but in fact it is exactly the same as the cabin of a minibus. It is still very luxurious inside, with a microwave oven, electrical system, and so on retained. The feeling of driving a missile boat in the water is completely different from that of a base vehicle on land. You can feel the missile boat rising and falling slightly with the waves. Now that the base vehicle has turned on the hull mode, the land and water will be truly unimpeded in the future. In this way, the only water monster that frightened him was no longer so scary in his mind. It also greatly enhances the survivability of the base vehicle. If it encounters any danger in the future, the water will no longer be an obstacle to it. All the data and holographic images of the base vehicle at this moment appeared in Jiang Yusher's mind. The third form of the base vehicle, the water base vehicle mode has been turned on. This mode combines the basic functions of a missile boat and a minibus. The activation data is as follows dash. Ship type, missile boat. Standard displacement, 220 tons. Full load displacement, 250 tons. Boat length, 41.6 meters. Width, 12.2 meters. Draft, 1.4 meters. Crew, 12. Power, diesel power. SI water injection propeller. Top speed, 60 knots. Power, 6,133 kilowatts. Avionic system, search radar, lack of core materials. Cannot be used. Photoelectric fire control instrument, lack of core materials. Cannot be used. Shipborne weapons, 1 AK-630 small caliber automatic anti-aircraft cannon. Two sets of YJ-83 anti-ship missile launchers, lack of core materials. Cannot be used. Functions, acceleration sprint. Collision, corner collision. Secondary reserve space function. Air cannon. War room. Compression flamethrower. Bulletproof glass reinforcement. Note, in this mode, run flat tires cannot be used. And there is no corner or collision function. I've earned it now! Jian Lusher stood on the bridge. Feeling very excited. It is indeed the Type 022 stealth missile boat. After scanning and merging this guy, the third form activated by the base vehicle is so awesome. Although the search radar and YJ-83 anti-ship missile launcher cannot be used due to lack of core materials. But this AK-630 small caliber automatic anti-aircraft cannon already made Jiang Lusher extremely happy. When the apocalypse just started, 
he tried his best to get only a second-hand minibus. At that time, he would never have imagined that he would actually have a base vehicle that could be integrated with a missile boat. When driven out, something like this is definitely more powerful than a mining truck. Apart from anything else, this automated anti-aircraft cannon can definitely crush any mutant zombie into a sieve. After all, this is a thing used to deal with aircraft. But only in this flood. Such a missile boat base vehicle is a real weapon. After all, this missile boat can't drive ashore. And the power of the missile boat base vehicle is 6,133 kilowatts. Which makes Jiang Lusher feel heartbroken when he looks at it. This is definitely a gas-hungry monster. And the power of the mining truck is only 1,743 kilowatts. Fortunately, he had prepared a large amount of diesel in advance. And the fuel supply could be sustained in a short period of time. But the high fuel consumption is worth it. The missile boat has a top speed of 60 knots which is equivalent to a speed of more than 100 kilometers an hour on land. But just like that, Jian Lusher was still a little dissatisfied. After all, strong firepower is not enough. A military ship made of aluminum alloy is very hard. But thinking of the level 2 plus mutated pufferfish monster, Jian Lusher still felt uneasy. Because the entire shape of the base vehicle is longer and wider than before. The reinforcement coverage area of alloy metal is definitely not enough. Jian Lusher opened the panel skillfully and saw a series of evolution options. He had stored a lot of rare metals in the past. This time in Wushui County, he asked Xiang Shuihai to provide a batch. A large amount of metal is enough to supply Star Seed to complete what he wants to strengthen. Enhance the coverage area of the first grade alloy on the hull. Although the aluminum alloy hull of the third form base vehicle is already very hard, it is far inferior to Jian Liosher's alloy metal that has been specially modified with Star Seeds. Moreover, Alloy metal is very light and is perfect for enhancing hull defense. A large amount of metal is enough to supply Star Seed to complete what he wants to strengthen. Strengthen the power system. Jian Lusher was a little dissatisfied with the top speed of 60 knots. The ideal type of ship in his mind is the fastest and hardest. Capable of defense, pursuit, and escape. Only such a short and powerful ship can spend a long time on the water with the water monster. After all, in the water, the water monster is home and powerful. Their boat must run fast enough to have a high chance of survival. Although strengthening the power system will increase the fuel consumption of the missile boat again. Jian Lusher is not worried about this. He had prepared a lot of diesel fuel. And he could afford to consume more diesel fuel. These two strengthening projects cost him eight first level mutant crystal nuclei. The muscles on Jian Lusher's face twitched and he felt a burst of pain. Fortunately, after Jian Lusher came to northern Jiangsu from Zhonghai Bay City, he went through many battles and accumulated 12 mutant crystal nuclei. In addition, he killed the mutant wild dogs in Wushui County. But now, he has 13 mutant crystal nuclei. These mutated crystal nuclei can make him feel generous at this moment. In fact, these 8 crystal cores have only completed part of the transformation. To strengthen the outer SH, L of the ship's hull, one mutant crystal core is needed per square meter. Even if all 13 are used, it will not be enough. Jian Lusher focused on strengthening the bow and sides of the ship. He still had greater uses for the remaining crystal cores. As for the hull SH, L, all strengthening will be completed slowly in the future. Not only this ship, but also the mining truck has been strengthened, which is only halfway done. When the crystal core was used up, Jian Lusher felt that his money was tight. Among the evolutionary enhancement options, Jian Lusher also saw many new items. The first is some content that cannot be opened on the missile boat due to lack of materials. Such as search radar, photoelectric fire control instrument, two sets of YJ-83 anti-ship missile launchers, etc. Jian Lusher estimated that the ship had not been completed in the first place. And these were what it originally lacked. After the Starseed scan, as long as Jian Lusher can find the materials, these projects can be completed one by one. Otherwise, he is a layman and may not even know what equipment is missing on the ship. However, Jian Lusher took a look at these core materials and found that he had no inventory at all. But there is another strengthening project that Jian Lusher can currently carry out. And it is also the reason why he left the crystal core. Star Seed. Add the AK-630 cannon manual operating system and integrate the system with a small war room. This artificial operating system is of great use to Jian Lusher. The most powerful weapon of the missile boat base vehicle is the AK-630 anti-aircraft cannon. But this weapon requires the cooperation of a photoelectric fire control instrument and a computer. Today's base vehicles require a second-level mutant crystal core to evolve functions like radar. 
Jian Lusher obviously could not meet this condition. So he could only choose the simplest manual operating system. After all, if operated manually, Ran Shiyu's mental detection is equivalent to his radar detection. And his eyesight is like a falcon. And he can also cooperate with Ran Shiyu's mental detection to observe changes outside. Now that the conditions are insufficient, Jian Lusher can only use all his advantages and work as a coolie himself. This is a compound transformation that requires three first-level mutant crystal nuclei. Starseed said coldly. Start the transformation, Jian Lusher said in his heart. Chapter 384, Enemies from Both Sides After using 11 mutant crystal cores in one breath, Jian Liosher's heart was really bleeding. Of all the possessions he had managed to accumulate, only two were left in the end. But the last two are absolutely necessary. The missile bow base vehicle in its third form lacks one thing. When he was on land, he broke out of difficulties time and time again. His collision ability and corner collision were both extremely powerful, simple and practical. It would be a shame if such a function is not used. Of course, the area of the bow of the missile boat base vehicle is larger than that of the minibus, and the collision angle must be larger. Using the holographic image of the ship's bow in his mind, Jian Lusher calculated the area of the ship's bow and immediately designed the V-shaped collision angle pattern of the missile boat. The moment the plan was finalized, the last two first-level mutant crystal nuclei disappeared into the groove in front of the console. The collision angle is turned on together with the collision function. The base vehicle transformation is in progress. And the remaining progress is 90%. Starseed's cold reminder suddenly sounded in Jian Liosher's mind. The modification process of the base vehicle takes at least 34 minutes. And the specific time depends on the difficulty of the modification. Jian Liosher estimated that it would take at least half an hour. During this time, he continued to study the missile boat. In the dark night, the missile boat base vehicle looked like a crawling giant beast cutting through the waves on the river. With a formidable momentum. You all fasten your seat belts. I want to see the power of this missile boat. Jian Liosher's voice was transmitted through the ship's loudspeaker to the cabin behind him. Sun Chinxin, Jiang Zhuying and others did not dare to delay and quickly fastened their seat belts. At the same time, they all showed expressions of excitement and anticipation. I don't know what kind of power this missile boat has. Because of the existence of Star Seed, Jian Lusher can completely grasp every place and function of the missile boat base vehicle. But he still doesn't know how the functions of the missile boat cooperate with the hull of the missile boat itself. Now he just wants to toss around the missile boat base vehicle to test its power. Turn on the sprint function, Jian Lusher said to Xing Zhong in a deep voice. Boom! The base vehicle suddenly shook and the SI water jet propeller under the missile boat suddenly sprayed out two fierce water jets. 50 knots! Section 65! 80 knots! Ink passed the data one by one into Jian Liosher's mind. At 80 knots, the missile boat had reached the maximum power limit. This speed could only be reached briefly in the sprint state after the power system was strengthened. The diesel engine roared crazily, pushing the missile boat through the waves on the river, rushing like a crawling beast, as if it was about to fly. The entire hull made a dull sound under the impact of the high-speed water flow. The ship's hull turned 90 degrees. Jian Lusher had another order in his mind. If there are other naval officers and soldiers who hear Jian Lusher's words, they will definitely hate Jian Lusher. With such a huge hull turning 90 degrees at high speed, and driven by inertia due to its extremely strong potential energy, there is a high chance that the missile boat's center of gravity will become unstable and the ship will capsize. This is an extremely dangerous move and it is almost impossible for a ship approaching 42 meters to make such a move. But the missile boat base vehicle did it. Star Seed was able to perfectly integrate every part of the machine, matching it to the extreme of perfect fluid mechanics. And under Jiang Liosher's control, every angle conformed to Star Seed's calculations without any errors. The moment Jiang Liosher issued the order, the entire missile boat moved 90 degrees laterally. The huge hull swept across in a right-angle fan shape creating a wave of water that was 7 or 8 meters high. There was a strange vibration in the bow, cabin, stern and other parts of the ship, which averaged all the inertial potential energy to many places. Buzz, the entire missile boat looked like a big dragon. It trembled slightly for a few times and still completed a 90 degree sharp turn. Jiang Lusher secretly clenched his fists and was very satisfied with the performance of the missile boat base vehicle. This kind of missile boat is sprinting rapidly on the water, and such a huge hull can make such abnormal movements, which fully illustrates the powerful performance of the missile boat base vehicle. Only such a flexible missile boat can fight against the level 2 plus mutant water monster. 
The floods outside Wushui County are still rising little by little. As old expert Sun Chongqing judged, the floods have now reached the roots of the city wall. The rising water brought the various water monsters lurking in the flood closer to the survivors in Wushui County. The mutated pufferfish crawling in the water has tried to attack the survivors in Wushui County eight times. Except for the first time. It was swept away by its long tentacles and ran around, causing it to slightly cross the cordon. The surviving child, who had tried in vain every other time, slunk away angrily. Although no survivors were eaten, the existence of the huge mutated pufferfish and countless other small water monsters under the water put great psychological pressure on the survivors in Wushue County. Moreover, Wushue County's food reserves are already seriously insufficient. But there are now more than 10,000 survivors in Wushue County which is 10,000 mouths waiting for food. Xiang Shuehai has tried her best, budgeted carefully, and cooked pots of porridge for every meal. The porridge is also mixed with a lot of wild vegetables, bran and other grains collected by the survivors to make it as thick as possible. Even so, it's still not enough. Xiang Shuehai calculated that the food stored in Wushue County was only enough for three days at most. This is still a case of careful budgeting and cooking porridge for every meal. If with the mutated pufferfish lurking in the flood ahead gone. She could also use a recently found boat to go to the nearest urban area in northern Jiangsu and other villages to look for food. But as long as this big water monster is around, Wushue County will be in a state of only consuming but not importing. Jian Lusher, when will you come back? Xiang Xuehai's eyebrows condensed, and she couldn't help but think. Now only Jian Liusher's return can break the current predicament. At this time, she suddenly heard a scream coming from the direction of the mountain to the east. I saw many panicked ordinary survivors pouring out of some shacks on the mountainside to the east. They rushed towards the direction of Xiangxuahai. Xiangxuahai has now transformed an elementary school halfway up the mountain into a temporary command center. Most of the people in the city defense team, as well as all the stored food, are stored here. Luo Junjiang. What happened? What's the panic over there? Xiang Xuehai saw Luo Junjiang rushing over with several members of the city protection team angrily. Luo Junjiang has become much thinner these days, with sunken eye sockets and green stubble all over his face. Ba Xiang, the wooden fence on the east side has been reopened, and many zombies have climbed up from the back mountain. I have sent a group of superpowers to intercept it there, but I'm afraid I need you to go there. Ba Xiang, to be honest, there are too many. At the last word, Luo Junjian looked a little ashamed. Xiang Xuehai has completely handed over the guard work of Wushui County to him. But he seemed so incompetent. At critical moments in many matters, Xiang Xuehai must be asked to take action. He knew in his heart that the Xiang Xuehai in front of him had not slept much for four or five days. At most, he only took a nap during his busy schedule. Hearing Luo Junjian's words, Xiang Xuehai's heart sank. Luo Junjian brought seven or eight superpowers with him. If that group of superpowers can't stop them, it can only be said that the number of zombies has reached a terrifying level. It's impossible. The mountain is so high in the east, and the whole body is covered with cliffs. Usually there are at most one or two zombies climbing up. Xiang Shuhai frowned. Very surprised. There have been too many floods these days. We cut down a lot of trees to make shacks on the east side of the mountain. And there was a mudslide last night. Many zombies climbed over to us along the mudslide. We stayed there in the morning. The guard fell asleep again and didn't notice it. When he found out, the zombies had already rushed over. Luo Junjiang's face turned pale. This is partly due to his ineffective deployment of personnel. If a smart and diligent guard is used to detect the zombie group early, it may be much better. However, these guards were very tired even after turning around. Even Luo Junjiang himself was seriously sleep deprived. Okay, let's go quickly. Zhang Hai. Sun Kuen, come with me, Xiang Xuehai said to the two big men beside him. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen quickly picked up the Type 95 shotguns and followed closely. They remembered Jiang Liusher's reminder before leaving that nothing could happen to Ba Xiang. She is now the spiritual support of many survivors in Wushue County. If something happens to Xiang Xuehai, Wushue County will completely collapse. Wait for Xiang Xuehai to arrive near the shack on the east side. There were fierce gunshots and the sounds of battles between superpowers. A hole was cut into the hilltop on the east side. And many zombies climbed up the debris flow slope mixed with gravel and silt. Struggling to climb towards the top of the hill. And kept rushing toward the shack. These zombies use their hands and feet together and are extremely flexible. Making people scalp numb just by looking at them. How is it possible? 
Why are there so many zombies coming from this direction? When Xiang Xuehai saw clearly the hundreds of zombies rushing into the shanty town, he was confused. The side next to the mountains in the east is the floodplain area, which is full of large floods. How come zombies are climbing up from this place? Zhang Hai. Sun Kuen. You go help fight. I'll go up and take a look. Xiang Xuehai greeted Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen. Without waiting for either of them to react, she took a strong breath and flew almost all the way to the top of the mountain. Her powers were fully activated, and her body became much lighter. She was carried by the strong wind and climbed to the top of the mountain in a few seconds. Looking down from a high position, she felt a sudden chill. From this place, she could see all the way to the flooded urban area of northern Jiangsu. It is the place with the largest number of living people before the apocalypse. And it is also the largest gathering place for zombies after the apocalypse. The zombies that waded in from the direction of downtown Jiangsu stopped moving forward when they reached the vicinity of Wushui County, and instead came directly towards the eastern hills of Wushui County. If these zombies continue to move forward, they will reach the flood area where the mutated pufferfish and large water monsters are located. Among them, at the foot of the mudslide, she could clearly see a zombie covered in red with peeling skin, roaring vigorously into the water. Its sound is very strange. Whenever a zombie passes by, it will follow its sound and flop towards the top of the mountain where it is located. Without continuing any further. Mutated zombies? Xiang Shuehai's heart tightened. She vaguely understood what was going on. After the apocalypse, she fought countless zombies and came into contact with mutant zombies. She understands the characteristics of some mutant zombies. This kind of thing already has a certain survival instinct and has very special abilities to induce and control other zombies. They are equivalent to the leaders of ordinary zombies and can command zombies. This thing was definitely afraid of the mutated pufferfish in the flood ahead, and didn't want the zombies to be eaten. So it directed the zombies to approach the safer mountaintop to the east. It's very dangerous now. There are water monsters in front of us and zombies attacking the city behind. Xiang Shuahai's heart tightened, looking at the water surface in the direction of Subei. She couldn't help but think of a figure in her mind. Jiang Lusher, where are you now? Chapter 385 Can't Fall. Ah. A scream suddenly came from below. Xiang Shuehai, who was standing on the top of the mountain, fell trembling and looked at the sound. In one of the dilapidated shacks, a thin psychic was bitten in the shoulder by a tall zombie. The thin superpower's right arm grew thick and strong hair, and seven or eight zombies had fallen beside him. But it was obvious that his supernatural power had dropped a lot. He slapped out his furry arms, which only knocked the zombie away. But not long ago, he punched the zombie's hard head and smashed it into a bloody gourd. His strength has weakened with physical exertion. As soon as this thin man with supernatural powers was bitten, several veins ruptured and blood flowed, and his face suddenly turned pale. The tall zombie had eaten the flesh and blood of a living person. Its pupils were blood red, and it was very excited. Its hands were like iron hoops, and it tightly hugged the thin supernatural being in front of it, and the person with superpowers was tightly bound by the zombies, and with his current physical strength, he couldn't break free. Several other zombies that had just rushed into the shack also rushed toward the thin superpower. Seeing these zombies rushing towards them, the face of the skinny superpower changed greatly. He wanted to explode, but the strength in his body was empty for a while, because he hadn't eaten any mutated beast meat for a long time. For a person with superpowers, mutant beast meat is equivalent to gasoline for a car. Without mutant beast meat, the power of his superpowers will be greatly reduced. Just as a burst of despair surged in my heart, I suddenly heard several dull gunshots. A pungent smell of gunpowder smoke penetrated his nose. The zombies that had just jumped on him fell out one after another, as if they were hit by something. The tall zombie on top of him was also grabbed by the neck, turned over, and shot again. Brother, are you okay? Zhang Hai said with a thick voice, and helped the thin superhuman up. The zombies on the ground just now had their heads and hearts beaten into sieves and were completely dead. He held a Type 95 shotgun in his hand, and with his tall stature, he was rough and burly. It's okay. The thin superpower glanced at Zhang Hai. He could clearly feel that Zhang Hai's superpower fluctuations were still very strong, and he was obviously much stronger than him. How did he know that Zhang Hai, a member of the Shuring team, ate mutated beast meat every day, and he ate it in various ways, so his supernatural power was naturally very strong. This point is far beyond comparison with the indigenous superpowers in Wushui County. All the superpowers who rescued people in a shack, many of them were in danger. Because during the flood, 
They basically had no mutated beast meat to eat. And their supernatural powers were much weaker. John High and Sun couldn't stand out among a group of superpowers. With abundant superpowers and powerful weapons, like shotguns. Don't be too sharp when dealing with such ordinary zombies. But just relying on the prominence of these two people still couldn't save the overall situation. As more and more zombies rushed in. At this time, John High saw the wound on the shoulder of this superpower. Which was bitten by a zombie. This superpower was destined to be infected and mutated. In just a short time, his wound had turned black. These zombies are constantly evolving. And the virus is also evolving. John High's heart sank. The superpower saw the look in John High's eyes. And he also looked down at his wound. His face looking very defeated. John High sighed. He was bitten by a zombie and had no choice but to kill himself. If he doesn't, others will give him a ride. The battle between humans and zombies is so cruel. Even those with superpowers may die due to a moment of negligence. Don't panic. Everyone, retreat behind the ridge. At this time, a cold voice sounded from behind the superpowers. Then a gust of wind swept towards a dozen ordinary zombies that rushed towards them. And there were countless wind blades floating in the strong wind. Swish. Brush. Brush. The hearts. Necks. Heads and other parts of these zombies were pierced one after another. Zombies whose fatal parts were shot by the wind blade fell to the ground one after another. Even if they don't die immediately, they are just crawling on the ground and have lost the ability to continue their violent attacks. The zombies in front were suddenly cleared. And the pressure on everyone was greatly reduced. Xiang Shuihai's thin figure appeared in front of everyone. No zombies poured in. And the remaining zombies in the shack were immediately overthrown by Zhang Hai and other superpowers. Ba Xiang's special ability is so strong. Zhang Hai secretly smacked his lips. He was secretly proud of himself after just killing seven or eight zombies. Compared with Xiang Shuihai, it was nothing. In terms of abilities alone, Xiang Shuihai is definitely a strong one. Um, he suddenly noticed that Xiang Shuihai's figure seemed to be shaking, as if he was about to fall down. Ba Xiang, why don't you go and have a rest? This shack is densely packed, and it is easy to build defenses. With some barbed wire and obstacles, we can stop these zombies first. Zhang Hai rushed to Xiang Shuihai in a few steps and whispered road. That's fine. Xiang Shuihai did not hold on and nodded in agreement with Zhang Hai's plan. Her supernatural power was also a little behind. After returning to Wushui County, she barely ate. And her ability to control the air to create storm blades consumes a lot of power. And she never uses it easily. She had just used it once. And her body couldn't support it. Luo Jun Jiang. Follow Zhang Hai's command. Quickly deploy a temporary defense system in this area. And transport all the guns and ammunition from the temporary headquarters. Although Xiang Shuihai lacks supernatural powers, her mind is still clear. Relying on the superpowers of superpowers will not be able to sustain it for long according to the current situation. We can only rely on construction fortifications and all the guns and ammunition collected, hoping to be able to sustain it for a while. Xiang Shuihai is very decisive in doing things and has charisma. A group of supernatural beings fought hard. And Xiang Shuihai once again forcibly activated the few supernatural powers in his body. After killing several waves of zombies, many survivors, who still had some physical strength, came to help build construction works. After a period of time, a simple construction project more than 2 meters high and 10 meters long, blocking the road from the shack to the mountainside, was finally completed. The shack was also destroyed, forming the first obstacle to the zombies. Duh duh duh. Many members of the city defense team were transferred over, crawling behind the simple construction fortifications and shooting the zombies that rushed over. Xiang Shuai's face was pale, and her head, limbs, and even her whole body felt pain like pinpricks. This was the sequelae caused by her excessive consumption of superpowers. In fact, her use of a wave of storm blades was already the limit of her superpowers just now. But she later endured the pain and used two waves of storm blades. This directly caused her superpowers, and even the superpower cells all over her body, to be activated excessively, resulting in adverse consequences. This is the same as ordinary people's muscle soreness caused by excessive exercise. Sitting in the small makeshift room, Xiang Shuihai felt uneasy. Now Wushui County is suffering from internal and external troubles. And everyone at the top and bottom cannot have enough to eat. Facing the invasion of zombies, the situation is already precarious. Because there are simply not enough guns and ammunition. Originally, there were only more than 20 guns in the temporary warehouse in Wushui County. But there were also more than a dozen guns and several boxes of ammunition found by Mr. Chiu and other foreign powers. 
But these cannot last long against the endless tide of zombies. To really fight against zombies, and in this mountainous environment, you still need to rely on superpowers. But this group of people with superpowers had not eaten mutated beast meat for a long time, resulting in a lack of superpowers. Ba Xiang, please eat some. It was almost noon. Luo Junjiang brought a bowl of noodles and handed it to Xiang Shuhai carefully. This bowl of noodles is full of meat, and the noodle soup is very thick. As soon as she saw the noodles, Xiang Shuhai knew that this was Luo Junjiang's special recipe for her. But even if you eat these things, it will still not help the person with superpowers. What superpowers need is a large amount of mutated beast meat. Not such a small amount of meat. If, it would be great if I could eat mutated beast meat. That would give me strength. Xiang Shuhai inexplicably remembered the days she spent in Jiang Liosher's minibus. Those days were probably the most practical days she had after the end of the world. He ate mutated animal flesh every moment. Slept on a soft and warm bed. And seemed to have nothing to worry about. But now, no matter big or small. She was the one who was worrying about it. She felt that she was at the end of her rope. But if she doesn't hold on, Wishui County won't be able to hold on. Therefore, even if he was extremely exhausted physically and mentally and might collapse at any time, Zhaangxuai could not fall. Everyone, hold on! If we can't hold on here, everyone will die! Slogans were shouted outside. And the people in the city guard encouraged each other. Sitting in the temporary shed, Xiang Shuihai heard their shouts. She felt very heavy. Indeed, if this line of defense was not maintained, Wushui County would completely become a bloody H. L. Ho ho ho. Suddenly, Xiang Shuihai heard strange roars coming from the front. This roar made people's eardrums buzz. It's a mutated zombie. Her heart suddenly sank. She pushed away the noodles brought by Luo Junjiang, forced herself to stand up, and looked in the direction of the roar. Chapter 386 is back. Within the field of vision, Standing at the large gap opened by the mudslide was a mutated zombie with skin peeling off all over its body, exposing its red flesh. It was the mutated zombie that stood at the foot of the mountain not long ago, guiding zombies from flooded areas to attack the mountains behind Wushui County. Along with the roar of the mutated zombies, a large number of zombies continued to surge around it. The hands of these zombies were holding up pieces of mud-covered rocks. Their mouths were sizzling and mucus was flowing and they were pointed at a group of city protection team members on the other side of the construction fortification. Get down! Get down behind the construction! Xiang Shuihai's heart trembled. She realized what was going on, and hurriedly shouted to all the members of the city protection team. As soon as she finished speaking, the overwhelming rocks roared through the air, and came crashing down one after another. Although many members of the city protection team had listened to Xiang Shuihai's words, and hid behind the construction fortifications, there were still a dozen or so members of the city protection team who were unable to dodge and were hit. For people were hit on the head. Their heads were bruised and bloody. And one of them had his brains knocked out. Zombies are so powerful that the rocks they throw can directly kill people. Behind the construction works. There was a groan. Behind the mutated zombies. A large number of zombies were still climbing up. Each carrying stones. These zombies did not attack immediately. Under the control of the mutant zombies. They kept a certain distance from the construction works and sheds. Within such a distance, a gun hitting the zombies would not kill them, and it would make it more difficult for the city guard members to aim. After all, zombies will die only if their heads are blown off or their hearts are penetrated. Injured zombies are even crazier. Even if their intestines fall out, they continue to walk. Observing this scene, Xiang Shuihai's heart sank. She immediately understood the intention of the mutated zombies. The zombies were so powerful that as long as they kept throwing stones at them, the defense team members behind the construction fortifications would collapse sooner or later. So there was no need to rush forward. This monster? Xiang Shuihai gritted her teeth and forced herself to stand up. Wisps of wind lingered and swirled around her. Ba Xiang, you can't use your supernatural powers anymore. Otherwise the sequelae will be very serious. Zhang Hai looked nervously and quickly advised. There are cases of people with superpowers dying due to excessive use of superpowers. This is the same as excessive physical exertion, acute renal failure, or even sudden death from shock. Stop talking. I have to do this. Xiang Shuihai said in a deep voice. She must stop the mutated zombie. Otherwise everyone will die. Roar. At this time, the mutated zombie just opened its mouth and roared. Suddenly, from the floodplain area farther east of the mountain, a dull sound of Dong dong dong. Sounded. It was like someone was beating a tight drum. 
the group of city protection team members hiding behind the construction fortifications suddenly saw an incredible scene. Puff puff. There were rows of zombies in front of them. All shaking. The zombies were swept away by a huge force. Some had huge holes in their chests. Some had their bodies torn apart. And some had their heads smashed directly into pieces. Even one arm of the mutated zombie was swept away. Xiang Shuahai was stunned for a moment. Then his eyes lit up. And his tired face suddenly glowed with energy. It's him. Jian Lusher must be back. Sun Kun used his special ability. Gripped the big tree tightly with his flippers. Climbed to the top of a tree more than 10 meters high. And looked in the direction where the gunfire sounded. It seems, it seems like brother Jian and the others are back. What a powerful ship. After seeing clearly the situation in the flood area, he clenched his fists tightly and looked excited. In his field of vision, in the flood area, a sea blue ship slashed through the water with great force, approaching the mudslide area where the zombies climbed ashore. The bow of the ship looked familiar to Sun Kuen. It was similar to that of a minibus. There was a huge V-shaped ram at the bow. Furniture, wood, and other things floating in front of it were smashed by the ram. Moreover, the V-shaped impact angle of the ship's bow is larger than that of a minibus. The top of the ship's bridge is even stranger. It has completely turned into a completely sealed bunker-like thing over one meter high. There were only six black holes extending inside. And a huge metal barrel protruded from each hole. Bang bang bang. Fierce gunshots continued to erupt from the metal barrel. Those zombies that are crawling up the mountain along the muddy slope of the mudslide will be shot to pieces by the machine gun. Just like mince meat. Which is extremely tragic. Each and every zombie was swept away in the fierce gunfire until their bodies exploded and rolled down. Sun Kuen was dumbfounded. What a powerful firepower now he was saved. Ba Xiang, we found a missile boat. Brother Jiang asked you. What is the situation in Wushui County now? Why do zombies appear in the mountains? Xiang Shuehai, who had already stood up, looked excited as he looked at the group of zombies being swept away by the powerful firepower. And Ran Shiyu's voice suddenly sounded in his mind. A warm current surged through Xiang Shuahai's heart. Although Ran Shiyu said this to her, she still felt warm in her heart. As if Jiang Lusher had said it to her himself. As expected, Jiang Lusher did not break his promise and finally came back. Xiang Shuahai felt a sense of relief in her heart. The pressure of the past few days seemed to be lifted from her shoulders all of a sudden. At that moment, she clearly explained the situation in Wushui County to Ran Shiyu. Let Captain Jiang deal with that mutated zombie. The other zombies are easy to deal with as long as they don't have a leader. We can just do it ourselves and don't waste bullets. With the last words, Xiang Shuahai specially told Ran Shiyu. As for her weak physical condition, Xiang Shuahai deliberately concealed it. She did not want to increase the psychological burden on Jian Lusher. Time is running out now. If Jian Lusher is asked to help eliminate all the zombies, it will not only be a waste of time, but also a waste of firepower. It's the end of the world. And Xiang Shuahai as the head of Wushui County, certainly knows how precious ammunition is. In the missile boat base car, Jian Lusher sat in the small war room, receiving what Ran Shiyu conveyed to Xiang Shuahai in his mind, and nodded. He felt a lot more at ease. Xiang Shuahai seemed to be fine. As for the situation in Wushui County, it was as urgent as he imagined. If he hadn't arrived in time, I'm afraid that the place where the landslide appeared on the mountain would have become a fatal point for the mutated zombies, to lead the zombies to invade Wushui County. At the same time, he also knew that Xiang Shuahai's reminder was correct. He did not have the time or firepower to fight these dense zombies. As long as you move forward a little further, you will face the mutated pufferfish. He had to keep enough ammunition. Shi, lock on to that mutated zombie and perform mental suppression. Jian Lusher said in a deep voice. Um, in an instant, a fierce wave of spiritual power swept toward the top of the mountain in the direction of the debris flow. Densely packed red dots suddenly appeared in Ran Shiyu's mental field. Soon Ran Shiyu focused her attention on the brightest red dot, which was the mutated zombie. The location of the mutant zombie targeted by Ran Shiyu suddenly appeared in Jiang Liusher's mind. And he looked at the mountain through the observation hole of the small war room. The small war room quickly rotated clockwise as he watched, adjusting to the best angle for Jiang Liusher's observation. Jiang Lusher was very satisfied with the small war room at the moment. It was not in vain that he consumed three first-level mutant crystal nuclei. The current small war room is different from the first form of the minibus. The small war room is several times larger. The connection between the small war room and the bridge is equipped with a chain chassis that can move 360 degrees. 
the AK-630, which consists of the shipboard AO-18 six-barrel 30mm Gatling cannon, MR-123-02 fire control radar system, and SP-521 electronic optical tracker, is installed inside and is a sealed structure. Of course, at this time, the fire control radar and electronic optical tracker could not be used due to the lack of core materials, and they had to rely entirely on Jiang Liosher's manual operation. Only on both sides and above the barrel, there are observation holes and shooting holes for the rifle muzzle to poke out. The moment Ran Shiyu locked onto the mutated zombie, Jiang Liosher's sniper rifle had already poked out of the shooting hole. At the top of the mudslide, the mutated zombie was in a state of madness. The part of one of its arms to the shoulder blade was completely shattered by the horrific gunfire. This directly caused considerable harm to it. Not only that, the circle of zombies around it just now were almost torn to pieces by the fire. They either rolled down or fell to the ground into a pool of flesh and blood. Out of instinct, it crawled directly to the ground. It wasn't until the firepower from the water stopped coming that it got up angrily. However, as soon as it got up, the mutated zombie suddenly froze, and a spiritual force suppressed its will. Immediately, there was a bang, and the mutated zombie's head was opened, and he fell to the ground with a thud. Dead? The mutated zombie is dead? Zhang Hai, who was observing in the dark, noticed that the mutated zombie fell to the ground and couldn't help shouting. Many of the members of the city defense team, who were originally hiding behind the construction fortifications and feeling uneasy, also observed the death of mutant zombies, and their morale was greatly increased for a while. What they were afraid of just now was that this mutated zombie could command ordinary zombies and attack with tools such as stones. Now that the mutated zombie is dead, the ordinary zombies, who have no intelligence and only know how to attack like crazy will pose a much smaller threat to everyone. As long as you build more defenses, you can delay ordinary zombies for a long time. As soon as the mutated zombie died, Xiang Shuai's heart dropped. Jian Lusher is indeed trustworthy. She stood up suddenly and shouted to the Wushui County survivors, who were sniping halfway up the mountain below. Don't panic. Don't be afraid. The zombies on the top of the mountain have been stopped by us. We have also prepared defenses. It will be a matter of time to eliminate these zombies. In addition, we also want to tell everyone good news. The people from the Shuring team are back. The man who promised us that he would help us eliminate the big water monster is back. And he is back in a very powerful missile boat. The wind spread Xiang Shuai's words throughout the gathering place of survivors in Wushui County. The originally depressed survivors in Wushui County suddenly became commotion. And then waves of excited shouts erupted inside. They are finally back. We should be saved now. Finally they are back. They found the missile boat? That's great. The big water monster will definitely not be able to defeat the missile. When some people hear about missile boats, they think they are quite powerful and think they can directly launch missiles. Many people climbed up various buildings and even big trees halfway up the mountain to look at where Jian Lusher was. Really? There is a navy blue warship in that flood. Ha! It's a warship! Ordinary survivors with sharp eyes can clearly see the ships on the floodwaters in the floodplain. And their eyes light up. After hearing this survivor's words, many survivors' faces also lit up. In fact, after one day and one night, Jian Lusher and others did not show up, which made many survivors very frustrated, thinking that Jian Lusher had either abandoned them or encountered difficulties himself. After all, there are many dangers on the road. Maybe Jian Lusher is trapped somewhere. And by the time he comes back, Wushui County will be finished. Unexpectedly, Jian Lusher kept his promise and came back very quickly, even driving a military ship back. Now, I can survive. Jian Lusher sat in the small war room, observed for a while, and felt relieved when he confirmed that the mutant zombie was dead. Although the mutant zombie is powerful in combat, if he attacks from such a distance, the mutant zombie will not know how he died. At this time, he heard shouts erupting from the other side of the mountain and also saw the figures of some ordinary survivors looking over at the tops of some tree trunks. Taking a deep breath, Jian Lusher didn't stop for long. The missile boat base vehicle made a big turn on the water, bypassed the siltation area formed by the mudslide, and drove towards the flooded area where the mutated puffer fish was located. The missile boat advanced for less than 10 seconds, and Ran Shiyu's nervous voice appeared in Jian Lusher's mind. Brother Jian, we discovered the location of the mutated puffer fish. There are many small water monsters scattered around it. Jian Lusher felt a shiver in his heart. In the mental vision shared by Ran Shiyu, he discovered that in the deepest part of the water hole one kilometer ahead, 
there was a dazzling red spot crawling at the bottom of the flood. Around the red spots, there is a dense circle of small red dots. The flashing light of these little red dots is much stronger than that of ordinary zombies. It's a group of little water monsters. At a rough glance, there are hundreds of these little water monsters. Chapter 387 The base vehicle is damaged. So much. Jian Lusher controlled the missile boat and quickly approached the group of water monsters. The missile boat sailed at a fast speed and made a rumbling sound as it galloped on the water. Before it even got close to the mutated pufferfish, many small water monsters crawling on the surface of the flood began to stir. Several of the strange fish jumped up and rushed towards the missile boat. But the missile boat quickly stopped about 40 meters away from the water monster group. This distance is the safe distance set by Jian Lusher. The tentacles of the mutant pufferfish are more than 10 meters long. The distance of 40 meters can ensure that the missile boat has sufficient reaction time when the mutant pufferfish explodes. After all, the missile boat is a machine. And it takes a few seconds to activate the reaction time. But the mutant pufferfish is a flesh and blood body and can react at any time. A few seconds are enough to decide life or death. Jian Lusher had to be as cautious as possible. Although the missile boat was very powerful, he would not be blindly confident that its hull could withstand the terrifying body of the mutated pufferfish. Fire! Jian Lusher shouted in his mind and pressed a button on the artificial operating system in front of him. Originally, this device required an electronic control processor to control the electronic pulse ignition node set in the barrel. But now everything is simpler. Jian Lusher used star seeds to transform into an artificial ignition device. The artificial ignition device was activated. Sparks suddenly flew out. And the propellant was quickly ignited. Boom. 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 As if the drums were being beaten on the battlefield. The barrel of the AK-630 machine gun rotated at high speed amid the intense sound of gunfire. Under Jian Liosher's observation, the gunshot bullet shot out in a whoosh. Focusing fire on the mutant puffer fish in an instant. Some small water monsters that rushed over just happened to block the trajectory of the machine gun bullets. As long as they touched the bullets, they were ejected into clouds of blood mist by the strong impact of the bullets. Compared to the restlessness of the little water monster, the mutated pufferfish crawling deep in the water nest is much slower. In this flooded water, the mutant pufferfish is undoubtedly the top of the food chain. Whether it is a mutant beast or a mutant zombie, it is its prey. These days, it has become accustomed to being invincible without natural enemies. And it never thought that anything would dare to provoke it. Puff puff. When countless dense machine gun bullets splashed out a huge splash of water and hit its body powerfully, it finally felt severe pain. Roar! A wall of water rose into the sky, and the mutated pufferfish's flat body expanded rapidly due to the expansion of the air sacs in its body. It was like a moving hill, waving eight tentacles more than ten meters long and roaring angrily. On the outside of its body, blood was dripping, and there were hundreds of dense holes in the dark and tough skin. Each hole was as big as a fist and dripping with blood. At this time, on the mountainside of Wushui County, countless survivors saw the fierce battle taking place in the flood ahead and cheered. It looked like the big water monster had been shot by a missile boat. Xiang Shuihai's eyebrows were condensed. Not looking relaxed at all. She knew very well that the situation was not optimistic. She had just seen with her own eyes the power of the missile boat. The cannon could turn zombies into blood mist. And the lethality was terrifying. But such firepower on the mutated pufferfish only caused some blood holes in its body. For the huge body of the mutated pufferfish, these bloody holes are not worth mentioning at all. Looking at the missile boat in the water, Xiang Xuehai had a hint of worry in his eyes. The mutated pufferfish that burst out from the flood quickly captured the missile boat base vehicle where Jiang Lusher was located with a pair of huge triangular eyes. Through the observation hole in the war room, Jiang Lusher felt a chill in his heart when he saw the mutated pufferfish looking over. He didn't expect to kill the mutated pufferfish in one round of machine gun fire just now. He was just testing it out to anger the mutated pufferfish. This time, the effect was completely achieved. The mutant pufferfish looked very angry. And seeing the wounds on the mutated pufferfish clearly, Jian Lusher knew the lethality of the AK-630 cannon against the mutant pufferfish. This mutant pufferfish really has a very abnormal defense. Ordinary zombies and small water monsters will be crushed on the spot if they are shot by the high explosive bullets of the machine gun. But the mutated pufferfish only had fist-sized wounds on its body. This kind of defensive power is not comparable to that of steel. And even far exceeds the special alloy of star seed. It is indeed a level 2 plus monster. Turn! Retreat! Now that the missile boat base vehicle is controlled by Ng, 
Jiang Liuxiu's entire attention is focused on the AK-630 cannon. With a thought in his mind, the base vehicle entered sprint mode. The diesel power and SI water jet propeller turned into waves of power and potential energy, pushing the missile boat to escape crazily. The missile boat seemed to pick up speed and turned in an incredible movement. Boom! After fleeing for more than 10 meters, the river stone skin was numb. The place where the missile boat stopped just now was slashed by the mutant pufferfish's tentacles, causing a splash of five or six meters high. Fire with full force! Seeing the mutated pufferfish completely exposed in front of him, Jiang Lusher knew that the opportunity had come. The six-hole metal cannon barrel completely locked onto the mutant pufferfish's head. Generally speaking, the head is the densest and most vulnerable place for biological nerves. And the head of a zombie is also a fatal location. Boom. 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 The burst of machine gun bullets poured towards the mutant pufferfish's head like a violent storm. At the end of the high-speed rotating metal cannon barrel, hot bullet casings continued to fall and accumulate in the small enclosed war room space. The air was filled with a pungent smell of burning metal shavings. The rate of fire of the AK-630 cannon is very terrifying, reaching 3,000 rounds per minute, and its effective range is close to 4,000 meters. The mutated puffer fish in front was exposed to this terrifying firepower and dense bullet holes quickly appeared on the fish's head. In an instant, the huge fish head was beaten like a hornet's nest. The mutated pufferfish kept wailing and screaming. When the cannon fire stopped, the mutated pufferfish's huge body collapsed with a rumble, creating a shocking wall of water on the water. The impact of the waves caused the missile boat base vehicle to move up and down. Should he be dead? Jian Lusher stopped shooting and stared at the direction where the mutated pufferfish fell. Not sure, the violent shooting just now would have destroyed even a small mountain, let alone flesh and blood. At this moment, he could feel that the metal cannon barrel was extremely hot and needed to cool down. Moreover, the burst of fire in just half a minute consumed nearly a quarter of the ammunition, which made Jian Lusher quite heartbroken. The AK-630's cannon bullets are 30 millimeters, which were originally found on missile boats. There are about more than 6,000 rounds. Otherwise, with the function of the current base vehicle, Suitable machine gun bullets cannot be produced. There are no bullets of the same type in the storage space. With such a small storage capacity, Jian Lusher was naturally very careful when using it. At this time, the water surface where the mutated pufferfish had just fallen was filled with large groups of bubbles, like a fountain, with water splashing in all directions. Brother Jian, the mutated pufferfish is not dead. It, it has shrunk in size and is coming towards us. Ren Shiyu suddenly reminded nervously. Jian Liuxiu's expression changed. Through Ran Shiyu's mental vision, he indeed saw a dazzling red spot under the water, rapidly approaching the missile boat base vehicle. Oops! There is no doubt that the situation in front of him is what Jian Liuxiu has deduced in his mind. And it is one of the situations where he least wants to face the mutated pufferfish. If the mutated pufferfish keeps its huge air sac inflated, its physical inconvenience will slow it down. Missile boats definitely have a speed advantage so they won't have a hard time dealing with mutated pufferfish. But if the mutant pufferfish releases the air in the air sacs in its body and returns to its flat shape, its speed in the water will be extremely terrifying. The speed advantage of missile boats is reduced a lot. Moreover, the mutated pufferfish returned to its flat shape. When it rushed towards the missile boat, Jian Liuxiu's reaction time was two seconds slower. In two seconds, the distance between them has been reduced to 20 meters. Sprint! Retreat! and released the compressed air cannon. At the critical moment, Jian Lusher did not panic and took every step in an orderly manner. The missile boat base vehicle instantly started sprinting, and its speed suddenly increased. Then, a black metal pipe extended from the missile boat's belly. Boom! The air cannon pushed open a turbulent channel under the water that was visible to the naked eye. Large areas of underwater garbage were directly washed away, sweeping up underwater mud all over the sky. Without hesitation, he bumped into the head of the mutated puffer fish that was rushing towards him. Although the power of the air cannon underwater is far inferior to that on the shore, the mutated puffer fish's head was full of wounds, and the air cannon on the front made a crisp sound. The wound opened again. The mutated puffer fish couldn't bear the pain, and its body swelled up again, returning to its huge mountain-like size. It looks miserable now. There are fist-sized wounds on the fish's head, but these wounds are covered with sticky liquid, and the flesh and blood are squirming as if they are trying to heal. Its eight tentacles bared its teeth and claws, and swooped wildly in the direction of the missile boat in vain. Banging, banging, 
kicking up large swaths of sand and gravel. At this moment, the missile boat base vehicle escaped instantly with the powerful reverse propulsion and strong power of the air cannon fired. When it stopped again, the missile boat base vehicle was more than 50 meters away from the mutated pufferfish. Jiang Lusher was secretly glad that if he hadn't had the air cannon just now, he would have been almost overtaken by the mutated pufferfish from underwater. Fortunately, this beast still has the habits of a pufferfish. So that's fine. Seeing the mutant pufferfish that had swelled again, Jian Lusher thought to himself, a creature like a pufferfish has an air sac in its body. Whenever it is frightened or feels dangerous, its air sac will inhale and inflate its body. The mutant pufferfish in front of him obviously maintained this habit. After being angered by Jian Lusher, its flat body expanded again. This also caused the attack area on the mutated pufferfish to expand again. Boom, boom, boom. Jian Lusher concentrated on firing again. The place where the fire started this time was the snow white belly of the fish. Since the fish head is not the weak point of this mutant puffer fish, then the fish belly must be. Jian Lusher secretly felt cruel in his heart and must shoot out the air bag in the fish's belly. A round of turbulent ammunition covered it densely, carrying strong penetrating power. The mutated puffer fish was injured again. Countless holes appeared in the fish's belly and blood flowed across it. But even so, the mutated pufferfish was still roaring and didn't look like it was falling down. Instead, its eight tentacles stirred wildly in the water. When those tentacles emerged from the water, Jian Liusher's heart skipped a beat. Holy shit! The mutated pufferfish's tentacles were grabbing abandoned cars one after another, as well as electrical transformers, vending machines on the street, and other items. These things were obviously washed here by floods. Under the terrifying power of the mutated pufferfish, Scrap cars and other items were smashed towards the missile boat base vehicle like east-west cannonballs. Jian Liosher's reaction was fast enough. But no matter how fast the missile boat base vehicle was, it still couldn't escape the coverage of the mutant pufferfish attack. The missile boat was like a loach in the flood, making all kinds of incredible turns. Bang! A scrap car still hit the hole. And it also hit the small war room where Jian Liosher was. The small war room suddenly shook violently. And the last abandoned car crashed onto the deck. The heavy force caused the entire missile boat to shake violently, and a gap was opened in the deck. Jian Liosher's reaction was not unpleasant. Even so, he still hit it hard. If he were an ordinary person, his head would have been smashed to pieces. But Jian Liosher only had a white mark on his skin. Although it hurt, he was not injured. Good guy. It's a good thing that the whole body's defense has been improved by the genetic fluid. Otherwise, it would have been terrible just now. Jian Lusher looked at the miserable situation in the small war room and felt panic in his heart. Reminder, the base vehicle is damaged. The small war room is damaged. The damage degree is 10%. And the durability is reduced. Starseed's prompt sounded in Jian Lusher's mind. During Starseed's prompt, the mutated pufferfish hit several more things hard, causing continuous damage to the small war room. And the damage instantly increased to 40%. Jian Lusher's heart sank. A small war room couldn't withstand such a smash because the crystal core was limited. He only used a first-class special alloy on this missile boat base vehicle and its defensive power was not as good as that of a minibus. Boom! With a loud noise, a gap opened in the sealed top of the small war room, exposing the metal cannon, bullet chain and other things inside. Damn it! Now he is equivalent to being exposed under the nose of the mutated puffer fish. This mutated puffer fish throws a car over and its power is terrifying. The small war room simply couldn't handle the onslaught of so many cars and junk. Repair the small war room, Jian Lusher said quickly in his mind. If this small war room is not repaired, it will pose a great threat to himself. Searching for storage space materials, there is insufficient metal material for repair. The small war room can only repair to 80%. Do you want to repair it? Starseed continued to warn. Insufficient materials? Jian Lusher was stunned feeling deeply troubled. Although adequate preparations have been made, it is really difficult to search for some rare materials in these last days. The small war room built by the third form of the base vehicle this time is a composite fusion. The few metal materials required have been almost consumed during construction. Unexpectedly, at this moment, when the small war room was damaged, the little inventory of rare metals had been completely exhausted. Keep tinkering! Jian Lusher had no choice. 80% was 80%. It was better than having a big gap in his head. That's too unsafe. At this time, 
The mutated pufferfish in front of him actually used its tentacles as hands and feet and rushed towards the missile boat base vehicle like a spider. The missile boat ran wildly in the water, slowly, and gradually moved away from the sight of the group of survivors, halfway up the mountainside in Wushui County. Jiang Lusher, you must be safe and sound, Xiang Shuihai said softly. She stood on the roof of the small foreign building, looking worriedly at the direction of the missile boat where Jiang Lusher was heading away. Chapter 388 Fried Fish Puff Puff Rocks Trash Cans Abandoned cars and other debris buried in the flood fell on the water near the missile boat, creating a spray of water that was several feet high. The mutated pufferfish was completely enraged by the missile boat and pursued it relentlessly. Its eight tentacles rotated like windmills, grabbing rubbish and throwing it at the missile boat. If that's the case, this mutated pufferfish seems to have the same ability as mutated zombies in its roar and can guide those little water monsters. Small water monsters came from all directions. Anacondas, Strange fish and other things continued to attack the missile boat. At this time, Jiang Lusher secretly rejoiced that it was a wise thing for him to cover the missile boat with a reinforced alloy SH. L. For example, some weak parts of the missile boat were protected and were not damaged at all by the impact of the little water monster. In other places, the aluminum alloy hull that was not covered with an alloy SH. L only continued to dent and did not crack. The cabin of the missile boat was also in a miserable state. Every time the hull turns, there will be violent shaking. Sun Shang Shin, an old expert, was shaken until he was holding a plastic bag and vomiting. Ran Shi, Ling, and Jiang Juing also turned pale. Only Li Yusin is slightly better. She has medical powers that allow her to resist some physical abnormalities. Compared with the physical discomfort, the inner tension made everyone find it difficult to breathe. Through the porthole, they could all see the mutated pufferfish that was rapidly chasing after him. Its huge body and the dense wounds on its head all brought oppressive psychological pressure to everyone. At this moment, everyone was secretly praying that Jian Lusher could kill this big water monster. Depend on! Jian Lusher was forced to curse. He was driving a missile boat and had been chased by the fish monster for more than half an hour. But he still didn't think of a good way to deal with the monster. He just controlled the AK-630 cannon and fired two rounds at the fish monster. But apart from aggravating the mutated pufferfish's injuries, it had no other effect. After taking so many cannon shots, this mutated pufferfish actually refused to die. John Lusher was really helpless. However, he only had more than a thousand bullets left in his machine gun, which could last for 20 seconds at most. Originally, in John Lusher's plan, this penetrating and perverted machine cannon was enough to sweep the mutated pufferfish in front of him into pieces. But the mutant pufferfish's vitality was beyond his expectation, and he couldn't find any weaknesses. It was so huge that even if it had weak points, it was covered with thick flesh. The bullets from the cannon penetrated through it, and it quickly began to heal itself. Where is the fatal part of this water monster? You can't find it at all. In other words, its vitality is too strong, and its huge body has no fatal point in the actual sense. Jian Lusher controlled the missile boat base vehicle and fled crazily in the vast water. Thoughts raced through his mind, thinking of possibilities one after another. At this moment, the mutated pufferfish's angry eyes flashed with strange light. Its belly bulged, and the fish's mouth rolled. Wow! A large swath of blue-purple viscous liquid shot hundreds of meters out of the fish's mouth. The missile boat was unable to dodge, and many parts of the hull were suddenly splashed with viscous liquid. Alert! The bow part of the ship has been severely corroded by corrosive liquids, and the durability of the alloy SH. L is only 70%. Alert! The aluminum alloy deck has been corroded by corrosive liquids and its durability is reduced to 40%. It needs to be repaired. Alert! The aluminum alloy cabin has been corroded by corrosive liquids and its durability is reduced to 40%. It needs to be repaired. The star seeds alarm kept ringing in Jiang Liusher's mind. A very terrifying picture appeared in the holographic picture of the missile boat in his mind. Anywhere on the missile boat's hull that was touched by the mutant pufferfish's viscous liquid was emitting white smoke and some of the alloy SH. LS were corroded, leaving traces of pits. Some aluminum alloy parts of the hull were even corroded with several holes. Jian Lusher was horrified. Fortunately, the small war room he was in had been repaired just now and had shelter. Otherwise, if the corrosive liquid fell on him just now, he would definitely be dead. The pufferfish originally carried neurotoxins. Unexpectedly, the mutated pufferfish's toxins evolved so abnormally that they could not only paralyze the nerves, 
but also corrode this special alloy. This kind of strong corrosiveness is definitely far better than the very corrosive aqua regia. If you are sprayed a few mouthfuls, Jian Lusher couldn't help but shudder. He still underestimated this mutant pufferfish. Activate the sprint function. Jian Lusher had no choice but to activate his sprinting ability again, trying his best to get rid of the mutated puffer fish behind him. This is not the way to go. Sooner or later the diesel will be used up. Every time the sprint function is turned on, the amount of diesel consumed is terrifying. If this continues, the mutant puffer fish may not be killed and the diesel fuel will be used up. Jian Lusher felt heavy. If the missile boat had enough guns, bullets, and diesel, and slowly intensified the mutant pufferfish's injuries little by little. He believed that he could definitely kill the mutant pufferfish in front of him. But the problem is, he doesn't have enough of these things, and he can't afford them. He needs more powerful firepower. And the kind of firepower that kills with one blow. Suddenly a flash of lightning flashed in his mind. If he simply pursues ultimate power, there is actually something else that meets his requirements. That's a blood core stored in the storage space. This blood core was obtained by Jian Lusher by killing the first mutant zombie he encountered outside the Zhonghai safety zone. He has been useless. Whether it is a mutant crystal core or a blood core, they are the condensed essence of the bodies of mutant beasts and zombies, and they contain terrifying pure energy. If this thing is shot, its power will definitely be far more powerful than AK-630 machine gun bullets. Jian Liosher's eyes were filled with flames, and an idea flashed in his mind. Just do it. The AK-630 cannon on the missile boat spat out sparks again, and countless bullets fired powerfully at its belly. The mutated pufferfish was immediately beaten and screamed strangely. Extremely angry. The angrier it gets, the more the air sacs in its body expand. Suddenly, the mutated pufferfish felt something bad. The attack time, this time was much longer than the previous ones. And it was already in severe pain. Moreover, there were several wounds where the machine gun bullets had broken the flesh and blood and the bullets penetrated deeper and deeper. It intuitively senses danger. The mutated pufferfish was about to dive into the water to avoid the bullets. Shiyu! Jian Lusher yelled in his heart. Ran Shiyu, who was well prepared, used all her mental strength to suppress the mutated pufferfish. This mutated pufferfish is already very close to a level 3 water monster. It is not only physically powerful, but also mentally powerful. Ran Shiyu's full mental attack can make ordinary mutant zombies completely stop moving for a few seconds. But the mutated puffer fish only paused slightly before getting rid of Ran Shiyu's mental attack. But Jian Lusher. All he wants is a moment of opportunity. At this moment, all the bullets from his machine gun had been poured out. And in the end, only a blood red crystal core remained. For a moment, Jian Lusher was highly concentrated and everything in front of him slowed down. His brain nerves were used to their limit at this moment accurately capturing every detail of the mutated pufferfish. The mutated pufferfish expands, and the wound on its abdomen also expands. Among the large and small wounds, Jian Lusher suddenly saw a touch of snow-white color in the deepest wound. That's the color of fat. In the deepest part of the mutated pufferfish's belly, close to the air sac, there is a layer of special fat that is more than a foot thick. These fats are the last defense of the mutated pufferfish's abdomen. That's right there. Jian Lusher frowned and shouted loudly. The last blood core was suddenly pushed out from the machine gun barrel by gunpowder power and was poured into the fat layer. After the blood core was shot into this place, it suddenly exploded violently like a blazing flame. It is the most essential power of mutant zombies. The flames generated by the explosion are extremely hot in an instant, melting and burning the fat layer in the mutant pufferfish's body. At the same time, the huge penetrating force allows it to continue burning and plowing open the fat layer, pushing closer to the air bag. After firing the blood core, Jian Lusher quickly drove the missile boat back a hundred meters. The huge body of the mutant puffer fish in front of him suddenly froze in his sight. Then he heard the mutated puffer fish let out a shrill roar that shook the sky. The roar was like a sonic attack, and Jian Liosher's eardrums were buzzing. He saw that the mutant puffer fish's entire body had turned red, and layers of oil were secreted from everywhere on its body, especially the belly of the fish, where fierce flames exploded. The mutant pufferfish's huge body was burning rapidly. With a final loud bang, the air sacs in the mutated pufferfish exploded, and countless burning fat mixed with broken fish flew everywhere. That's it? A lot of burning fish meat was splashed on the deck of the missile boat. Jian Lusher observed all this in the small war room, and suddenly felt a very unreal feeling. Chapter 389 I Admire You Succeeded? My brother killed that big water monster! Jiang Zhuying blinked, 
and was stunned for a few seconds before saying excitedly. Jiang Zhuying and others in the cabin saw clearly the explosion of mutated pufferfish outside through the transparent portholes. They were extremely happy and secretly relieved. Li Yusin also had a happy smile on her face. Stretched out her hand and put it against Ran Shiyu, who looked a little pale. Shiyu, let me help you with treatment and recovery. This mutant puffer fish was killed by Jiang Lusher. Apart from Jiang Lusher, who made the greatest contribution. Ran Shiyu made the most contribution. Her mental power monitors the water surface all the time. Monitoring every move of the mutated pufferfish. And the power consumption is very intense. Captain Jiang is really the savior of all the survivors in Wushui County now. Well done. Without this water monster, I can pull a bunch of young men to fight floods and provide disaster relief. Sun Chongqing looked excitedly at the things burning on the deck. The mutated puffer fish meat made the sound much louder. Now, he saw hope again. Small war room. Finally, we got rid of this big guy. It's just a pity that these fish meet. Seeing the mutated puffer fish's fat body, its fat escaping and burning in the flood, Jian Lusher felt regretful in his heart. This mutant puffer fish is a level 2 plus monster. Its flesh and blood must contain much more energy than the flesh and blood of those level 1 mutant beasts. And it is very nourishing. Chi Lu. Suddenly there was a sound of water. And several small fish like water monsters with snake tails pounced crazily on the mutated puffer fish meat that did not burn underwater. A group of small water monsters devoured it crazily. Causing water to splash in all directions. But soon. These jubilant little water monsters slowed down one by one and made strange chirping sounds. Soon, they all turned white and lay motionless on the water. This, seeing this scene, Jian Lusher was horrified. He was secretly regretting the mutated puffer fish meat and trying to catch some fish meat for storage. Unexpectedly, these little water monsters all died after eating the mutated puffer fish meat. The meat of this mutant puffer fish is actually highly poisonous. Before the end of the world, there was a saying that people would risk their lives to eat puffer fish. Some parts of the puffer fish contain lethal neurotoxins. And the mutated puffer fish is obviously even more poisonous. With the flesh and blood all over its body soaked with toxins. As a result, the little water monsters who ate mutated puffer fish died one after another. But even so, the little water monsters swarming over to bite the mutated puffer fish meat were still densely packed. The mutated puffer fish is a level 2 plus monster. The flesh and blood of this level of monster is naturally very attractive to ordinary small water monsters. Not long after, in the flooded area near the missile boat base vehicle, a large number of small water monsters turned over their white bellies. Level 2 plus crystal core energy fluctuations detected. Star Seed's voice suddenly appeared in Jiang Liosher's mind. Jiang Liosher's heart was beating wildly. Yes, he had not recovered the level 2 plus mutant crystal core in the mutated pufferfish. This thing is extremely important to him and is one of the motivations for the mutant pufferfish he wants to kill. Fortunately, at this moment, the missile boat base vehicle has locked onto the mutated crystal core in the mutated pufferfish. Almost all the little water monsters around were poisoned by the blood bacillium toxin of the mutated pufferfish. So there was no longer much danger underwater. Jian Lusher held his breath, jumped into the water, and swam toward the huge corpse of the mutated pufferfish that had sunk into the water. The blood in Jian Liosher's body at this moment can carry a large amount of oxygen. There is no feeling of suffocation when moving underwater. And he is relaxed and comfortable. After diving underwater, he drew a sharp dagger close to the mutated pufferfish's body. The mutated crystal nucleus is hidden under the head of the mutated pufferfish. There is a large amount of fat accumulation in that area. And there are also several large gunshot wounds. He thrust the dagger in hard. In a shack halfway up the mountain in Wushue County. Zhang Hai vaguely heard the sound of an explosion, and immediately saw flames shooting into the sky far away. Big Bang! Brother Zhang must have killed that big water monster! Zhang Hai said firmly, his eyes full of expectation. Next to him stood people with special abilities such as Luo Jun Jiang. Different from Zhang Hai's excitement, people like Luo Jun Jiang looked at the fire on the horizon with suspicion and worry on their faces. I hope so! Luo Jun Jiang sighed tiredly. He didn't understand where Zhang Hai's optimism came from. It was clearly the missile boat that was being chased by the big water monster just now. It didn't look optimistic. It is difficult to say whether the big explosion in the distance was the explosion of the ship or the death of the big water monster. At this time, the rain in the sky had stopped long ago. And it was already afternoon. There are already a few bright red clouds in the accumulated clouds. And it looks like the sun is about to shine. 
facing this change in weather. The survivors in Wushue County did not cheer. Each of them looked nervously. And the atmosphere was solemn. Everyone heard the big explosion in the distance and saw the fire. Many people had the same mentality as Luo Junjiang. Of course they all hoped that the big water monster would be killed. But at the same time, they did not have much confidence in the missile boat that was being chased away. Some women held children in their arms. She had no intention of coaxing the children when they were crying. And stared blankly at the end of the flood in the distance. The atmosphere in the entire mountain city was depressing and dull. If it was the missile boat that exploded. It meant that Wishue County's last hope was completely shattered. Xiang Xuehai sat alone on the roof of a three-story foreign-style building. Her lips slightly pursed. And she looked at the water uneasily. At this time, she knew that everyone in Wishue County was like her. Quietly waiting for the final result. Jian Lusher. Please be sure nothing happens to you. Fish. So many dead fish. Some sharp-eyed survivors looked at the vast flood. Pointed ahead and said in surprise. The floods in front of the city gate were rising and falling. And in the microwave. People from Wushue County saw dead fish with their bellies turned white on the water. Many water monsters also died. Another person shouted in surprise. Everyone looked carefully. And sure enough, among the dead fish carcasses there were some bodies of small water monsters that looked like pythons. There are more and more corpses of these strange fish. Everywhere you look, the densely packed fish carcasses were like some kind of ominous sign. Making people shudder. Why are all these fish monsters dead? They don't have any natural enemies in this flooded area. At this time, excited shouts suddenly broke out from the survivors halfway up the mountain. In their sight, a menacing missile boat slowly appeared. At the rear of the missile boat, a huge fish carcass was hung on a chain. The belly of the fish corpse was hollow, with only a small half remaining. But it was still seven or eight meters long. Behind the fish corpse were countless small water monsters jumping around. Everyone could see clearly that the huge fish corpse was the corpse of the big water monster. Wasn't it? The survivors in Wushue County were deeply impressed by the mutant pufferfish's huge head and its pair of triangular eyes. Now the monster's head has been beaten into a honeycomb. And the body is mostly mutilated. But it has actually been killed. Seeing the missile boat and the big fish carcass, the excited shouts halfway up the mountain became louder and louder. Like waves. Shuring team and the others are not dead. They kill the water monster. They are saved. A survivor knelt on the ground and cried loudly. Ha! It's me. Brother Jiang. I'm back. I said Brother Jiang can definitely kill the water monster. Zhang Haiyang was proud and glanced at Luo Jun Jiang, who looked surprised next to him. As a member of the Stone Shadow team, he was really proud at this moment. Of course, there is still a trace of regret. I regret that I was not in the missile boat at that time, and could not witness the scene when Jiang Lusher controlled the missile boat to kill the big water monster. Xiang Xuehai stared at the missile boat, her eyes covered with mist. She felt a sour feeling in her nostrils, a sense of happiness after a disaster, and an inexplicable sense of security. This man once again created a miracle, protected her Wushue County, and saved tens of thousands of lives in Wushue County. The missile boat cut through the waves and sailed quickly towards Wushue County, landing near the city gate. Jiang Lusher and others jumped ashore one after another. On the shore, a dense crowd of survivors from Wushue County had been waiting for a long time. Captain Jiang, we thank you. Captain Jiang, thank you. We all thank you for killing that big water monster. You saved all of us in Wushue County. Shocking shouts and grateful voices all burst out at this moment. Jiang Lusher was completely surrounded by the crowd. He looked at the survivors with tears streaming down their faces and expressed his gratitude in various words. This was the first time Jiang Lusher encountered this situation. He could feel the gratitude of the crowd around him coming from the bottom of his heart. In the dark, many survivors stuffed him with half a steamed bun, a cake or something, and there were signs of mold on the cake. He didn't know who gave him these things. Although these things were very simple, they were nothing compared to the mutated beast meat that Jiang Lusher usually ate. But when Wishue County was short of food for a long time, the significance of this piece of cake moved Jiang Lusher. No need to give me food. Jiang Lusher stuffed all these things to a child. Jiang Zhuing and the others were also gratefully surrounded by the survivors. But for these girls, the survivors couldn't get too close and just kept saying words of thanks. Captain Jiang, do you want someone to help you clean up this mutant fish and make it a meal? Luo Jun Jiang squeezed into the crowd and asked Jiang Lusher courteously. He saw the mutated puffer fish carcass hanging behind the missile boat and was very envious. The strength of this thing is so strong. If you eat it, 
it will definitely be of great benefit to your body. It cannot be compared with ordinary mutated meat. Shi Ying's team purposely pulled the body back. If he could help, he might be able to share the soup. Three black lines suddenly appeared on Jiang Liuxiu's forehead. Captain Lu, you can't eat that thing. The flesh and blood are highly poisonous. I brought the corpse of this mutant fish here to seduce the nearby little water monsters and poison them all. Jiang Liuxiu said calmly. Liu Junjiang's expression suddenly changed. He finally knew where the numerous fish carcasses on the water came from. Captain Jiang, the more than 10,000 survivors in Wushui County are all grateful to you this time. The surging crowd diverged into a path. Xiang Shuehai walked over from the separated crowd and looked at Jiang Liuxiu with a smile on his face. Ba Xiang is so polite. What I did is all what I should do. Besides, Ba Xiang helped me a lot. Without the diesel and metal materials prepared by you, and the survivors of Wushue County. I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to stand now, talking to you in front of you, let alone killing the mutated pufferfish. Jian Lusher said solemnly. He knew very well that without the batch of diesel provided by Xiangxuai, his missile boat base vehicle would now be just a decoration. It can be said that the survivors in Xiangxuai and Wushue County helped a lot. Jian Lusher also remembered clearly the scene where the survivors took out the diesel mix with water from the threshing machine and from some stocks at home. Jian Lusha looked at Xiang Shuhai carefully. A few days ago, she had a normal complexion, was full of energy, and had a charming grace about her. At this moment, Xiang Shuhai's face was pale, and she looked quite haggard. The aura of a strong woman had lost a lot, and she had the charm of a woman from a Jiang in water town. Ba Xiang must be working very hard these days. Without you, Wushui County would have collapsed long ago. I think the first person in Wushui County to be grateful is you, Jian Lusha said. Brother Jiang, you are right. Ba Xiang hasn't slept much these days, and he hasn't had a few bites of food. He has been busy with matters in Wushui County. The entire Wushui County is supported by her. I admire you very much. Sun Kun couldn't help but interrupt. These days, he really admires Xiang Shuihai's strength. Whether it was repairing flood control dams, maintaining public security in Wushui County, distributing food, or fighting against the invasion of zombies on the east side of the mountain. If Xiang Shuihai hadn't taken the lead, Wushui County would have been in chaos by now. This Wushui County is my territory, and the things you are talking about are just my business. Xiang Shuihai put a tired smile on her lips and gently tucked a few hairs away from her ears. Captain Jiang, let's go in and talk first. Xiang Shuihai generously invited. The place is crowded and not a good place to discuss things. Okay. Jiang Lusher nodded and followed Xiang Shuihai towards the small foreign style building where she was. By the way, Captain Jiang, I have sent people to arrange hot water and hot rice. You must be very tired from running all the way and fighting with that big water monster. Why don't you take a bath first and then eat some hot rice? Xiang Shui hide in after a pause. He added, looking at Jiang Liuxiu's deep eyes with a hint of expectation. No need. Ba Xiang has been in my car and should know what's going on inside. Jiang Liuxiu shook his head. The things you prepared should be distributed to other survivors. I think you don't have much food left. The survivors in Wushui County were all sallow, thin, and in poor spirits. Jiang Lusher saw this and knew that they must be malnourished and lacked food. Xiang Shuihai was stunned for a moment, then suddenly remembered that the minibus in Jiang Liuxi was very luxurious and had almost everything in life, including water heaters, microwave ovens, and a lot of mutated animal meat. Enjoyed it very much. Jiang Lusher really didn't need the hot water and hot rice she provided. Yes! Xiang Shuihai nodded, with a hint of disappointment in his eyes. She was really grateful to Jiang Lusher and wanted to do something for Shuring team to express her gratitude. It's just that Wushui County is now very poor, with more than enough ambition but not enough energy. Ba Xiang, actually I really need your help with something. I also need some metal materials. I wonder if you still have them. Jiang Lusher said and gave the names of several metals. These metals are all commercial goods but they are indeed a batch of basic metals that Jian Lusher lacks, and they must be used to repair the missile boats. Xiang Shuihai's eyes suddenly lit up, and a smile appeared on his face. We have most of the metal materials you mentioned. There are still some hidden in the warehouse. I guess we need to look for them. Captain Jiang, let me take you there. Xiang Shuihai took the initiative with a moving look on his face. Now you can go to the warehouse near the city gate and take out everything in it. Jian Lusher was slightly surprised. In fact, Xiang Shuihai could just let Luo Junjiang and others take him there. Okay. 
Jian Luzhi thought about it and smiled. He admired Xiang Xuehai very much. It would undoubtedly be a pleasant thing if she led him on the way to the warehouse. Chapter 390 Agreement The storage warehouse in Wushui County was a former automobile repair shop. Entering the storage warehouse. The deep and empty space is filled with food, medicine, metal equipment, and other sundries. Captain Jiang, the sundries here are not classified into categories. If you need something, you have to look inside. Xiang Xuehai stood in front of these supplies and turned around to smile apologetically at Jiang Lusher. It's okay. Jiang Lusher nodded. Jiang Lusher seems to have a unique talent when it comes to finding supplies. He rummaged through boxes and cabinets in the deep warehouse and soon found piles of metal materials and piled them together. Dirt accumulated on many metal materials, and his body and hand soon turned dark. At this time, a burst of elegant fragrance suddenly penetrated his nostrils. Let me help you! Jian Lusher didn't even have time to say anything to dissuade him. The slim figure beside him had already gotten into a pile of dark metal materials and moved them together with Jian Lusher. In the empty warehouse, there were only the sounds of two people busy in the warehouse. After working for a while, Jian Lusher and Xiang Xuehai finally found all the metal materials they needed and piled them up the size of a small mountain. That's all. Right. Looking at the metal materials piled up in front of her, fine beads of sweat appeared on Xiang Xuehai's forehead. She wiped the sweat from her forehead with her hand, leaving a few dark marks on her forehead. After finishing her labor, Xiang Xuehai's pale face flushed a little, and a few black marks were unknowingly placed on her forehead, making her look a bit coquettish. Here you are! Seeing the black mark on Xiang Xuehai's forehead, Jian Lusher was slightly startled, and couldn't help but remind him with a smile, making gestures with his fingers on his forehead. Seeing Jian Liusher's gesture on his forehead, Xiang Xuehai came to his senses, smiled awkwardly, and quickly wiped his forehead with his hand. I'll do it! Your hands are all black! Jian Lusher smiled, and walked over to wipe Xiang Xuehai with his clean sleeves. I'm sorry! I've been so busy these days! I'm a little confused. Xiang Xuehai's eyes flickered, but he didn't avoid it. Jian Lusher wiped her carefully, and the black marks were wiped away, revealing white and tender skin. After wiping, Xiang Xuehai pursed her lips and looked at Jian Lusher. Captain Jian, thank you for killing the mutated pufferfish. When do you plan to leave? Her voice trembled. It was Xiang Xuehai's selfish intention to bring Jian Lusher to the warehouse to look for metal materials alone. She wanted to spend some time alone with Jian Lusher and talk to him more. She knew very well that the man in front of her didn't seem to say much. But he was a very thoughtful and rational man who still had things to do. And she couldn't keep him. Although she knew the result. She still felt uncontrollable sadness when she thought that this man was about to leave Wushui County. We will leave after about a day's rest. Jian Lusher heard the strangeness in Xiang Xuehai's words and whispered. Yeah, that's fine. I'll send someone to deliver these things to your car. If there's anything else you need help with. Captain Jiang, just ask. Xiang Xuehai seemed to have returned to normal and smiled at Jiang Liusher's lips. Yeah. Jiang Liusher nodded. Then, I'm leaving. For some reason, he lowered his head and did not look into Xiang Xuehai's eyes. Jiang Liusher walked towards the iron gate of the warehouse step by step. Just as he was about to step out of the door, a gentle voice sounded behind him. Jian Lusher, I will miss you. If there is a chance, I hope you can come to Wushui County again. I will wait for you here. The voice sounded lonely in the empty warehouse, looking steadily at Jian Liusher's back. Xiang Xuehai still had a smile on her face, but her eyes seemed a little moist. The end of the world is coming, and life and death are happening every day, and this kind of moment always makes people extremely sad. Jian Lusher took a deep breath, paused for two seconds, and then stepped out again. Okay. After listening to Jiang Liusher's words, Xiang Xuehai looked a little dazed. Did Jiang Liusher promise her? Is this considered an agreement? Jiang Liusher walked quickly back to the base vehicle. At this time, Wushui County was already bustling with people. The people around were making fires to cook, and there were actually several pots of thick, snow white fish soup, which was quite tempting. Although the mutated pufferfish poisonous meat brought back by Jiang Liusher was inedible. It almost wiped out the small water monsters in the water in front of him. Without the little water monster, the survivors in Wushui County naturally turned to the ordinary mutant fish in the flood. Mutated pufferfish poisonous meat is highly attractive to ordinary mutant fish. Many survivors used makeshift fishing gear and mutated pufferfish poison 
to catch several big fish in a short period of time. Brother, didn't Ba Xian come down with you? In the base car, Jiang Zhuying couldn't help but feel a little strange when he saw Jiang Lusher getting into the car alone, and she was keenly aware that her brother's mood seemed a little strange. Hey, brother, do you have anything to do with that Ba Xiang? Isn't it? Oh, it's really scary. Jiang Zhuying asked quietly with a smile. What are you talking about? He's so scary. Jiang Lusher glared at her. But brother, Jiang Zhuying suddenly said seriously, Have you thought about how to tell Sister Xiu and the others? The more you talk, the more outrageous it becomes. Jiang Lusher said speechlessly, Forget it. I'm hungry. Have you prepared something delicious? He simply changed the topic and talked about these things with Jiang Zhuying, which was just asking for trouble. Ren Shi was not far away, and she didn't know if she heard her. So she silently walked to the bedside to talk to Li Yusin. Seeing this scene, Jiang Lusher touched his nose, feeling a little embarrassed. You are my brother, and I care about your feelings. Jiang Zhuying wrinkled her nose and handed Jiang Lusher a plate of fragrant mutated beast meat. We just ate it, and we kept it all for you. Jiang Lusher was indeed hungry. To kill the mutated pufferfish, he was highly concentrated mentally and his brain was constantly observing the big monster, which was a huge drain on his physical strength. At that moment, he picked up a plate of mutated beast meat and ate it while Jiang Lusher got into the cab. At this moment, the missile boat base vehicle has returned to its first form and turned into a minibus again. The steering wheel, instrument panel, and handbrake are all back. Starseed. Jiang Lusher shouted in his mind, and the starseed panel was automatically summoned. At the same time, small grooves popped out next to the dashboard of the base vehicle, and the metal groove shone with a cold luster. Snapped. Jiang Lusher pushed a shining crystal core into the groove. The metal groove automatically closes immediately. Level 2 plus mutated crystal nuclei detected. The unfinished energy laboratory has been detected, and the opening progress is 30%. The matching energy is sufficient. Do you want to continue to open the energy laboratory? Continue. Jiang Lusher said without hesitation. This energy laboratory is what he wants most right now. As long as the energy laboratory is built, he will be able to create evolutionary crystals that are purer than those produced by the military. This thing can completely replace mutated beast meat. Eating it regularly will increase the evolution speed of superpowers. Even ordinary people who eat too much can theoretically awaken their superpowers. It's definitely an incredible ability. If high-purity evolutionary crystals can be mass-produced, Jiang Lusher believes that the overall strength of his Shuring team will be greatly improved again. Chapter 391 Energy Laboratory Energy Laboratory Construction Progress 70% There are still 10 minutes left before the opening time. Energy Laboratory Construction Progress 80% For minutes left before opening time. Drop. There was a soft sound. And Jiang Lusher, who was leaning on the driver's seat, was moved in his heart and opened his eyes. The Energy Laboratory is opened and the host can choose to configure evolutionary crystals. It is detected that the current base vehicle model is a basic type, and first-level evolutionary crystals can be configured. Listening carefully to Xingzheng's introduction, Jian Lusher was very excited. Even the first-level evolutionary crystals are much purer than the military's evolutionary crystals. An evolutionary crystal can provide an ordinary superpower with the superpower needed for five days of high-intensity combat. Moreover, ordinary people can greatly enhance their physical fitness by eating this kind of evolutionary crystal. If they take it for a long time, their combat effectiveness can even be comparable to those with superpowers. The effect is no worse than genetic fluid. However, in order to obtain better evolution crystals, different energy levels are required, and the base vehicle must evolve to a higher level. For the current first-level evolutionary crystal alone, the energy contained in one mutant crystal core can only create one evolutionary crystal, or 1,000 kilograms of first-level mutant beast meat can also provide the energy to create one evolutionary crystal. It's quite expensive, but it's really a good thing. Jian Lusher marveled inwardly. Needless to say the benefits of evolutionary crystals. This thing also has an exciting benefit, which is the transformation of energy. The preservation of mutated beast meat is a headache for many superpowers in the last days. No matter how powerful a person with superpowers is, he can only consume a limited amount of mutated beast meat in a day. Mutated beast meat has a shelf life. No matter how good the storage technology is, the energy contained in the mutated beast meat will evaporate over time. It can be said that in some powerful teams, obtaining more mutated beast meat often means a lot of waste. With evolutionary crystals, 
Excess mutated beast meat can be stored in this form to avoid waste. For John Lusher. This is also a very happy thing. He has stored a large amount of mutated beast meat. These mutated beast meats not only take up space, but the energy is indeed lost when stored. Now only the freshest mutated beast meats need to be retained. And the rest can be converted into high purity evolutionary crystals. It's a pity that all the mutant crystal cores have been used up. Otherwise we would have to get a few of them now. Zhuang's superpowers are about to reach the edge of evolution. Ran Shi's mental superpowers also consume a lot of energy. With the evolution crystals, it will be much easier to handle. It's over. Jian Lusher thought to himself. Regarding this energy laboratory, he knew that he had found a treasure. In the future, the evolutionary crystals he creates can not only be produced by himself, but also rely on energy purity that is purer than that of the military. In exchange for some things with other elite teams of superpowers, they will surely be sold at a high price. Drop! Suddenly, a clear sound from Star Seed attracted Jian Lusher's attention again. There is 25% remaining energy in the level 2 plus mutant crystal core, and the energy intensity meets the conditions for starting the evolution of the base vehicle type I. To start the evolution, three level 2 mutant crystal nuclei, or one level 3 mutant crystal core, are required. The list of required materials is as follows. Do you want to start evolution? Jiang Lusher was stunned. Can the base vehicle evolve? His heart suddenly beat wildly, and he reacted immediately. The original shadow said that only one level 2 mutant crystal core is needed to open the energy laboratory. Later, when the level 2 special mutant blood core was inserted, the energy laboratory was already 30% activated. Now add a higher level 2 plus mutant crystal core. And of course, there will be a lot of energy left. Unexpectedly, this level 2 plus mutant crystal core gave him a big surprise, triggering the core conditions for the base vehicle to evolve again. Jian Liosher's current base vehicle is an ordinary base vehicle, equivalent to a level 0 base vehicle. Following Xingzhong's prompts, the base vehicle, type I, is a completely different type of base vehicle, and its level is one level higher than the ordinary type. In the past, the evolution of the base vehicle, whether it was a biological laboratory or various functions such as collision, was just a matter of starting some evolutionary projects based on the base vehicle, normal version. Relatively speaking, it was just a small effort. If it evolves to a base car type I, the base car will definitely undergo a major change and more evolutionary projects will appear. This is definitely a completely different leap for base vehicles. But now, he has no mutated crystal core at all. If he wants to start evolution, he can only search for mutated crystal core elsewhere. Moreover, on the materials list, there are also some materials that Jian Lusher currently lacks, such as tantalum, zirconium, rhenium. There are simply none of these base cars in the warehouse. Seeing that the base vehicle could start evolution, but it was completely insufficient, Jian Lusher couldn't help but feel a little pity. However, it is better to be reminded that you can evolve than not having the chance to evolve at all. These things can always be found. Caught another big fish. Ha ha. The poisonous flesh of the big water monster is so useful. Waves of cheers came from the survivors outside the base vehicle. After some people caught big fish, many survivors cut off some mutated pufferfish meat to go fishing. Hearing these cheers, Jiang Liosher's eyes lit up, and he couldn't help but smile. He is really stupid. According to the current conditions, he can actually create evolutionary crystals. Although the mutated pufferfish's meat is poisonous, it is a level 2 plus mutant monster after all. Its body contains a lot of energy so it is not a problem to use it to create evolutionary crystals. As for the toxin problem inside, the energy laboratory can solve it. The energy laboratory of the base vehicle has a stronger purification capacity than the scientific research institute in the Zhonghai safety zone. And all toxins will be removed. San Kuen! Zhonghai! Please go out quickly! Collect the remaining mutated pufferfish meat! And carry it to our minibus! Jian Lusher thought of this, and hurriedly said to Sun Kuen and Zhonghai, Although after he came back, only a small part of the mutated pufferfish's meat was left. But it was at least close to 700 to 800 kilograms. Sun Kun was stunned by Jian Liusher's words. Isn't the mutated pufferfish meat poisonous and inedible? Why does brother Jiang still need it? However, he and Zhang Hai would not question Jian Liusher's words. Whatever Jian Liusher wanted to do, they just did it, and there was no need to ask. The two people immediately jumped out of the car, rolled up their sleeves, and walked toward the mutated pufferfish meat piled in the water beside the city wall, which attracted and poisoned the little water monster. While Jiang Lusher was tinkering with the base vehicle, Sun Changxin 
an old water conservancy expert, also began to intensively plan for flood control. He gathered a large number of people and began to weave sandbags, search for abandoned cars, and find large boats. The flood control plan given by the veteran experts can be described as very large, link by link, and very rigorous. The first and most important step is to block the breached embankment of the Fuyang River. Once the Fuyang River breaks its banks, the flood peak of the Fuyang River pours directly into northern Jiangsu, which is equivalent to a flood discharge port. The floods are pouring in, and the water level in northern Jiangsu is of course high. Only by repairing the broken embankment, filling the blockage with scrap cars, sandbags and other items, and slowly repairing the broken embankment, can we do other things step by step. When Xiang Xuhai heard the old water conservancy expert's plan, he felt that the chance of success was very high. So of course, he strongly supported it. The entire Wushui County was like a huge machine starting to operate. And even when night fell, piles of bonfires were set up. The survivors who had the strength worked all night. And those who didn't have the strength gathered firewood, boiled water, and did whatever they could. The people in the Shuring team were also preparing silently, checking guns and ammunition, polishing knives, and collecting various resources. Zhang Hai and the others all knew that their next plan was to go to Panju City. That city is much larger than northern Jiangsu. And several forces are intertwined, making the situation complicated. Like Jiangsu, there is no army and no safe zone. Which means there are no rules. They must be fully prepared. When the sky was dark, the engine of the minibus had already started. And the roaring sound was loud at dawn. Many tired survivors dropped what they were doing and gathered around both sides of the minibus. They all knew the Shuring team was leaving Wushui County. I'm leaving! Jiang Zhuying rubbed his eyebrows and put down the iPad in his hand. Through the car window, she could see the dense crowd of survivors in Wushui County outside. These survivors all came to see the Shuring team off on their own initiative. Well, we're leaving. Jiang Lusher came over, rubbed Jiang Zhuying's head, and looked out the car window silently. When the little girl saw this scene outside the window, she felt a strange emotion in her heart. Although she didn't have much contact with the survivors of Wushui County, she had worked with them to carry sandbags and build flood control embankments. She also went to search for missile boats and fight against big water monsters for Wushui County. Although Jiang Juying is just a young girl, her character is very loyal and straightforward. For these people, Jiang Juying felt a trace of reluctance. Um, outside the car window, she saw a familiar figure. I saw the old expert son Changqing, wearing a straw hat on his head and holding a hoe in his hand, waving goodbye to her direction. The old man lowered his head and wiped his eyes, then turned around resolutely and led a group of young survivors to walk towards the dilapidated ship docked in the flooded area in the distance. Jiang Zhuying also waved in the direction where the old man left. Old man, son, take care of yourself, she said silently in her heart. At this time, she saw another person in the crowd. Brother, Xiang Xuhai is here. Jiang Zhuying pulled Jiang Liuxiu's hand beside him and pointed in the direction outside the crowd. Xiang Xuhai stood alone on the high ground of the shack. She was rarely dressed up. She was wearing a long sky blue dress. The breeze in the morning caused her skirt to fly and her long hair to hang. In Jiang Liuxiu's eyes, the fragrant snow sea at this moment was like a flower blooming in the wind. Well, let's go! Jiang Liuxiu looked away from Xiang Xuhai and said calmly to Ying in the cab. Shadow nodded. Boom. The minibus roared and climbed quickly towards the north of Wushui County. In that direction, there is a shortcut to Panju City. With his eyes closely following the departing figure of the minibus, Xiang Xuhai bit his lower lip gently and stood there for a long time. Ba Xiang, this is what Captain Jiang asked me to hand over to you just now. At this time, Luo Jun Jiang walked in, holding a small box in his hand. Xiang Xuhai was slightly surprised. When she opened the box, she saw a red crystal as bright as a diamond lying quietly inside. The spar flashed faintly, and Xiang Xuhai could feel the fluctuations of energy inside. This, evolutionary crystal? Xiang Xuhai suddenly saw through the origin of the crystal in the small box. As a person with powers, of course she knew that this thing was a good thing. A captain with powers from another city once came to Wushui County to make a deal and showed off the evolution crystal in front of her. The purity and energy fluctuations of the evolutionary crystal in the hands of the superpower captain at that time were not as great as the evolutionary crystal in front of him. Luo Junjian also saw the origin of the crystal in front of him. And his breathing became rapid. He rubbed his eyes and looked at the contents of the small square box in disbelief. Darling, 
Is this an evolution crystal? If you eat this thing, I heard that it can not only provide a large amount of energy instead of mutated beast meat, but also promote the evolution of superpowers. And this thing only exists in places where humans have established safe islands and base cities. It is said that 1,000 kilograms of mutated animal meat was used as raw material to barely be able to produce one. There are almost no conditions for the superpowers in northern Jiangsu to obtain evolutionary crystals. For example, the foreign superpower captain got an evolutionary crystal because he had been in contact with a team of superpowers from the safe zone. Therefore, this evolutionary crystal can be said to be very precious. Captain Jiang gave such a precious thing to boss Xiang casually. Luo Jun Jiang looked at Xiang Xuehai from the side with envy in his heart. He is really thoughtful. Xiang Xuehai picked up the red evolution crystal and couldn't help but feel a warm current in her heart. She knew why Jiang Lusher asked Luo Jun Jiang to hand it over to him. Evolutionary crystals are very precious things. If Jiang Lusher handed it to her personally, she would not dare to accept it casually. Holding the evolutionary crystal tightly with her fingers together, Xiang Xuehai couldn't help but raise her head and look in the direction where the minibus disappeared. Jian Lusher, you must take care of yourself. Besides, remember our agreement. Chapter 392 Evolutionary Crystal Northern Jiangsu is more than 500 kilometers away from Panju City. The two cities are separated by a river. And several of the main bridges across the river were artificially blown up in the early days of the end of the world. The route Jian Lusher and the others took to Panju City this time was a route developed by Shang Qiangjuan the wanted criminal with superpowers, who was killed by them. It is very remote and relatively safe. It will not pass through any counties or floodplain areas on the way. It just needs more mountains and more streams. The base vehicle drove out of Wushui County. After passing several villages, the road was basically covered with lush weeds and trees. And there were not many people left. It's already autumn. After several days of continuous rain, the autumn tiger finally showed its power. A scorching sun hung high in the sky so hot that the air felt like fire. But inside the base car, there is a temperature adjustment device, which makes it very cool. The repair is completed. The base vehicle's reinforced bulletproof tires have tested normal. The reinforced bulletproof glass has tested normal. And the durability is 100%. Three hours later, when all the damage to the base vehicle was finally repaired, Jiang Lusher finally breathed a sigh of relief and handed the cab over to Ying. The atmosphere in the carriage was very jubilant at the moment. His boss! You shocked me again! Zhang Hai frowned, and his hair stood up straight from the electricity. In front of him, Jiang Zhuying stood with a frown on his face, crackling electricity flashing in his palms. That's not right. You and Sun Kun are so stupid, and you mastered that domain all at once. Why can't I master what you are talking about? Jiang Zhuying muttered. Boss! Boss Xiang mentioned this problem to us when he handed us over. Sun Kun and I have physical powers and there are few powers that need to be controlled. You are a natural power user. Big with area discharge. It is naturally much more difficult to accurately control the power of supernatural powers. Sun Kun supported with a grimace. He was a bit more of a thief and huddled behind Zhang Hai. Having just become Jiang Zhuying's test subject, he was shocked a lot. Ran Xiyu and Li Yusin stood behind several people, with thoughtful expressions on their faces. Just now, they had been listening to Zhang Hai and Sun Kun's explanation on the precise control of the domain of supernatural powers. Zhang Hai and Sun Kun, when Jiang Lusher and the others went to look for the missile boat, it was not without gains from following Xiang Xuehai. Xiang Xuehai once promised Jiang Lusher that he would teach the superpower users of Shi Ying's team how to accurately control superpowers. Professor Xiang Xuehai gave this method to Zhang Hai and Sun Kun. Every superpower has a certain range of abilities. This range is called Domain by Xiang Xuehai. The scope of the domain of the physical type superpower is very concentrated around the physical body. People with powers such as Xiang Xuehai and Jiang Zhuying who control wind and electricity have a larger domain and are more difficult to control. As for Ran Xiyu, a person with mental powers, the range covered by her mental abilities is her domain. Boss, this requires more practice. It is to train the brain nerves to control the body's superpowers. What Ba Xiang taught me is to imagine that the domain is an extension of our body and strive to concentrate on mental strength to control the superpowers where we need them. In the range, Zhang Hai said, picking up a thumb-thick iron plate in his hand and silently concentrating and holding his breath. Changes began to occur in the palm of his hand. The muscles of his index finger swelled and the skin became clear, as if it had been coated with a layer of oil. 
he shouted loudly, and poked the iron plate with his index finger. Boom! The iron plate made a dull sound where it was poked by Zhang Hai's index finger. The iron plate suddenly had a deep dent half a thumb deep. Jian Liuxia's eyes lit up. The power of Zhang Hai's finger was much stronger than before. And his defensive power was also enhanced a lot. It was like a hammer. Is this a domain? Zhang Hai's superpower is the muscle power of his ten fingers. The finger he just pointed had obviously concentrated the power of all his fingers within the scope of one finger. Which is why it has such strong destructive power. The power of Zhang Hai's finger surprised Jiang Zhuying and Ling. Superpowers are an extension of the body. And they control the scope of one's own domain. Jiang Zhuying fell into thinking. Including Ling. Ran Shi Yu. And Li Yusin. They also looked thoughtful. There was a hint of joy in Ran Shi Yu's eyes. She was a very special spiritual power user. And her control over her mental power was very precise. The domain mentioned by Zhang Hai just now inspired her a lot. If the mental power is concentrated again, to a point, or even smaller than a point, the power of the mental attack will be stronger. When Zhang Hai and Jiang Zhuying were talking and discussing, Jiang Lusher listened quietly and did not speak. He liked the scene in front of him very much. The team members were only thinking about becoming stronger, which was undoubtedly a good thing for the future of Shuring team. Moreover, the domain mentioned by Zhang Hai also inspired him. Although he is not actually a superpower in the true sense. You will do the training of superpowers later. Eat these things first. Jian Lusher walked over and opened his palms. Exposing the bright red crystals inside to everyone. Crystal of evolution? The people in the Shuring team all recognized the evolutionary crystal in front of them and were quite surprised. The evolutionary crystal is now only in the hands of the military government. How did Jian Lusher get it? Brother. The purity of this evolutionary crystal seems to be much higher than that refined by the military. Jiang Zhuying held an evolutionary crystal in the palm of her hand and looked at it carefully, with curiosity and excitement in her eyes. How did it come here? Jiang Zhuying asked curiously. Eat quickly. Everyone will work hard in the future to get more mutant crystal nuclei. And there will be many more evolutionary crystals. Jiang Lusher said calmly. As for the origin, he avoided answering. Brother Jiang? Awesome. Zhang Hai gave Jian Lusher a thumbs up. He was very excited. Being with Brother Jiang, not only eating mutated beast meat every day, but also taking evolutionary crystals. This life is better than being on some safe island. It's cool. Everyone else looked very excited. This is the crystallization of evolution. It is a very precious thing that can accelerate the evolution of superpowers. It can also completely replace mutated animal meat and is an efficient source of energy for people with powers. It has only been studied by the military not long ago. The quantity of this thing is still very small, and it is very precious. But now the evolutionary crystals actually appeared in Jiang Liuxia's hands. And there were seven of them. Of course, the people in Shuring's team were very happy. The other members of Shuring's team had formed a certain tacit understanding with Jiang Liuxia and never asked much about other matters. For example, the origin of this evolutionary crystal and so on. There are already too many secrets in Jiang Liuxia. Now, no matter what he does, the people in Shuring team take it for granted. At present, everyone in the Shuring team has received a red evolution crystal. The energy of 1,000 kilograms of first-level mutated beast meat can create a first-level red evolutionary crystal in the energy laboratory. Jian Lusher used level 2 plus mutant puffer fish meat, which has an energy level more than 10 times that of a level 1 mutant beast. He used more than 700 kilograms of level 2 plus mutant puffer fish meat as well as some inventory in the warehouse. Eight first-level evolutionary crystals were created. This is because the energy extracted by the energy laboratory is very pure, and there is no waste. If it were a military scientific research institute, due to equipment constraints, they would have to consume several kilograms of mutated beast meat to extract an evolutionary crystal. The success rate was very low. And naturally the price was high and very precious. Now that each of the seven members of Shuring's team had won, plus the one Jian Lusher gave to Xiang Shuihai. He was suddenly running out of evolutionary crystals. Not long after the evolutionary crystal fell into his belly, Jian Lusher felt a heat spreading from his belly to his limbs, bones, and even muscles and flesh. The rolling heat made him feel hot all over. After a while, the heat disappeared and was replaced by a warm feeling, which was very comfortable. And for a moment, Jian Lusher felt a feeling of fullness, and the slight sense of hunger that had arisen disappeared. Brother, I'm dizzy. I need to sleep for a while first. Jiang Zhuying said to Jiang Lusher in a daze. Her current state was different from Jiang Lusher's. 
Her face was flushed and her steps were frivolous. Without waiting for Jiang Lusher to speak, she laid down on the bed on her own. Brother Jiang, the fluctuations in Juying's spiritual power are abnormal, Ren Shiyu suddenly said from the side. Jiang Liosher's heart moved, and he quickly stepped forward to touch Jiang Juying's forehead, and found that her forehead was extremely hot. Not only that, not long after he touched her forehead, a ray of electricity suddenly shot out, and Jiang Lusher felt a numb feeling in his hand. Current? Jiang Lusher was stunned. Jiang Juying couldn't control the electric current in his body? Immediately, wisps of electric sparks flashed out from Jiang Juying's body from time to time. The situation was very strange. This situation. Brother Jiang, let Juying sleep. Her situation is similar to my power evolution. But mine is a mental power. So it has little impact on everyone. I have detected abnormal fluctuations in her mental energy, which has been at its peak. It's obvious that the energy in her body is very active. Her supernatural abilities have also been enhanced a lot these days. And she should be about to break through. Ran Shiyu came over and gently reminded Jian Liashideo. Jian Lusher nodded. With Ran Shiyu constantly detecting Jiang Zhuying's mental fluctuations, and with medical powers likely using around, my sister should be fine. Moreover, Ran Shiyu's judgment was similar to his. He also felt that his sister was in the process of evolving her powers. The reason why she blushed and became hot was probably a reaction by the body's superpower cells to adapt to the evolved superpower. As for the rest of the Shuring team, Li Yusin checked each one one by one. Their physical condition was roughly the same as that of Jian Lu Shi. They all felt full and felt that they had infinite strength. Other than that, nothing serious. Jiang Zhuying slept deeply and showed no sign of waking up until dawn on the third day. At this time, the car had arrived in front of an old steel bridge. Seeing this bridge, Jiang Lu became energetic. According to the information given by Shang Jiangjuan, as long as he crosses this steel bridge and then passes through a tunnel, he can see the urban area of Panju City. The rusty steel bridge has some green vines wrapped around the steel railings on both sides, looking as if it has been abandoned for countless years. But this is actually just the consequence of the crazy growth of plants after the end of the world. The base vehicle drove up and made a rolling sound that made the hairs on the body stand on end. When the base vehicle drove past without any danger, everyone in the Shuring team secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Zombie! Suddenly Jean Hai stared ahead and shouted. Ah! Uh, these zombies! are all dressed in the same uniform. John Hai smacked his lips and exclaimed. After passing the steel bridge, there is a secondary road that has been abandoned for a long time. There were cracks on the ground, and some weeds and shrubs spread crookedly. It was still possible to walk. Judging from some signs, no car has passed this road for a long time. On the secondary highway, zombies wearing miners' lamp hats and bright yellow uniforms roared and ran towards the minibus where Jiang Lusher was sitting. Before the end of the world, Panju City was a city famous for mining. There were many non-ferrous metal mines. These zombies must have been miners in nearby mines before they were alive. Jian Lusher said calmly. When he came to Panju City, Jian Lusher also hoped to find some metal materials to prepare for the evolution of the base vehicle. Through the car window, you can see the holes dug in the mines on both sides of the road. Some mining trucks, railways, and large excavators are placed everywhere. And they are all covered with rust. Boom. The minibus accelerated, and the zombies in front that could not escape were crushed into piles of flesh and blood, while the minibus roared along the abandoned secondary road. The rest of the zombies ran wildly behind him. But no matter how fast they were, they couldn't compete with the minibus. Not long after, a deep dark tunnel appeared in front of them. The tunnel is in the belly of the mountain. There are nail boards on the ground. Be careful! Jian Liosher's eyes were as sharp as a falcon's. And at a glance, he saw a stainless steel nail board at the entrance of the tunnel that was more than 10 meters long and 8 or 9 meters wide. Rows of stainless steel nails, each one a foot long, very densely packed. There were zombies with dried up bodies stuck on some nails. And some scrapped cars were parked on the nail boards. The tires of these abandoned vehicles were punctured. Jian Lusher didn't dare to use the bulletproof tires of the base vehicle to hit these nail plates head on. He was wary. It was obvious that someone had put these stainless steel nail plates on purposely and they were not very old. Brother Jiang, be careful. There is someone on the top of the tunnel. Ran Shiyu suddenly warned. Chapter 393 Strange Team As expected, there was a person crawling on the mountainside about 7 or 8 meters above the tunnel. This man wore a weed hat on his head. His body was curled up and buried in the thick grass. And his face was smeared with black mud. 
if Jiang Liuxiu's eyes hadn't been sharp enough. Ordinary people wouldn't have been able to spot that person's existence. Is it a child? Jiang Liuxiu observed carefully and was a little surprised. He loosened his finger on the trigger slightly. He could clearly see that the prostrate man was very small. Although his face was smeared with mud, he was still full of childishness. His dark eyes were warily staring at the minibus where Jiang Liuxiu was. Pung! At this time, a stream of sparks suddenly shot out of the child's hand and shot into the sky. With a loud tail sound, Jiang Liuxiu saw clearly that the sparks were several rockets tied together. This is... Send signal? Jiang Liuxiu suddenly came to his senses and shot a few times. The straw hat on the lurking child's head was shot through. And his butt was also swept by another stream of bullets. Burning a big hole. The child was frightened. And immediately screamed strangely as he got up. Stepped on his short legs. Twisted his torn buttocks. And ran into the depths of the forest. He was obviously very familiar with the terrain in this area. He was as nimble as a monkey and disappeared in front of Jian Lusher in the blink of an eye. Ling! Follow that kid and investigate the situation. Jian Lusher crawled out of the small war room and said to Ling in the carriage. Zero nodded, jumped out of the car window, and sneaked into the shadows of the woods in a few leaps. Shi Yu, how is the situation nearby? Jian Lusher asked. It's nothing, except for some extremely weak mental fluctuations. Probably some small animals. There is no one else. Ran Shi Yu probed for a while. Then Chong Jian Lusher confirmed. The mental fluctuations of every species in the world are different. The mental fluctuations of superpowers and mutant beasts are very strong. But very small animals are very weak. Ran Shi Yu only detected a few creatures running around in the jungle. And was sure that no one was ambushing the nearby. Jian Lusher was relieved. There must be a gathering point for survivors nearby. Everyone should be vigilant. Jian Lusher judged and warned other members in the carriage. The kid just fired the signal rocket, which was obviously an early warning. And the nail board on the ground was also a hindrance and warning. It can be judged from this that there is a survivor force nearby. Brother Jiang, don't worry. We are very vigilant when we come to this place. Jiang Hai said with a smile. He was very confident in the investigative capabilities of the Shuring team. Even with a lurking master like Ling and a psychic psychic like Ran Shi Yu, it would be very difficult for an ordinary team to sneak attack on them. Zhang Hai and San Kuan jumped out of the carriage and moved their luck to move the nail boards on the ground one by one. Only then did the minibus drive safely into the deep tunnel. This tunnel is several kilometers long and winding. Under the shining car lights, you can see many zombies and pale human corpses lying in the tunnel everywhere, as well as various discarded guns, knives and other weapons, as well as daily necessities. Apparently there was a brutal fight between survivors and zombies in this tunnel. After exiting the tunnel, the view suddenly opened up. On both sides of the abandoned road are mountain peaks one after another. These peaks are riddled with holes and are covered with lush weeds and vegetation. But there are no big trees. You can imagine how these mines used to be bare. The mines in front of us are now in ruins and desolate, with no signs of human activity. Shi Yu, this journey leads to Panju City. You will definitely be able to find your sister's whereabouts by then. Jian Lusher smiled faintly at Ran Shiyu. He could tell that Ran Shiyu was a little excited after passing the tunnel. Yes. Ran Shiyu nodded. Her heart was filled with excitement at the thought that she would be able to see her only relative in the world soon. Suddenly, Ran Shiyu felt a warning sign. Brother Jiang, there is someone at the corner of the canyon ahead. She sensed a dozen red dots in her mental vision. Just at the corner of the canyon ahead. Okay. Jian Lusher nodded. The atmosphere in the carriage suddenly became solemn. Zhang Hai and Sun Kun picked up their weapons one after another. Jian Lusher picked up the Arm 2 sniper rifle box next to him and carried it into the small war room. For a moment, the minibus fell silent, leaving only the sound of tires scraping against the rough gravel on the road. At the corner of the canyon, Jian Lusher saw through the observation hole of the small war room that the road ahead was blocked by two huge and heavy trucks. More than a dozen people stood on the roof of the large truck, staring down at Jian Lusher and the others menacingly. These dozen people are a very strange combination. Except for three tall and thick men with tattoos on their bodies and faces and ferocious faces. The other twelve people were young men and boys of different ages. Without exception, these people all wore yellow minor hats on their heads. And their bodies were dark. As if they were smeared with coal. The minibus stopped and was silent. A group of people on the big truck opposite stared at each other. And no one said anything for a while. At this time, a short, then young man stood next to one of the big men. He looked young. Maybe 15 or 16 years old. 
with a ring of green hair just growing on his lips. And a pair of bright eyes with a hint of anger at the moment. Jiang Lusher could see clearly that the young man was chewing a grass stem in the corner of his mouth. He looked as if nothing had happened. But his fingers, intentionally or unintentionally, patted the back of the thigh of the big man next to him. When he took the photo, Jiang Lusher vaguely saw an extremely hidden cold light. The cold light appeared very quickly. He didn't look carefully, but just caught a glimpse of it from the corner of his eye. The muscles on the big man's face twisted in pain. And he made a soft, see, sound from his mouth. Ahem. The big man hurriedly coughed a few times and yelled. Robbing. Everyone. Get off the car. We only want the things. Not your lives. So cooperate obediently. Or you will all die. His tone of voice. Combined with the ferocious tattoos and expression on his face. Was a bit scary. Boom. While the big man was talking. The engines of two large trucks below started roaring. Sending out bursts of black diesel smoke. The rumbling sound was like muffled thunder echoing in the narrow canyon. At this time, the weapons in their hands were raised and pointed in the direction of the minibus. The leader of the group held a simple 64 pistol in his hand, and the others all held a steel crossbow. The crossbow arrows flashed with an icy cold light. Brother Jiang, there is only one superpower. The others are ordinary people. That superpower is the young man next to the big man who spoke. When the other side shouted robbery, Ren Shiyu's doubtful voice sounded in Jiang Liuzhu's mind. Um, Jian Lusher was slightly surprised. But he was relieved immediately. No wonder he just looked at the situation on the opposite side and felt it was inconsistent. The big man who seemed to be the leader, although he looked good, seemed to be timid and afraid of something. Think again of the young man chewing the grass stems and his little movements on the big man's lap. Jian Lusher knew it well. And a faint smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. So that's what happened. Activate the V-shaped collision angle and sprint. Jian Lusher said calmly. The minibus vibrated momentarily, and a huge V-shaped collision angle appeared on the front face. The whole car was like a violent beast, and its speed instantly surged. It sprinted through the narrow canyon like a gust of wind and crashed into the two large trucks. On the big truck, the young man chewing grass stalks looked like an old god. Such a canyon is only four meters wide, and minibuses cannot turn around at all. They blocked the road like this, so they didn't have to worry about the people on the minibus not getting down to negotiate with them. When the minibus started to hit the V-shaped corner, the skinny young man was so shocked that his eyes almost fell out. What the H? L is that big V-shaped iron block on the front of the minibus. Can this car be modified like this? When the minibus hit him at a speed comparable to an F1 racing car, his anus tightened holy shit. From the menacing speed, he could feel the minibus driver's determination to fight to the death. Get out of the car! Run! Run! The young man was trembling in his heart. He was the first to react and hurriedly called to the people around him. He finally figured out that the driver of the minibus must be crazy and wanted to kill everyone. If it collides like this, the crispy minibus will definitely be destroyed. And everyone in the car will die. This big truck will definitely suffer heavy damage. And the people on the truck will not feel good either. At this critical moment, he didn't dare to stay in the truck. Just now, they were trying to rob. But the aggressive group of people, including the three big men, all jumped out of the truck and ran away. When they ran more than 10 meters away, they heard a loud bang, followed by a clang. They saw that the large truck they were on had been violently knocked away, and the steel at the location where the collision occurred was broken and dented, which was horrific. But the minibus that hit us stopped firmly at the spot where the big truck stopped amid the billowing dust of less. There was nothing wrong with it at all. Under the bright white sunlight in the sky, the minibus equipped with a V-shaped ramming angle, the alloy SH. L flashed with metallic cold light, and there seemed to be some kind of explosive power in the silence. Ah, uh, this, is this a minibus? Brother Yang Tian Zhao, I have never seen such a powerful car. Several teenagers gathered around the young man who was chewing the grass stems, exclaiming in wonder. Envious. Yes, it would be great if such a car belonged to us. We wouldn't have to be afraid of those bad guys in Panju City. Another child looked envious. I'm so jealous. Run away. The young man Yang Tian Zhao spat out the grass stalks in his mouth, slapped the head of the child next to him, and said hurriedly. His intuition told him that this time he had hit a brick wall with such a powerfully modified minibus. The people inside must not be simple. This minibus knocked two large trucks away so easily. This kind of impact was probably comparable to that of land tanks, and maybe even none could compare. Yang Tian Zhao was just imagining this. Moreover, 
There is nothing wrong anywhere in the minibus. The body must be incredibly strong. With the steel crossbows in their hands at the moment, there was nothing they could do against this minibus. Since you can't attack, running is the most correct choice. A hero will not suffer the immediate loss. Just as he was about to run, there was a click, and a cloud of dust suddenly exploded in front of him, and a hole appeared on the ground. Click, click, two more gunshots. This time, he exploded dust left and right. The three holes that appeared on the ground were so precise that they just pinned him to the spot, making him unable to move. Sniper Master? Yang Tian Zhao felt a chill running from his tailbone to Tian Ling Gai. And he felt goosebumps all over his body. Wasn't this guy shot in the head casually? Don't let anyone run away. Anyone who runs will be beaten to death. Ren Shi's words suddenly echoed in the minds of all the robbers wearing miners' lamp hats. A person with psychic powers? The boy who was called Yang Tian Zhao by the other boys couldn't help but swallowed his saliva. And his heart had sunk to the bottom. It was my first time to rob. So why did I encounter such a tough enemy? There are even psychic powers. Not to mention a sniper master. How come we met such a team? It's ridiculous that I actually want to rob this team. Yang Tian Zhao couldn't help but smile bitterly to himself. Everyone else also stopped. With expressions on their faces, as if they had seen a ghost why was there a voice in their head? Brother. Wow, help. Brother. A clear cry sounded above the heads of a group of robbers. Yang Tian Zhao suddenly looked up and saw a girl with cat ears standing on the top of a hill seven or eight meters high, holding a little boy with a bear but in her hand. Yang Tian Zhao's heart sank. Brother. A look of anger appeared on his face. You, don't hurt my brother. He is still a child. This matter has nothing to do with him. How could the cat ear girl Zero take his word seriously? Her figure was erratic and dexterous and she kept jumping and climbing in the gaps in the mountains. She came down from a height of seven or eight meters in a few seconds. Captain, what should I do? Ling turned around, grabbed the crying child in his hand, and asked Jian Lusher. At this moment, Jian Lusher was holding a sniper rifle, followed by two big men, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen, walking over in a swaggering manner. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen both held a Type 95 shotgun in their hands. Yang Tian Zhao was already sweating a little, when he saw the gun in Jiang Liusher's hand. He saw it. Sniper rifles. Shotguns. These guns are very expensive and hard to come by. With such firepower. Coupled with this nimble and erratic cat -eared girl. There is also the secretly psychic psychic and perverted minibus. The strength of the team in front of him. In his mind. Was probably that only in a top superpower alliance. Such as Panju City's Mad Battle Alliance. Could there be such an elite team of superpowers. Why didn't you say anything? Didn't you want to rob us just now? John Hai kicked hard at the big man who just shouted robbery. He kicked the big man until he screamed and fell to the ground. John Hai behaved very fiercely. Facing such a team. The strength of Shuring team can only be expressed in two words crushing. John Hai. Make no mistake. He is the leader. John Lusher glanced at John Hai and pointed lightly at the young man who just threatened Ling. Huh? John Hai was stunned. According to his common sense. The boss is usually the first to speak. Let alone this is a very serious robbery incident. You, how did you know I was the leader? Yang Tian Zhao was slightly startled and asked Jian Lusher coldly. But he felt weak in his heart. This is your first robbery. Right. You are not skilled enough in your methods. And your heart is not ruthless enough. Jian Lusher glanced at the young man in front of him. With a mocking smile on his lips. So I found someone with a fiercer appearance and pretended to be the boss. So as to intimidate him. Us? Right. Yang Tian Zhao suddenly felt a little cold. How could this young man in front of him know everything? Now! It's our turn to rob you. Rare metals. Mutated crystal nuclei. I want them all. Jian Lusher looked indifferent. And the black muzzle of the gun pressed against Yang Tianzhu's eyebrows. Wow! Don't, don't kill my brother! Don't kill him! I will give you everything. I have hidden a lot of things. The little boy in Ling's hand suddenly cried and begged Jian Lusher. Chapter 394 Robbery I I hid a bag of potatoes, a large piece of dried rat meat, and a bottle of drink, which I couldn't bear to eat. Now there's nothing to eat anywhere. You, just let your brother go, and I'll give them all to you. The little boy had a heartbroken expression on his face, lowered his head, clasped his fingers, and sobbed. Three black lines appeared on Jiang Liusher's forehead. Although there is a lack of food in the last days, Shuring team is an exception. Nowadays, the Shuring team rarely eats rice. And almost every meal consists of mutated beast meat. Bower! Stop talking! 
Anyway, we fell into trouble this time. I admit it. The boy whose forehead was pressed by Jian Lusher calmed down after the initial panic. He raised his head and pointed his gun at Jian Lusher. Where are you from? I know almost all the powerful survivor teams in Panju City. I have never known them. I haven't seen you. Look at the direction our car is coming from. Don't you know where we come from? John Hai said lazily, as he swung the shotgun back and forth in a threatening manner in front of a group of teenagers and children. Aimed at the black shotgun muzzles. The group of robbers remained silent. Jiang Liosher's heart moved. And he looked at Yang Tianzhao. Yang Tianzhao sounded like he knew all the major forces in Panju City. And Jiang Liosher couldn't help but be interested. Where? Is it Su Bei? Yang Tianzhao asked. Hey, brat, if you are robbed, you should act like you are being robbed. Why do you ask so many questions? Do you believe that I will shoot you into a bloody hole? Our brother Jiang said that we need to mutate crystal nuclei and rare metals. Hurry up, take it out, or I'll kill you all with one shot. Sun Kuen took a step forward and pointed the shotgun at Yang Tianzhao's stomach. He hasn't shaved for many days, and his sides have long been covered with dense beards, matching his already thick body. His face looks very ferocious when he puts on a slightly fierce look. Wow! Don't kill my brother! Bao, who was held in Ling's hand, saw Sun Kun holding Yang Tian Zhao with his gun. He was sobbing just now and started to cry again. Ah! Uh, Sun Kun suddenly felt dizzy when he saw this little kid crying. If it were an adult, he would have slapped her away a few times. But with a crying baby in front of him, he really couldn't do anything. I don't have mutated crystal nuclei. If you want rare metals, we are in a mining area, and there are some. I don't know what rare metals you want. Yang Tian Zhao was hit several times by the shotgun, and his ribs were faintly hit. Painful. He lowered his head and looked quite depressed. You, a person with superpowers, don't have mutated crystal nuclei? You still have to eat mutated beast meat without mutated crystal nuclei. Right. Where is the warehouse where you store your things? Let's search it ourselves. Sun Kuen said in a rough voice. He didn't believe the words of the young man in front of him. Yang Tianzhao's body trembled. I can take you to the warehouse. But you, you can't kill anyone. If you have any vicious intentions, then I would rather die here. He raised his head and looked at Jiang Lusher, with unconcealed worry in his eyes. Yang Tianzhao knew that Jiang Lusher was the leader of this group of foreign elite survivors. We only want things, not your lives. Jiang Lusher raised his eyelids and said calmly. Yang Tianzhao was stunned. Why do these words sound so familiar? Panju City was already in sight. And Jiang Lusher was not in a hurry. It was a rare opportunity for him to meet Yang Tianzhao, a group of amateur robbers from the mining area. Panju City is a well-known mining city in Hujiang province. It not only has a large number of gold, silver, iron and other mines, but also many associated mines rich in rare metals. Rare metals are not as common as copper and iron, and are difficult to obtain in ordinary cities. In the past, when the base vehicle needed to build a biological laboratory. Hundreds of kilograms of rare metals such as titanium, nickel, and cobalt were needed. In the end, Jiang Lusher got it from the special metal company after a lot of hard work. Later, after leaving Jin Ling, they only replenished a small amount of rare metals one after another along the way. The alloy SH, L and mini equipment of the base vehicle were damaged, and these rare metals were needed for construction and repair. After leaving Wushui County, and repairing the base vehicle. The little rare metals obtained from Xiang Xuai's warehouse were completely exhausted. If the base vehicle is damaged in the future, Jian Lusher will not have the rare metal materials on hand to repair it. This is a very serious problem. When Jian Lusher came to the mining city of Panju City, he had to search the local area. John Hai and Sun Kun were in tandem, holding shotguns in their hands as they monitored the mixed robbery team of men, teenagers and children as they headed towards one of the large mines. Ng drove a minibus and followed slowly behind. Yang Tianzhao was at the front, holding tightly the little boy Bauer who was let go by Ling. After walking for more than a quarter of an hour, he observed Zhang Hai and Jiang Liosher's words and deeds. And the worry in his heart eased slightly. Although this group of people were fierce, they did not seem to be killing innocent people indiscriminately, and no violence was used against them. Otherwise, with their strength, why would they bother to negotiate terms with Yang Tianzhao? If they don't obey, they will be killed. They didn't take action just now, and they are unlikely to take action in the future as long as they don't anger them. Yang Tian Zhao was now filled with frustration and just hoped that these people could get what they wanted and leave quickly. 
with their little foundation. They can no longer afford it. The sun was scorching hot. After walking under the sun for a while, many teenagers had a layer of oily sweat on their bodies. Jian Lusher was walking next to Yang Tianxiao without a drop of sweat on his body. Yang Tianxiao was observing from the side, feeling very surprised. On such a hot day, to not sweat is like inhuman. He didn't feel any abnormal energy fluctuations on Jian Lusher, but he could feel a very strange feeling. This feeling is due to the mutant cells of the superpowers, which give them fighting instincts like those of beasts. How did he know that Jian Lusher had the power of evolutionary blood awakened by the genetic fluid? And his body functions were different from ordinary people's. Whether it was hot or cold, the body's capillary dilation and closing functions could regulate body temperature. Finally, the minibus stopped at the foot of a 100-meter-high mountain peak. Yang Tianzhao and the others walked to a collapsed mine halfway up the mountain. This mine looks no different from other mines. And it is inconspicuous among the rows of mines surrounding it. The entrance to the mine was also blocked by the collapse of several huge rocks. Only through a few exposed gaps between large rocks can you feel the depth and darkness inside the mine. Elder brother! Bauer looked up at Yang Tianzhao with tears in his eyes. His little eyes full of worry. Yang Tianzhao sighed secretly. Don't be afraid. It's okay. Yang Tianzhao was also helpless. Now they were just the meat on the chopping board and could only listen to the outsiders like Jian Lusher. He took out a small hollowed out stone from behind his butt. Yu -yu 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 -yu. Yang Tianzhao blew at the small hole. And a melodious sound came from inside. At this time, at the entrance of the mine that originally seemed to be closed, the rocks blocking the entrance completely collapsed toward the ground. Finally, a hole was exposed that two people could pass through. Jian Lusher was a little surprised. Agency? Following Yang Tianzhao into the cave, Jian Lusher looked down and saw an iron beam. Twisted rope and metal bracket lifting device below. Apparently this is a small motor shaft. Entering the cave. The field of vision suddenly becomes narrow. The height and width of the mine in front of me are about 2 meters. And the air is turbid. A railway track with no bottom can be seen. Sloping all the way to the unknown depths of the mine. For my carts park quietly on the rails. Be careful. There are many people deep in the mine. Their position is very deep. And my mental power cannot cover that far. Ren Shiyu's voice suddenly sounded in the minds of every member of the Shuring team who entered the mine. Ren Shiyu. Ing. Li Yusin and others all stayed in the base vehicle. And their mental fluctuations were constantly detecting the situation around Jian Lusher. This mine is very deep. Several kilometers long. And the water-soaked soil in the mine can greatly weaken her mental detection. Especially in the depths of the mine. It is riddled with holes. Extending into passages as dense as a spider web. There were many places she couldn't detect. After receiving Ran Shi's warning, everyone in Shuring's team became alert. This mine is the home ground of this group of young people. Even though they are all superpowers and have great strength, they don't dare to be careless. Don't play tricks! The dagger in Ling's hand suddenly slashed towards Yang Tianzhao. And with a few strokes, it almost touched the base of Yang Tianzhao's ears and scraped off a layer of fine hair, but did not hurt Yang Tianzhao. Yang Tianzhao stood there without daring to move. The hairs all over his body stood up such terrifying and precise sword skills. Don't worry. As long as you remember what you said, we will not make any other moves. After all, I am the only one with superpowers here. Yang Tian Zhao said to Jian Lusher with a bitter face. Jian Lusher nodded. The first mine cart contained Jian Lusher, Ling, Yang Tian Zhao, Bauer and others. And the last mine cart contained Sun Kuan and Zhang Hai holding shotguns. Rumble. The mine cart roared along the track and rushed deep into the mine. This mine is very long and there is no light along the way. About a minute later. Boom. The mine car stopped heavily and reached the end of the track. When we got here, there were several lights flickering on the mine tunnel. Electricity! Jian Lusher was surprised when he saw the lights in front of him. The other members of the Shuring team were also surprised. In the past, things like electric lights were certainly common. But after the end of the world began, many of mankind's past civilizations were destroyed in the cataclysm. Electricity? A very complex crystallization of human civilization can only be seen on safe islands and base cities where some survivors gather. What was in front of us was just an underground mine. But it was surprising that there were electric lights and wires inside. This is solar power that my brother created by himself. The wires were all laid out by my brother. Seeing the surprised expressions of Jian Lusher and others, Bauer couldn't help but said, with a bit of pride in his tone, Jian Lusher's eyes fell on Yang Tianzhou. 
He remembered that the steel crossbows held by this group of people just now, and the signal arrows fired by Bao were probably made by Yang Tianzhou. From this point of view, this kid is actually a genius in manual invention. After the end of the world, many survivors have lost their former emphasis on some human civilizations. They only value their own strength. Jian Lusher was different. He always valued talents. Only with real talents can the survivors after the end of the world have hope of continuing to survive and reproduce on the earth. And can it be possible to rebuild civilization? Don't listen to Bauer. This solar lamp has a solar panel or something. I just made it with a little tinkering. Seeing Jian Liusher's questioning look, Yang Tianzhao said, Yes. Jian Liusher nodded. Now let me take a look at the warehouse. Your things should be divided into categories. Right. I want a lot of rare metals. So I need all your inventory. As long as you give me these things, I won't embarrass you. Yang Tianzhao secretly breathed a sigh of relief when he saw that Jian Liusher was really just here to get the metal. Okay, I'll take you there. Yang Tianzhao agreed immediately. He was originally worried that Jian Lusher and the others wanted metal like iron. They have to supply these things to other forces. And it will be difficult if there is insufficient inventory. Unexpectedly, Jian Lusher wanted some very exotic metals. They really do have these metals here. But basically no one would care about these metals. And those forces can't use them either. Probably sensing the movement in the tunnel. Thin miners slowly walked in from the mines on all sides of the tunnel. Without exception, these miners are all teenagers and children. The child was even naked, wearing only a pair of shorts and no clothes. They were covered in all kinds of dust and very dirty. The only clean part was probably the two rows of white teeth in their mouths. When they saw the strangers from the shurying team and the guns in their hands, there was a commotion in the mine, and some children were so frightened that they cried. Some brave young people raised their mining hose vigilantly. Yang Tian Zhao was obviously the leader among this group of young miners. And his words were very powerful. With just a few words, he calmed down the commotion. After a while, the two teenagers in charge of the warehouse timidly led Jiang Lusher, Zhang Hai and Yang Tian Zhao into a warehouse dug out of an abandoned mine. Ling and Sun Kun were still guarding the group of young miners outside. Under the guard of two superpowers, no young man dared to have any other thoughts. After wandering around the warehouse for a while, Jian Lusher couldn't help but be surprised. It's so barren here. Most of what is stored inside is high-quality iron ore, copper or in other ordinary metals, and some is gold and other things. Some rare metals were placed in the far corner, and the bags were labeled. In other places, there are only three bags of rice and some dry food stored, and there are also two pieces of meat hanging on a wooden pole, no more than two palm-sized pieces. Is this mutated beast meat? Jian Lusher turned around, and asked Yang Tian Zhao beside him. Yang Tian Zhao suddenly felt a little nervous. He only had this piece left. It's mutated beast meat. But it's spoiled. I also put a lot of salt on it. So it's hard to eat. He tried his best to describe the meat as bad as possible. Trying to dispel Jian Liusher's thoughts. Seeing Yang Qin Zhao's nervous expression. Jian Liusher smiled faintly. He didn't know what Yang Tian Zhao was thinking. But will he fall in love with this bit of mutated beast meat? Seeing the smile on Jiang Liusher's face, Yang Tianzhao's face heated up. It seemed that he was despised. It's ridiculous that he is afraid that others will snatch his bit of mutated beast meat. You ask people to come in and carry all these rare metals to me near the minibus at the foot of the mountain. Jiang Liusher turned around and said to Yang Tianzhao. He glanced at the bags containing rare metals and felt much more energetic. This bag of rare metal weighs at least 500 kilograms. Some rare metals, such as titanium, Way more than a thousand kilograms. In fact, titanium is not expensive. But it is still not easy to find in the last days. Many big mining cities are located in distant provinces. This harvest will allow him to not worry about rare metal materials for making alloy casings and other things for a long time. You, you got what you wanted. Can you let us go? Yang Tian Zhao looked at Jiang Lusher expectantly. After all, he is still a childish boy. And it is easier for his emotions to be written on his face. Don't worry. I also want you to help me make some simple time bombs and explosive bags. Jian Lusher said lightly. You made those steel crossbows and the lifting device at the wellhead. Right. I must have some simple time bombs. The explosive bag is definitely not at your command. Yang Tianzhao was startled. And anger suddenly rose in his heart. They are indeed a bunch of greedy guys. He can make time bombs. And explosive packs are even simpler. But explosives are very rare things and even their preparation takes time. 
A lot of them have been used to deal with the exploitation of some guys in Panju City. He was really distressed. Don't worry. I didn't ask you to make time bombs and explosive packs for nothing. I'll trade with you. Trading mutated animal meat and other grains. Jian Lusher said slowly. Mutated animal meat? Food? Yang Tianzhou's angry mood just now disappeared. Really? Then, how do you want to trade? Yang Tianzhou's eyes were bright. And he stuttered a little when he looked at Jian Lusher. Now, what these young miners lack most is food. As for the mutated beast meat, it is even more important to him. He now feels a lack of strength every day. Listen to me. Jiang Lusher waved his hand. In addition, I also want you to go to Panju City with me. You will be our know-it-all. And I will pay you on a daily basis. Chapter 395 The Ups and Downs of Life Then, how much is the reward per day? Yang Tian Zhao wanted to remain calm. But the excitement and expectation in his eyes had betrayed him deeply. They are so poor. Dozens of teenagers and children can only rely on digging for minerals every day in order to trade with other forces for a few pitiful supplies. It can be said that every day is spent in hunger. Of course, he would be very excited if he could find other ways to make money. I'll pay you five days reward in advance of 54 pistol, 80 rounds of pistol bullets, a bag of rice, and we'll talk about the other rewards in five days. Jian Lusher said solemnly. Now the Shuring team's guns are relatively abundant. They obtained a lot of guns and ammunition from Blood Wolf, Yang Feng and other forces, especially the 54 pistol. There are already several in the team, and the Shuring team no longer needs this kind of gun. In addition, Xiang Suhai also specially provided them with a batch of food when they left. Now the food resources in the storage space of the base vehicle are abundant. As for rice, it was dispensable to Jian Lusher so it was just right to trade it. He also knew what the young men in the mining area in front of him lacked most. 54 pistol? Yang Tian Zhao almost had tears streaming down his face. In a world where zombies are rampant, guns are extremely valuable. When ordinary people own guns, they have the capital to fight against zombies, and even those with superpowers. Even the 54 mm pistol, although not as powerful as a rifle, is at least much stronger than their current 64 mm pistol. It can make up for the lack of firepower in the mining area. If you want to get guns, you usually have to exchange mutated beast meat for them. Now if you follow the other party as a guide for five days, you can get a 54 pistol. Yang Tian Zhao feels that it is pie in the sky. And there is a bag of rice. There is no doubt about the preciousness of food in today's world. Okay, I agree to your employment. Yang Tian Zhao hesitated for a moment and nodded in agreement. Although it would be more dangerous to enter Panju City where there are fish and dragons mixed together. But compared to the rewards given by Jian Lu Shi, this risk is definitely worth it. But I can't be employed by you for too long. If I weren't here in this mining area, it would be a bit troublesome. Yang Tian Dao added, Are you being targeted here? Jian Lu Shi understood and asked in a serious voice. There are many mines here and it is a fat place. Among this group of young miners, Yang Tian Zhao is the only one with special abilities. It's not surprising that such a team is being targeted. It is indeed a bit troublesome. But I can handle it. Apart from me and a few other teenagers. These mining children were all thrown here by the major forces in Panju City. They are too young and are not as good as other forces. There was no use in Zhongya. So he was thrown over to mine. They are all poor children. They are just like my brothers. I can't leave them for too long. I have to take care of them. Yang Tian Zhao said vaguely, without telling Jiang Lusher elaborate, how many improvised time bombs and explosive packets do you want to exchange for mutated beast meat, food, etc? Yang Tian Zhao raised his head. His mood became much more high-spirited. If someone proposes a deal, they must be sincere. Otherwise, with Jiang Liusher's strength, if he was threatened with force to do something, he would not dare to refuse the gap in force was too big. An explosive pack. 10 kilograms of mutated beast meat, and a bag of rice, a simple time bomb, 30 kilograms of mutated beast meat, and a bag of rice. Jian Lusher said calmly, I will only wait for one to two days. After a pause, Jian Lusher added, Jian Lusher has always been cautious. The news he had received previously proved that Panju City was very complex, and its armed forces far exceeded those in northern Jiangsu. Therefore, he must strengthen some of his attack methods and improve the team's combat strength. Explosive packets and time bombs were one of the powerful weapons that Jian Lusher thought of after his battle with the mutated pufferfish in Wushui County. 
Now he relies on base vehicles for everything. So some battles are definitely inconvenient. He needs some powerful weapons that are powerful enough, easy enough to carry, and can be equipped with other members of the team. For example, if you let John High throw explosives, he can definitely throw thousands of meters without any problem. When dealing with some powerful forces, a simple time bomb can be installed by Sun Kuen, who has the power of flippers and can climb in any environment, and it will definitely have unexpected effects. After seeing Yang Tian Zhao, Jian Lusher knew that he had the conditions to obtain the two things he imagined. Okay. Deal. I'll try to make as many things as possible in these two days. Yang Tian Zhao showed a happy smile on his face and pumped his fist vigorously. Mutated beast meat and rice. These are the things they lack most. As for what Jian Lusher wanted, in addition to simple time bombs, Yang Tian Zhao had made explosive packs several times. And they often used them to blow up mountains in mines. There was already a lot of storage in the nearby mines. And there were salt petri and sulfur mines nearby. It was a simple matter for him to prepare explosives. As for the simple time bomb, it is not a big problem for an inventor like him. It just takes more time to find materials. After talking for a quarter of an hour, Yang Tianzhao agreed to all Jiang Liuzhi's conditions. Airfan! Xiaowen! Have you heard this? Now quickly bring a group of people to move all the rare metals that Brother Jiang wants to his car. Then move the bag of rice back. Don't forget, there are 54 pistol. Yang Tian Zhao was very happy and patted the shoulder of the young man named Erfan next to him heavily. The two young men who had followed Yang Tian Zhao and were frightened just now. But now they felt like they were dreaming when they heard the contents of the transaction between Yang Tian Zhao and this group of outside robbers. It was fish on the chopping board just now. And now it suddenly turned over? This ups and downs are really exciting. Excited? After Erfan and Seowin hurriedly ran out, Jiang Lusher heard a sudden burst of cheers from the mine outside. The corner of his mouth curled up. These young miners were so satisfied. After the young miners in the mine learned about the deal from Erfan and Seowin, who ran out excitedly, the depressed atmosphere was suddenly gone. The way they looked at Zhang Hai changed from the kind of vigilance and hostility to the hungry look that they only have when looking at a rich man and a big benefactor. At that moment, a group of young miners took the initiative to carry out the rare metals and other things Jian Lusher needed in a hurry. There was a rumble in the mine. Jian Lusher and the others also got on the ore truck and rode the rails and followed them out. Now that they have negotiated terms with Yang Tian Zhao, there is no need for them to stay in the mine. He just needs to wait quietly now. He was sure that these young miners didn't dare to play any tricks. Jian Lusher and the other strength was here, and they knew the lair of these young miners. If they had other thoughts, they were seeking death. After a group of young miners happily carried all the rare metals into the car, Jian Lusher drove the minibus back about a hundred meters and drove into an abandoned and remote mining cave next to the road. After all, in this mining area, judging from Yang Tianzhu's tone, there will be outsiders coming to trade. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble, it is better to be careful. As night fell, the base car was quiet. Jian Zhuying was still sleeping and the electric current that flickered on his body from time to time had subsided. Jian Lusher checked his sister's condition, calmed down a little, and walked to the cab to rest. Just as he squinted his eyes, Ren Shiyu's voice suddenly sounded in his mind. Brother Jian, something seems to have happened over there in the mine. Jian Lusher frowned slightly, and turned around in the darkness to see Ren Shiyu sitting up. Her expression was solemn, and she lowered her head, and was trying to detect the situation over there in the mine. There were more than a dozen people, including two people with superpowers. It seemed like they were fighting. Through the mental vision shared by Ran Shiyu, Jian Lusher saw two unusually bright red spots entangled together. There was also a weak red spot that suddenly disappeared. The red spot is spiritual energy. And once it completely disappears, it can only mean one thing death. Bang 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 bang. At this time, a series of gunshots and screams rang out in the dark night. Suddenly, Zhang Hai. Sun Kuen, Ling and others who were sleeping opened their eyes. Ling! Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen come with me. The others stay here. Ran Shi, you keep investigating. Jiang Lusher said nothing, inserted the 54 pistol into his waist, and held a Type 95 automatic rifle in his hand. In rocky areas, the viewing angle of the sniper rifle is not good, and it is not as useful as the Type 95 automatic rifle. As soon as he jumped out of the minibus, Zero was the first to pass him by. In the darkness, Ling's elegant figure was like a cheetah, extremely agile and making no sound. 
Jian Hai and Sun Quan both took shotguns and followed Jian Lusher. Brother Jian? They all rushed into the mine. As soon as he approached the mine, Ran Shiyu's voice sounded in Jian Liosher's mind again. Jian Liosher's heart skipped a beat. Did he rush into the mine? This is troublesome. In such a cramped environment, the risk factor will become greater. When he walked to the mine, Jian Lusher saw Ling standing at the entrance of the mine. Captain! A bald adult died. His head was pierced by a sharp metal object like a fork. There were many bloodstains and footprints in other places. There should have been many people here just now. Zero looked at the body on the ground and said calmly. There had obviously been sporadic fierce battles here. An adult with a mangled head and bloody flesh died on the ground. And there was also a large pool of blood at the entrance of the mine. The air was filled with a strong smell of blood. Zhang Hai. San Kuen. You guys stay at the entrance of the cave. I'll go in with Ling. Looking at the dark mine, Jian Lusher made an instant decision in his heart. In such an environment, visibility is low. Zero has a cat-like blood awakening, can see things in the dark as well as in the day, and is good at assassination and lurking. His brain has been neuroevolved, and he can also see at night and have quick reactions. In comparison, John Hai and Sun Kuan have low visibility at night, so it would be more dangerous to enter. Through Ran Shiyu's shared mental vision, Jian Lusher was able to identify the two superpowers who entered the mine. One of them must be Yang Tian Zhao. The sharp wound on the adult's head must have been caused by Yang Tian Zhao. Yang Tian Zhao's superpower seemed to be some kind of sharp metal object. When he was robbed at noon today, Jian Lusher had vaguely seen Yang Tian Zhao stabbing the big puppet man in the thigh. As for the other superpower, Jian Lusher believed that he and Ling could handle it. He had just negotiated a deal with Yang Tian Zhao. But he didn't want Yang Tian Zhao to die like this. Compared with many adult survivors with ulterior motives, Jian Lusher wanted to find a simple minded young survivor like Yang Tian Zhao to cooperate. After the instructions were arranged, Jian Lusher and Ling quickly headed toward the mine along the rails without taking the mine cart. After all, the mine cart is too noisy, and entering it will cause unnecessary danger. In the mine at the end of the railway track, a dozen people armed with machetes and rifles followed a burly man and advanced slowly with breathless concentration. It was pitch black in the mine. The solar light has been turned off. Baby, cry for me. In the darkness, a broken gong voice spoke viciously. The big man who spoke had thick hair growing all over his body, each one like a steel needle. His hands had turned into a pair of sharp claws, thick webbed feet clinging to the ground, a pair of ears like wolves, and two eyes shining brightly in the darkness. Although the light inside was dim, he could see clearly. In his big palm, like a cattail leaf, he grasped two arms vigorously. They were two young boys of 11 or 12 years old who were still childish. These teenagers were already injured, with blood and flesh protruding from their thighs. Now Ruan Dingfa's sharp claws were bent, and the blade-like claws had penetrated into the arm of one of the young men, and blood suddenly flowed. The young man grunted, but gritted his teeth and did not scream. His face was pale due to excessive blood loss, but he acted very tough. Brother Amaterasu, don't come out. They have guns in their hands. The boy whose arm was stabbed to death suddenly shouted loudly. His voice echoed in a long and dense mind. Okay, tough guy. Hearing the young man's cry, the beast turned human with supernatural powers laughed ferociously, took the gun of one of his subordinates, and held it against the young man's head. I think your bones are stronger than bullets. Just as he was about to shoot, a figure suddenly flashed out of a nearby mine and a large handful of metal powder was thrown out. The powder smelled very pungent and was sprinkled on everyone. The air was also filled with a thick smell of metal shavings. Who is it? Caught off guard. The beast turned superpower yelled. Quick! Turn on the hat lamp! Suddenly, the two big men behind them had two beams of light shining from the miners' lamp hats on their heads, illuminating clearly the things on the beast turned human beings. The dark mine tunnel also became a lot brighter. Under the illumination of the hat lamp, the beast turned human beings could see clearly. Their bodies were covered with dense silver gray metal powder. And he had the most. And his hair was all silver gray. Wanding Fa. You shoot. I sprinkled magnesium powder. Huh? Before the end of the world. You yourself were an old miner in these state owned mines. You should know that magnesium powder is easy to explode. Right. This is the bottom of the mine. You know that there will be a big explosion. What consequences? At this time. Yang Tian Zhao slowly walked out of the mine with gritted teeth. Magnesium powder? Do you think I'm a three-year-old child? 
Magnesium powder explodes so easily. Aren't you afraid that your gang of brats will die with you? Rwanding Fa's face was ferocious. But the finger holding the trigger stopped. And there was a trace of light under his eyelids. A look of hesitation. He didn't dare to joke with his own life. I'm barefoot and not afraid of wearing shoes. Yang Tian Zhao said every word with a livid face. In several minds behind him. Some teenagers and children poked their heads out and looked at Yang Tian Zhao worriedly. Like the beast turned superpower opposite. Yang Tian Zhao's pupils flashed with strange green light. And he obviously also had the ability of night vision. Spikes like steel needles appeared all over his body. Wanding Fa. I give that big bastard Wang Shifu so much iron or every month. Isn't that enough for you? Are you going to kill us all? Yang Tian Zhao said bitterly. Wanding Fa chuckled. The situation is different. In the past, Mr. Wang Shifu only wanted mines. But now he not only wants mines, but also people. And people he can trust. You should know that the Mad War Alliance is currently fighting against the Fallen Star Society. This time the fight is fierce. No, I'm afraid it's not. Okay. To tell the winner. And we found out that you were secretly trading with Luo Xinghui. You want to avoid offending both sides. Hee <laughs> hee. This won't work. Wanding Fa chuckled. He licked his tongue again. Besides. You. Little brat. Kick me out of the mine. I've always wanted to avenge you for this. As soon as he finished speaking. He threw the two teenagers in his hands towards Yang Tian Zhao. There is hard or behind them. If the two teenagers are allowed to fall. With Wanding Fa's strong strength. They will definitely smash into a pile of flesh and blood. Yang Tian Zhao groaned and had no choice but to retract the metal needles on his hands and catch the two teenagers. At this moment, Wanding Fa had a pair of ten fingers that grew long and sharp bone blades and tore hard at his neck. I can kill you without shooting! Wanding Fa smiled ferociously. Yang Tian Zhao had just thrown the two teenagers aside and could only parry in a hurry. In an instant, he felt a strong surge of force and the metal spikes on his arm that resisted the bone blade suddenly broke. His whole body was staggered by the powerful force. Hee hee. You brat. You can't do it now? Weren't you very arrogant before? There is not enough mutated beast meat to eat. And the decline in strength will be painful. Right. Wanding Fa smiled ferociously and pounced forward again. The bone blade in his hand still heavy he slashed at Yang Tian Zhao. Yang Tian Zhou's heart sank. He and Wanding Fa used to work in state-owned mines. After the end of the world, a large number of miners turned into zombies. And only he and Wanding Fa evolved into superpowers. But Wanding Fa was not a good person. He relied on his own strength to enslave the other surviving miners. As a result, Yang Tian Zhao united a group of people to attack and drove him away. In the past, Yang Tian Zhao's supernatural power could definitely suppress Wanding Fa. But now he has been lacking mutant beast meat. And his supernatural powers have been greatly weakened. At this moment, an elegant figure suddenly fell from Wanding Fa's head. The dagger with a cold light struck Wanding Fa's neck mercilessly. Who? Wanding Fa was startled. And the bone blade in his hand instantly swung out more than a dozen times. Amidst the series of clanging sounds, he couldn't get rid of the elegant figure in front of him. Standing in front of him was a lowly girl with cat ears. The dagger in her hand was waving like rain. And her steps were as light and elegant as a ghost. One moment it appeared on his left. And the next it appeared above his head. His explosive power, agility, reflexes and knife skills are all astonishing. Wanding Fa couldn't get rid of it all of a sudden. He roared wildly, and the bones all over his body made a sound like popping beans. As he was about to exert his strength, the cat-like lowly girl in front of him suddenly rushed behind him, and her elegant figure appeared in front of the two big men with rifles in their hands. With two sharp flashes of cold light, the hands of the two big men holding the guns were cut off, and they screamed again and again. The long spear in her hand was taken by the Maur lowly girl. Then she turned around and looked at Wanding Fa very calmly. At this time, there was a burst of footsteps behind Wanding Fa and others. Jiang Lusher walked out with a Type 95 submachine gun in his hand, pointing the black muzzle at Wanding Fa. You, who are you? This, there is magnesium powder everywhere. If you want to shoot, it will cause a big explosion. You and I will both die. Wanding Fa's face turned pale. He recognized the gun in Jiang Liusher's hand. A Type 95 automatic rifle. This gun is very powerful. And it is more than enough to kill him at such a close range. Big explosion? A mocking smile appeared at the corner of Jiang Liusher's mouth. And the Type 95 automatic rifle in his hand burst into flames. Wanding Fa's huge animal body 
had a big hole in his chest. He flew backwards several meters away and fell heavily on the wall of the mine. He died with his eyes wide open. He never thought until his death that Jian Lusher would really dare to shoot. Yang Tian Zhao also roared at this time and rushed towards the group of big men, facing the two superpowers Ling and Yang Tian Zhao. This group of ordinary survivors without guns is left, although they are strong. They are just strong lambs. After a while, more than a dozen bloody corpses were lying in the mine. The blood soaked the ground softly. Brother Jiang, thank you. Yang Tian Zhao was covered in blood and panting from exhaustion. He stood in front of Jiang Lusher, his eyes filled with gratitude. If Jiang Lusher and the others hadn't arrived in time, they would have really been doomed this time. The other young miners looked at Jiang Lusher and others with gratitude and awe. It's nothing. I didn't get the explosive packs or simple time bombs I wanted. I won't let you die. Jian Lusher said calmly. Uh. Yang Tian Zhao was speechless for a while. Brother Jiang, how do you know what I sprinkled on was not magnesium powder? Yang Tian Zhao couldn't help but ask. First, magnesium powder explodes so easily. It's very hot here. If you move around a little, sparks will be generated by friction and cause a big explosion. Second, you are someone who values the lives of your brothers very seriously. You won't let it happen. They will die together. Jian Lusha raised two fingers. Yang Tian Zhao was speechless for a while, and there was a different kind of emotion in his eyes when he looked at Jian Lusha. But brother Jiang, you are outsiders. This Ruanding Fa is one of the eight district chiefs of the Mad War Alliance and a member of Wang Shifu. If he dies, Wang Shifu will definitely send people to the mine to investigate. It will be a big trouble. Yang Tian Zhao worried. After experiencing a life and death fight, he actually felt an inexplicable affinity for Jiang Lusha and became worried about the safety of Jiang Lusha and others. If that Wang Shifu is causing trouble, just kill him. Anyway, we just came to Panju City to do some things, and we'll leave after we're done. Jiang Lusha was calm and composed, as if describing a simple and easy thing. Jiang Lusha, who owns a base vehicle, is really not afraid of forces like the mayor of Panju City or the eight major districts. Chapter 396 Restricted Area Yang Tian Zhao opened his mouth and couldn't close it for a long time. He no longer knew what to say. Wang Shifu's power was extraordinary. He had more than a dozen superpowers under his command. He was one of the real giants in Panju City. How could he be killed so easily? He felt that Jiang Lusha was bragging. But his bragging was too natural, and he was extremely confident. Brother Jiang is so brave! Yang Tian Zhao forced a smile on his face, and shook his thumb at Jiang Lusha. No matter how much Brother Jiang brags, he can never expose it. Your smile is so fake. Jiang Lusha glanced at Yang Tian Zhao. Yang Tian Zhao. Before he could speak, Jiang Lusha patted Yang Tian Zhao on the shoulder. Hurry up and get to work. I'm still waiting for your explosive packs and simple time bombs. Okay. Okay. Yang Tian Zhao smiled awkwardly and scratched his head. While they were talking, a group of young miners began to clean up in unison. Some dragged the bodies deeper into the mine, preparing to find a place to bury them, while others used slag to fill up the blood stains on the ground. Brother Amaterasu, Dong Ming and Liang Zai can't stop bleeding from their wounds. That guy Rwanding Fa's bone blade must be poisonous. At this time, Er Fan, who was bandaging the wounds of two injured teenagers on the ground, cried to Yang Tian Zhao. The two young men lying on the ground had blood flowing from their stabbed arms, soaking through the bandages wrapped around them. Their wounds were already completely black and even showed signs of decay. It looks like the wound is really poisonous. The faces of the two young men were frighteningly pale, and they were so weak that they fainted. Medicine? Is there any hemostatic medicine? Yang Tian Zhao grabbed Erfan's shoulders and asked anxiously. There is no more medicine in stock. Erfan was confused, tears welling up in his eyes. Leave it to me. Jian Lusher walked over and took a look then walked straight over to the two young men on the ground and picked him up. With his current physical fitness, these two young men would have no problem carrying it. He took a quick look and knew that with Liu Xin's medical ability, the injuries sustained by the two teenagers were minor. As long as some supernatural toxins were removed, the bleeding was stopped, and they were bandaged. They would be fine. Brother Jiang, seeing Jiang Liuxia's move, Yang Tian Zhao was very grateful, but also a little hesitant. We have a doctor in the car. Jiang Lusha said. Thank you. Brother Jiang. Yang Tian Zhao said hurriedly. These days, doctors are so rare. People like them are sick and injured. And they are grateful to God for taking medicine. 
How can there be a doctor to treat them? But I didn't expect that there would be a doctor in a team as small as Jiang Liuxiu's. In this way, his brother might be saved. Don't thank me. You just need to use more snacks and make more explosive packs and improvise bombs. That'll be it. Jiang Liuxiu turned around and said to Yang Tianzhou. After saying a few words, he and Zero turned around and left. Brother Jiang, don't worry. I will do a good job for you. Yang Tian Zhao did not expect that Jian Lusher did not put forward any conditions, but just offered to help. He had nothing to thank Jian Lusher, so he could only bow seriously and deeply to Jian Lusher's back. The two young miners, who were sent to the base vehicle, quickly regained consciousness after some treatment by Li Yusin. After Zhang Hai sent the two cured young men back to the mine, Yang Tian Zhao and other young men could not be more grateful to the Shuring team. After the two teenagers were treated, they actually fully recovered. Even some of the hidden physical illnesses caused by overwork were completely cured. Seeing these two teenagers jumping around and full of energy, Yang Tian Zhao was naturally filled with gratitude. It was not until the morning of the third day that Yang Tian Zhao, unkempt and unkempt, finally carried a large package containing a fertilizer bag and excitedly approached the base vehicle where Jiang Lusher was. Brother Jiang, the things are ready. Yang Tian Zhao greeted Jiang Lusher in the cab of the minibus from a distance his thin face full of joy and his eyes bloodshot. Jian Lusher perked up, took the package and opened it, with a smile on his face. There were ten homemade explosive packets and seven simple time bombs. You could smell the strong smell of ammonium nitrate explosives in your hands. That's right. I used homemade ammonium nitrate explosive. So the explosive package was a little heavier, weighing more than four kilograms each. But I used the best detonators and fuses. The timer material of the time bomb was not enough. It's a little easier to make. But I use the best detonator in the mine to ensure that the explosion is strong enough. Yang Tian Zhao couldn't help but feel a little uneasy when he saw Jian Lusher carefully observing the package and lowering his head without saying a word. Well done. Jian Lusher looked up and smiled with satisfaction. He originally thought that there would only be five or six explosive packets at most. This thing was dangerous and it was a delicate job and not easy to do. Unexpectedly, it now costs 10 yuan. It is obvious that Yang Tian Zhao really put a lot of effort into it. Now in this mining area, the Shuring team has gained a lot. The total amount of various rare metals weighed several thousand kilograms. And a batch of explosive packs and time bombs were obtained. Zhang Hai, send 17 bags of rice and 310 kilograms of mutated animal meat to the mine. Jian Lusher greeted into the carriage. Hearing the words, mutated animal meat, Yang Tian Zhao lost consciousness for a while and the saliva in his mouth secreted much faster. He quickly woke up, and quickly waved to Jiang Lusher. No! No! Fifteen bags of rice, and two hundred kilograms of mutated animal meat are enough. Brother Jiang, you are our great benefactor, and save both of us. I can't ask for so many things from you. Take everything you have. We will get along with each other for a while in Panju City in the future. It's enough to behave well. Just treat it as a reward for you in advance. Jian Lusher patted Yang Tian Zhao on the shoulder. Um, Yang Tian Zhao's Adam's apple rolled, and the skinny boy's inner mood changed somewhat. He suddenly raised his head and said resolutely to Jian Lusher, Brother Jian, don't worry. Hearing this, Jian Lusher couldn't help but be stunned for a moment, looked at Yang Tian Zhao carefully, and then smiled. In fact, this young man's character is still very simple, and he is very reciprocal and values love and justice. Although Jian Lusher didn't mind who was his guide as long as he was obedient, Jian Lusher still admired people like Yang Tian Zhao. In this apocalypse, the dark side of human nature has been completely exposed. These young miners were all abandoned here to work as coolies. They were not well fed and drank well, and were exploited and oppressed. But they did not become dark because of it. This is still rare. Okay, now you go back and arrange your brothers, and we will set off as soon as possible. Okay, brother Jiang. I'm going now. Getting so much rice and mutated animal meat is undoubtedly happier than the new year for Yang Tian Zhao and his gang. The young men opened their bellies and had a delicious meal under the mine before starting to move. After all, they killed Wang Dingfa. Although Wang Shifu has not sent anyone now, they will find out about it sooner or later. At least they can't stay in their old nest. A group of young miners dug a secret tunnel under the mine and moved all the bottles and cans to a hidden mine not far away. It turned out that Yang Tian Zhao and his gang of young miners had already made arrangements to hollow out seven or eight nearby mines. 
This actually impressed Jiang Lusher. After being busy until the afternoon, Yang Tianzhao finally finished handling some chores and started following Jiang Lusher's car. After getting into the base car and seeing clearly the luxurious configuration inside, Yang Tianzhao blinked, completely confused. Before the end of the world, he was a poor miner's son, and he had never seen any RV. Not to mention, the cabin of Jiang Liosher's base car is even more luxurious than an RV. Fortunately, Yang Tianzhao, a young and old man, did not ask around, but kept his responsibility in mind. At a three-way intersection, he directed the base vehicle to rush to the southeast of Panju City. The southeast direction leads to one of the three major forces in Panju City, the Huyang People's Front. Before the end of the world, Panju City was a very prosperous mining city. The land area is large. The migrant population is large. And housing prices are soaring. The prosperity of the mining economy has led to rapid urbanization. And the surrounding suburban counties are connected with the urban area of Panju City. The place where the Shanghai People's Front is located was formerly a suburban county of Panju City and was transformed into the Changyang New District. Therefore, it is far away from the urban area where the Mad War Alliance and Falling Star Club are located and is located in a quiet corner. It is currently a rare peaceful area in Panju City. Most of the small forces in other counties and towns in Panju City come to Changyang New District to do business. As a result, the underground trade here flourished, with a large flow of people and a reputation far and near. When minibuses drove to Changyang New District, they encountered several modified motorcycles speeding by. The survivors on these motorcycles were armed with machetes, axes and other tools and they also coveted minibuses. After Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan poked their shotguns out of the dark hole, the motorcycles quickly fled. Boom boom! In the distance toward the city center, several plumes of black smoke rose, and a big explosion occurred. The fight between the Falling Star Society and the Mad War Alliance is really fierce this time. It looks like they have used homemade bombs. I don't know how many people will die this time. Yang Tian Zhao sat in the car and looked at the direction of the black smoke. Sound. How long have these two forces been fighting for? Jian Lusher asked. Now that he has come to Panju City, Jian Lusher certainly wants to know more about the grievances between the Luoxing Society and the Mad War Alliance, so as not to be blinded and cause unnecessary trouble. This fight has been going on for a long time. For more than half a month, these two forces have been at war since shortly after the end of the world. Yang Tian Zhao told Jian Lusher that they had roughly discussed the grievances and grievances between the Luoxing Society and the Mad War Alliance. The Falling Star Society's power is roughly on par with the Mad War Alliance. There are roughly more than a hundred superpower users in the Falling Star Society, occupying Puxian District and Leeching District. The Mad War's Alliance has eight district chiefs, and there are a dozen or so people with special abilities less than the Fallen Star Society. However, the superpowers of the Mad Fighting Alliance were stronger, and when they really started fighting, they had an advantage over the ordinary survivors in terms of combat effectiveness and they occupied the Chowha district and Singer camp in the southwest. The two parties took up nearly three-quarters of Panju City. The two forces have been fighting since the beginning of the apocalypse, and now dozens of superpowers have died on both sides one after another. It has become a never-ending situation. The latest war between the two sides has lasted for more than 20 days, and people died every day. As Yang Tian Zhao told intermittently, the minibus approached Changyang New District, but at this time, Jiang Liosher's eyes were attracted by the strange sight. A wall about 10 meters high was built in the northeast of Changyang New District. Close to the urban area, barbed wire fences and trenches were also built in front of the wall. This wall is a full kilometer long, and some walls have spread to the backs of buildings in Changyang New District, with no edges visible at all. The area near the wall was desolate, with scattered corpses strung along the barbed wire fence. The dense vines almost covered up the barbed wire fence and the wall. Even with the sun shining brightly overhead, the walled area still felt eerie. Such a long and high wall is a huge project that requires a lot of manpower and material resources. What is this wall used for? Jian Lusher stared at the wall. He didn't know why, but he had an ominous premonition in his heart. Restricted area. Yang Tian Zhao looked at the wall, with a hint of undisguised fear under his eyes. There are zombies inside the wall. Chapter 397 Inside and Outside the High Wall there are high walls like this in the Luoxing Association and the Mad War Alliance. There are so many zombies inside. And it is said that there are mutated zombies in the innermost part of the restricted area. When dealing with traitors, forces like the Mad War Alliance often kill people throw it into the wall. 
There were days when I came here, and I could hear the screams inside. Yang Tianzhao only had a partial understanding of the situation in the restricted area. When the high wall was originally built, three forces including the Mad Fighting Alliance, the Falling Star Society, and the Huyang People's Front were involved. After paying a heavy price, most of the zombies in Panju City were enclosed within the high wall. Some of the secrets in the restricted area are probably only known to the top leaders of the three forces. Jiang Lusher observed that motorcycles and off-road vehicles passing by on the road, no matter how arrogant the survivors were, deliberately stayed away when they passed near the high wall. It can be seen that the survivors in Panju City have a fear of the restricted area. The minibus drove for about five or six minutes. And Jiang Lusher saw from a distance behind circles of barbed wire fences standing tall men with loaded guns. Behind the barbed wire is an 8-meter-high concrete wall, and two 18-story commercial buildings are right behind the wall, on the floors above. You can obviously see big men guarding the place with rifles. There is a simple elevator on the outer wall of the floor. A large-caliber machine gun pokes out of the elevator and is facing the door. Obviously, these commercial buildings have been transformed and armed into tower-like existences. At the iron gate at the entrance to the city wall, several big men were guarding there. There were many modified motorcycles, and off-road vehicles parked outside the iron gate. The most prominent among them are several heavy-duty trucks with thick steel plates. Jian Liosher's minibus was among them, and was not conspicuous. Brother Jian, except for the Huyang people's front vehicles, other vehicles are not allowed in here. When they arrived at the gate, Yang Tianzhao reminded Jian Liosher. Jian Liosher nodded. He came to the Shanghai people's front mainly to find information about Ren Yusha. It didn't matter to him whether he drove in or not and the car is right outside. If something happens, this iron door can't stop him. Jian Lusher took a quick look and saw three quarantine gates on the concrete city wall. The quarantine gates are all thick iron gates, and there are big men guarding the gates with knives and rifles. Looking wary, everyone who enters will carefully fill out a form and will be searched very strictly. Not far from the quarantine gate, a long wooden pole was erected, with several dead people hanging on it. Half of the dead man's face was shot through by bullets. And then, he was hung in front of a concrete wall, demonstrating his iron-blooded methods. The sun was scorching hot in the sky at this moment. And there were long queues in front of the three quarantine gates. There were many people with superpowers inside, but no one dared to complain. Jian Lusher only took Zhang Hai off the bus, while Ling and the others stayed in the base car. They were first in line at the quarantine gate. When it was almost their turn, there was a commotion in the team in front. There was a middle-aged psychic, who was as skinny as a monkey. For some unknown reason, he could not pass the quarantine gate. The middle-aged man with supernatural powers was already angry and argued for a few words. At this time, a tall man who was more than two meters tall walked out from behind the first quarantine door. The tall man's face was covered with scars, and his whole face looked like pieces of flesh spliced together, looking indescribably ferocious and fierce. Seeing this tall man, Jian Lusher took a few more glances. His star seed can detect supernatural powers. But the tall man in front of him is clearly the one with the strongest energy fluctuations among the supernatural energies detected by the star seed among the people around him. It is obvious that his supernatural powers are extraordinary. The thin, middle-aged supernatural being obviously knew the tall scar-faced man. And his expression changed obviously. Although the tall man didn't say a word. Under his condescending and cold gaze, the thin middle-aged man with supernatural powers turned around and left in dejection. Riding a modified off-road motorcycle, and fleeing as fast as he could. Seeing the fleeing off-road vehicle, the scar-faced man snorted coldly. Just as he was about to turn around and enter the quarantine door, he suddenly stopped and looked at Jian Lusher and others standing next to him. Finally, his eyes were fixed on Yang Tianzhou's face, his eyes as sharp as knives. Have you finally figured it out? Do you want to join the Shanghai People's Front? His tone seemed to be very familiar with Yang Tianzhou's cold tone. Hey, Uncle Zhang. That's not what I'm here for this time. Yang Tianzhao looked embarrassed and faced the scar-faced man in front of him with a complicated expression. I came here to help my two elder brothers with some things. Zhang Jiming was slightly startled. Yang Tianzhao had always only been friends with a group of teenagers in the mine, but he had never heard of any big brother. Taking a closer look at Jiang Lusher and Zhang Hai, they were obviously strangers. Even he didn't recognize them. Uncle, if I don't have anything else to do, I'll go in first. Yang Tianzhao winked at Jian Lusher and Zhang Hai. A thoughtful look flashed in Jian Lusher's eyes, and he followed Yang Tianzhao. This is the pass. I will guarantee them both. 
Yang Tianzhao took out a pass and handed it to the big man guarding the quarantine door. To enter the Huyang people's fraud trading market, only those with passes can enter. Strangers need to fill in an identity information form to enter, and they also need someone with a pass to act as a guarantee. This system ensures the prosperity of the Shanghai people's front in troubled times, and no one will cause trouble casually. Just after Jiang Lusher and others filled out the identity information form, Yang Tianxiao led the two of them in, when a voice came from behind. Amaterasu! There is no future in the mining area. It is only right for a person with special powers, like you to join the Shanghai People's Front. Yang Tianzhao trembled slightly, without looking back, and hurriedly walked inside. Amaterasu, are you familiar with that person just now? Jiang Lusher asked calmly. After hearing Jiang Liusher's words, Yang Tianzhao sighed. Brother Jiang, the uncle just now was a very powerful person with special abilities in our mine. He was also responsible for dealing with the transactions between the things produced in our mine and other forces. Later, for some unknown reason, he suddenly joined Huyang from now on. The People's Front has no regard for the life or death of us people. Even if we were bullied by Ningfa, he never came back. Until recently, I had a bad relationship with Wang Shifu of the Kuangzhan Alliance. So I came to the People's Front in Shanghai to trade. I didn't expect that this uncle would always want to let me join the Shanghai People's Front. Yang Tianzhou's voice became lower and lower as he spoke, looking a little depressed, obviously thinking of some bad memories. Isn't the Huyang People's Front the third largest force in Panju City? It's not bad to join. Right. You can also take care of your brothers. Jiang Lusher was a little confused. After all, the Shanghai People's Front is an unattainable tree for young people like Yang Tianzhou. Those young miners were abandoned because they were of no use. If Yang Tianzhou could join a force, they would have a backer. But Yang Tianzhou's look clearly didn't want to join. When Jiang Lusher asked this question, Yang Tianzhou suddenly looked a little unnatural. He quickly looked around and made sure that no one noticed their conversation before speaking to Jiang Lusher in a low voice. Hiro Mingu is the boss of the Huyang People's Front. He is said to have a very mysterious power. Anyone who joins the Huyang People's Front seems to change dash. Become like them. At the entrance of the trading market, big men in twos and threes were patrolling hard with weapons in hand. Jiang Lusher had not noticed these big men before. But now he discovered that they all had bald heads. And their shiny bald heads were like a special sign. They are all meticulous and serious. And they don't make any noise when walking. Yang Tianzhao's hand was pointing at the group of bald men. They had already reached the entrance of the trading market. On both sides of the street stalls. There are stalls one after another. There was a constant flow of people. Many people were talking loudly and doing various transactions. Farther away there is a three-story trading floor. Which is also crowded with people. But among these noisy sounds, there was no voice belonging to the bald men on patrol. These bald men are dedicated to their duties. And their eyes are extremely serious. Even fanatical. Jiang Lusher had seen such fanaticism in some safe island troops. But it was rare among ordinary people. Jiang Lusher was surprised. He sensed that these bald men all had special power fluctuations. These people are all superpowers. People with superpowers are different from ordinary survivors. People with superpowers who were born in a time when zombies are rampant have a very high status. Let a group of supernatural beings patrol the streets with guns just like ordinary survivors. And do something that seems very lowly to the supernatural beings. This cannot be justified by being well trained. Some people with superpowers may just want to survive after acquiring superpowers. But many more people start to do whatever they want after they have special abilities. Brother Jiang, if you find out about Ran Sha, leave here quickly. Suddenly, Ran Shiyu's voice sounded in Jiang Liusher's mind. At this time, Ran Shiyu's voice sounded particularly vague, as if it was suppressed by something. Brother Jiang, there is a very powerful spiritual power user here. My spiritual power was greatly weakened here. It took me a long time to fight before it extended in. This kind of place gives me a very bad feeling. Chapter 398, I also have a business I want to do with you. Well, Shiyu, be careful. Jiang Lusher warned Ran Shiyu. Combining what Yang Tianzhao said just now, Jiang Lusher guessed that the powerful spiritual power user mentioned by Ran Shiyu should be the Feudoming King. Yes, Brother Jiang. Don't worry, Ran Shiyu responded. She contracted her mental realm and did not peek into the situation in this area. She just assumed a self-defensive attitude. However, if the spiritual superpower wants to spy, or if there is any unusual movement, Ran Shi will respond in time. The power of the evolutionary crystal has not yet been digested. 
Now Ran Shiyu is full of mental power and can carry out multiple mental attacks. This kind of mental impact is so sharp and fierce that even Fudo Mingdu has to weigh it. However, King Fudo didn't seem to be moving at all. And he probably didn't have any thoughts about outsiders like them. At this time, Jiang Lusher followed Yang Tian Zhao and walked straight to the trading hall. There was a pair of sharp eyes staring at Jiang Lusher and the others somewhere in the trading hall. Jiang Lusher noticed it and looked into the trading hall. But after scanning, he didn't find anyone watching. Did I see it wrong? Jian Lusher thought to himself. At this time, a small bird flew out of the hall. Jian Liosher's eyes were sharp, and he could tell immediately that it was a homing pigeon. In the last days, such homing pigeons are rare. Jian Lusher felt strange that he actually saw a pigeon here. Compared with the street stalls outside, the goods in the trading hall are much more. And they are all high end goods. The stalls outside are full of things, including sundries, dry food with dirty packaging, and dirty food for sale and so on. It's a huge variety. And in this trading hall, if you look around, you can see mutated beast meat, guns, unknown exotic metals, and some off-road vehicles that look like they have been carefully modified, all placed on the iron tables in the hall inside. Next to each iron table stood a graceful woman with a charming smile on her face. Their clothes are thin, and the spring light is looming, which is quite eye-catching. The owners of the goods on the iron table looked like they were quite powerful sellers and they were accompanied by one or more superpowers. When Jian Lusher and the others walked in, some greedy eyes immediately focused on them. But then, they moved away and never looked at them again. After all, Jian Lusher and the others looked too ordinary. An ordinary person with no power fluctuations, a young man with average power fluctuations, and a stupid, big power user. They didn't look like rich people. Yang Tianzhu's eyes shone. But he could only take a few greedy glances at the mutated beast meat and the stylishly modified off-road vehicle. Finally, he led Jian Lusher and the others to an inconspicuous red table in the corner. Go! On the red table, there is a stack of red files. Sitting behind the table was an old man with a goatee. He was wearing a pair of gold rimmed glasses, and his eyes were wandering around the crowd in the hall. Yang Tian Zhao walked straight towards him. Old man Qin, I want to do some business with you. This old man named Qin is quite famous in the Shanghai People's Front Exchange. He was here almost from the first day the exchange was founded. I don't know what his background is or what his methods are. But he actually has a lot of information and news in his hands. He specializes in buying and selling information in Pandu City and some nearby counties and towns. Sometimes he also acts as an intermediary. Reselling some guns of unknown origin. Yang Tian now also comes back to the Huyang People's Front from time to time to do some transactions. Although he has never dealt with old man Qin, he knows what this old man does. Old Qin's face was expressionless. His myopia glasses were lowered. He looked Yang Tian Zhao up and down, then looked at Jiang Lusher and Zhang Hai, and then an inexplicable smile flashed under his eyelids. Are you the guy who often buys and sells iron or metals outside? The indifferent expression on Old Qin's face disappeared, and he became enthusiastic. Yang Tian Zhao was a little surprised. This old man Qin was notoriously snobbish. For him, who was running a street stall outside, he had never seen old Qin look at him seriously when he passed by. That's right. I'm Yang Tian Zhao. I'm here to buy some information from you. Yang Tian Zhao said quickly. No hurry. No rush. Old man Qin slowly took out a cup. Made himself a cup of tea. And took a sip happily. I have to wait for a few people to come over to handle a transaction. You can wait for a quarter of an hour. Immediately, the old man began to taste the tea slowly and leisurely. Yang Tian Zhao glanced at Jiang Lusher apologetically. His status here could be said to be very humble. Old Qin in front of him wanted to make a big show. And he really had no choice. Brother Jiang. Zhang Hai was anxious. Damn it. This old man is obviously trying to fool people. How can anyone do business like this? With his violent temper. I really want to shoot this old guy in the head. No hurry. Wait. Jiang Lusher said calmly. He didn't care what the old man in front of him was doing. They're all here anyway, so there's no harm in waiting for a quarter of an hour. After the old man Qin finished drinking a cup of tea, it should be almost time, the old man said to himself. And then he looked up at Yang Tian Zhao. Can we make a deal now? Yang Tian Zhao's eyes lit up. Old Qin didn't say anything, snorted, glanced at Yang Tian Zhao, then took out something from the file and placed it in front of Yang Tian Zhao. Actually, old man, I also want to do a business with you. 
Yang Tian Zhao was slightly startled and couldn't help but look at the red paper handed over by old man Qin. On the red paper, there is a line of words. Found Yang Tian Zhao. A 14-year-old male with superpowers from the Nanhui mining area who has the superpower of metal bone spurs. Reward, 100 kilograms of mutated beast meat. The person offering the bounty is Wang Shifu, the head of the 8th district of the Mad War Alliance. I just got this reward order. I didn't expect you to deliver it to me so quickly. Old Qin's eyes suddenly became bright and sharp. This old man who looked like a rickety back suddenly became so powerful that his clothes were about to burst due to his swollen muscles. He turned out to be a person with physical abilities. Seeing this look, Jian Lusher frowned slightly. He suddenly remembered that the gaze he sent not long ago was so sharp. It turned out that the moment they entered the trading hall, they were already being targeted by old man Qin. At this time, there was a sudden commotion in the hall. Jian Lusher turned around and saw many big men rushing in from outside the hall. Some big men, loaded with guns and ammunition and full of murderous intent, suddenly surrounded Jian Lusher and others. One of them, a thin man with a sharp face and a sinister smile on his face, strode up to Yang Tian Zhao. On his shoulder sat a homing pigeon. Jian Lusher could tell at a glance that this carrier pigeon was the one he just saw rushing out of the exchange. In an instant, he came to his senses. The moment old man Qin discovered Yang Tian Zhao, he released a carrier pigeon to deliver the message. He was drinking tea just now, just to delay time. TSK! TSK! The first day the reward information was released. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. Yang Tian Zhao, we have been looking for you all day and night. Tell me, where is Wan Ningfa? The sharp-faced man walked up to Yang Tian Zhao and stared down at the thin man. Juvenile. In his sight, John Hai and Jian Lusher had been completely filtered out. Chapter 399 Base Vehicle Hidden Evolution Project The exchange, which was bustling just now, fell silent because of the sudden intrusion of this group of big men. Some superpowers have smelled some kind of danger and led the people around them outside the trading hall. They are from the Mad Fighting Alliance. Don't watch the excitement. Let's leave. Those three boys are in trouble. They actually mess with Zhu Yusong. He is the right-hand man of Wang Shifu the director of the 8th district of the Mad War Alliance. Isn't the Mad War Alliance at war with the Luo Xing Society? You are here to arrest someone at this hour. It seems that this kid has offended Wang Shifu to death. Some people were discussing carefully. Some of these people are powerful and are prominent figures in nearby counties and towns. But they still have little confidence in facing the Mad War Alliance. I didn't see that the Huyang People's Front said they would not let people from the Falling Star Society and the Mad War Alliance in. But was it just blocking those minions? People like Xu Yusong can still come in and trade. At this time, several bald men on patrol outside broke in. They are all superpowers from the Huyang People's Front. And their faces are ugly. Xu Yusong, fighting with weapons is not allowed in the exchange. This has angered the Feudal Ming King. And your crazy fighting alliance has lost face. One of the superpowers stared at Xu Yusong and said gloomily, Don't dare. Don't dare. Zhu Yusong touched his pointed chin and looked at the group of bald men with a smile on his face. We know the rules. Please give us a quarter of an hour. We will deal with some things and leave immediately. Okay, just a quarter of an hour. The bald man pondered for a while, then turned and left without saying anything more. When the two people were talking, they didn't even look at Jiang Lusher and others during the whole process. As if they were nothing, Yang Tianzhou's heart sank. The superpowers from the Shanghai People's Front came in just now. He thought things would turn around. But he didn't expect that no one asked him a word at all. Captain Zhu, is there any misunderstanding? Yang Tianzhao forced a smile. I don't know what you mean. Why are you looking for Wanding Fa to ask me? These days, I have been mining in the mine with my group of people. Today just came out. Don't be pretentious. Zhu Yusong smiled coldly and suddenly kicked him. This kick was so powerful and heavy that Yang Tianzhao didn't take any precautions and was kicked to the ground. Yang Tian Zhao groaned in pain and kept winking at Jiang Lusher on the ground. He was anxious. And he knew that if he was caught this time, he would definitely not survive. But he didn't want to implicate Jiang Lusher and the others. Although these outsiders were doing business with him, they were also kind to him. Regarding Yang Tian Zhao's hint, Jiang Lusher seemed not to notice it, but frowned slightly. Zhu Yuzong's sharp eyes were firmly fixed on Yang Tian Zhao's face and he didn't pay attention to Jian Lusher next to him. You dog-like bastard! Dare to play tricks on me? Wanding Fa was ordered by our district chief to kill you and seize your mine. 
You are not dead. But others are missing. Do you think we are fools? Say, where are others? Captain, what nonsense are you talking to this kid? Just take him back. I have 10,000 ways to get him to talk. With an angry voice, a ferocious man with a line of iron wire sewn on his mouth and a steel hoop on his head said, issued from the mouth. This big man was holding a row of bloody torture instruments in his hands, which looked shocking. Idiot. At this time, two words popped out of Jiang Liuxiu's mouth. When he spoke, he looked at Zhu Yusong and others. Zhu Yusong was stunned. Although he had seen Jiang Liuxiu when they came in just now, how could he pay attention to a survivor without any power fluctuations? Now this ordinary survivor is openly insulting them. This. Does the sun rise from the west? Ordinary survivors dare to be so arrogant in front of superpowers. You're looking for death. Zhu Yusong grabbed Jiang Liuxiu's neck with his big hand. But unexpectedly Jiang Liuxiu flicked his hand away and slapped his palm away. This swing was sharp, accurate, and powerful. It hit Zhu Yotsong's arm like a hammer. Zhu Yotsong's arm trembled for a while, but it was open directly. He looked at Jian Lusher in surprise. This kid. Some tricks. Rwanding Fa is dead. I killed him. Jian Lusher said calmly. The others were slightly startled. What? Just admitted like this? No. The kid who spoke was an ordinary survivor. How could he not be able to kill Rwanding Fa? Their eyes couldn't help but become suspicious. Ha uh ha. -huh. You are so naive. Boy, you helped Yang Tianzhao take the blame. Do you think that the Mad War Alliance will let him go? I'm afraid you will die together. Old Man Qin looked at Jian Lusha and said with a smile, as if watch a joke. Anyway, buying and selling news every day is quite boring. Old Qin really likes to see this lively scene in front of him. Zhang Hai curled his lips and shook his head beside him. You guys are really idiots. Of course Wan Dingfa was killed by our brother Jiang. He was shot to pieces by our brother Jiang. Otherwise, with the strength of this kid Yang Tian Zhao, he has not eaten mutated beast meat for many days. How could he kill him? You have to get rid of Wan Dingfa. He looked like he despised the judgment of old man Qin and others, and pulled Yang Tian Zhao up from the ground. This Yang Tian Zhao is too weak and cannot dodge a kick. Anyway, following Jiang Lu Shi, Zhang Hai was not afraid of anything. He seemed a little bit dissatisfied that the matter was not big enough. And his mocking eyes glanced provocatively at the faces of everyone in the Mad War Alliance. Old Qin was so scorned by Zhang Hai. And his smiling face suddenly became a little ugly. But then he thought, what does he care about with this dead man? In his opinion, Zhang Hai and others were just holding onto the scene and saying some words before they died. Brother Jiang. Yang Tian Zhao couldn't help shouting to Jiang Lu Shi, who was both moved and anxious. Why is Brother Jiang so reckless? In this way, none of the three of them can escape. Snap, snap, snap. Suddenly, a burst of applause sounded from outside. I saw a middle-aged man wearing a fur cloak, with his hair combed back and sleek, walking and surrounded by a group of big men. He moves like a dragon and a tiger with a scorching gaze, and is very imposing. As he walked, he clapped freely, and his eyes rolled on Jiang Liuxiu's face indifferently. Boss! District Chief. Seeing this middle-aged man, Zhu Yusong and others couldn't help but say H, low in a hurry. Wang Shifu is here. The three of them are dead this time. Old Qin sat down next to him, took a sip of tea, and muttered, thinking of being able to get a hundred kilograms of mutated beast meat at will. He was quite happy. Anyway, it was no different from what fell from the sky. The quantity was not large, but it was still a change. You are very courageous. Since you admitted to killing Wanding Fa, I won't embarrass you, you just commit suicide. So as not to waste everyone's time. Wang Shifu glanced at Jiang Lu Shi and said calmly. His casual words announced the death penalty for Jiang Lu Shi and others. But Jiang Lu Shi, who was opposite him, stared straight at him, quite strangely, and didn't respond for a long time. At this moment, a voice echoed in Jiang Lu Shi's mind. Weak heterogeneous plant energy fluctuations were detected. Triggering the Base Vehicle's Hidden Evolution Project, Xenogenic Plant Cultivation Research Laboratory. Starseed's reminder sounded in Jiang Liuxiu's mind. Jiang Liuxiu was very excited after receiving this reminder. The last time he was reminded was when he was in Star City. That time, Starseed detected special energy fluctuations. In the end, they found the Fallen City, eliminated a special mutant zombie, and got a, a special second level mutant blood core obtained the third mode of the Base Vehicle. Jiang Lusher knew in his heart that Starseed rarely reminded him directly. 
This shows that this hidden evolution project's anagenic plant cultivation research laboratory is very important to the base vehicle. Then, he naturally locked on the source of energy fluctuations that triggered this star seed reminder. That source comes from Wang Shifu. Wang Shifu's dress was very strange. It was a hot day, but he was wearing a furry cloak and not a drop of sweat on his body. Jiang Liosher's intuition told him that the root of this look was definitely not as simple as Wang Shifu's pretense. That exotic plant should be hidden on Wang Shifu. Jiang Lusher thought to himself that he would definitely seize this opportunity. With Jiang Lusher staring straight at him like this, Wang Shifu's originally calm face gradually turned into two flames in his eyes. The boy opposite was really disrespectful to him. He is a powerful figure in Panju City, with more than a dozen superpowers under his command, who would not be respectful to ordinary people when they meet him. The boy in front of him not only showed no respect at all, but also showed no fear at the announcement of his death. On the contrary, the direct look that stared at him made him very unhappy. He allowed these people to commit suicide, which was already a gift, making their death less painful. But if it was his fault, then these people would suffer. And now, in view of Jiang Liusher's performance, he has decided to let his men take action and kill Jiang Liusher and others. By then, he will probably be scared to death, crying and wanting to die quickly. There are many other forces inside and outside the exchange. And even people from the Falling Star Society are watching. Wang Jingfu, as the district chief of the Mad War Alliance, will never be embarrassed by an ordinary survivor at this time. Brother Jiang, be careful. These people have murderous intentions for you. Ren Shiyu's voice suddenly sounded in Jiang Liusher's mind. Jiang Liusher didn't react at all. Because this was an obvious fact. Ren Shiyu detected murderous intent at this time. Probably because Wang Jingfu didn't care about their life or death at all before. And asked them to commit suicide casually. Which was no different from trampling an ant to death. Brother Jiang. Ying and Ling have passed by. At this time. Ren Shiyu said again. Jiang Liusher was startled. At this time. The wind roared behind him, and he only heard a few screams. The big men who were blocking the door were thrown out, wearing black leather pants, a leather jacket, a sexy figure, and the cattered Lolita Zero appeared at the door. Brother Jiang, team leader, Ling followed Ying to the left and right, sandwiching Jiang Lusher in the middle, and looked at the people around him warily. Jiang Lusher let out a long breath. Needless to say, one of the tasks of the base car steward is to protect Ying's safety. He is now in deep siege, and it is understandable that Ying comes in. As for Ling, Ren Shiyu must have been sent here, because he was too worried about his safety. Jiang Liosher's guess was correct. At this moment, on the concrete wall outside the Shanghai People's Front, there were a bunch of gatekeepers lying on the ground because of severe pain in their heads. Ling went with Ying. Brother Jiang should be much safer. Ren Shiyu let out a long breath. Just now, she performed a mental attack on everyone guarding the door. With the blessing of the evolution crystal, such a violent attack would have completely consumed her mental power in the past. But now she still doesn't feel tired. But her mental energy is quickly accumulated. She attacked so fast that Fudo Mingu didn't even have time to react. Oh! It turns out he's a pretty boy who relies on women for protection. Wang Shifu's pupil shrank, and a murderous glare erupted from them. Of the two women opposite, one was a superpower and the other was pretty good but in his eyes, they were still no different from dead people. Now Jiang Lusher was still looking at him over and over again, which made Wang Shifu feel very irritable. Old Qin's eyes lit up when he saw the shadow of Ling beside Jiang Lusher, and the old god who was beside him, drinking tea leisurely. District Chief Wang, wait a minute. There's no need to kill them all. These two girls are pretty good. Leave them to me. The old man. There are zombies everywhere in the market now, and all the women are sallow and thin. These two are good looking. My nephew must like it very much. Old Qin stared at Ying's graceful figure, almost drooling, and quickly begged Wang Shifu for mercy. He was afraid that Wang Shifu would get angry and suddenly kill the person in front of him in one breath. Wang Shifu originally wanted to take action, but after hearing what Old Qin said, his expression softened slightly. Although he was very powerful, he did not dare to offend this old man Qin. There is no other reason. The nephew, that old man Qin talks about is none other than Chang Shankai, the boss of the Mad War Alliance. Because of this relationship, old man Qin can be said to be a powerful influencer in Panju City. He even sells information at the Huyang People's Front Exchange and works as a pimp intermediary. All parties sell his face. The Huyang People's Front also confiscated old man Qin's land rent, 
which seemed to indicate a good relationship with Chong Shanghai. The Shanghai People's Front has always been neutral, and no force is easily offended anyway. Old Qin, since it's you who have spoken, I will definitely give you this face. These two women will stay. Wang Shifu smiled at Old Qin. District Chief Wang is a refreshing person. I like it. Old Qin showed two rows of big yellow teeth and also smiled. While talking and laughing, the two seemed to have decided the fate of Jian Lusher, Ling and the others. At this time, Jian Lusher and Ning opposite them were also talking. Brother Jiang, does the energy fluctuation of the exotic plant come from this person? Is he going to die or live? Ying's voice was calm. His white index finger pointed at Wan Shifu. And he looked at Jian Lusher questioningly. She and Jian Lusher were connected. When she rushed over, she had already exchanged some information with Jian Lusher and knew what Xing Zhong reminded him. No matter life or death, it's enough to get something. Jian Lusher said lightly. The conversation between the two of them reached the ears of Wang Shifu and Old Man Qin word for word. The smiles on the two people's faces froze. Chapter 400 Exotic Plant Energy A male lion watched two little white rabbits discussing seriously whether it was braised lion or fried lion. This is probably how Wang Shifu feels now. Wang Shifu's face turned pale instantly. Court death! He shouted loudly, and the veins on his neck emerged. The roaring voice was not like a human being and was forced out of his throat, making everyone's eardrums buzz. There were originally a few superpowers in the hall who could maintain their own strength. At this time, their faces turned pale, and they quickly slipped out of the hall. Wang Shifu's body seemed to be coated with a golden film, and even his hair turned golden. His strong muscles swelled so much that his clothes creaked and were about to burst. His shoulders leaned forward, his spine arched slightly, and his feet stamped heavily on the ground. There was a click on the marble floor, and fine lines broke into pieces. His whole body rose into the air, hitting Jian Lusher like a heavy cannonball. Jiang Hai! Jian Lusher let out a low drink. His figure pressed against the ground and flew out at an angle. With Jian Lusher's current physical fitness and reaction speed, he can dodge such an attack. Jian Hai, who was beside him, was well prepared. He took a big step forward. The muscles of his ten fingers swelled. And with a loud shout, he caught Wang Shifu's oncoming body. Kick! 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 Zhang Hai only felt a huge force coming that could not be resisted. And his steps retreated under the huge impact. Every time he took a step back, the ground cracked and cracked lines were created by his steps. He took five steps back in a row. And the entire ground seemed to have been plowed by some wild beast. Although he was reluctant, Zhang Hai still stopped Wang Shifu. When Wang Shifu broke out, the members of the Mad Fighting Alliance were already prepared. But there was no doubt that Jian Lusher and others were faster than them. Jian Lusher, who was flying over there, had 254 pistols in his hands before he could even stand up. His target was immediately aimed at the six big men with rifles from the surrounding Mad Fighting Alliance. Bang, 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 bang. Amidst the continuous gunshots, everything in front of Jian Lusher turned into slow motion. As soon as a big man raised his rifle, a bullet reached his temple. Bang. A big hole was drilled into the head. And blood spurted out. The sound of gunshots rang out like exploding beans. And after howls of agony, the big men with guns from the surrounding Mad Fighting Alliance were either shot in the head or shot through the heart by Jian Lusher. Plop. Plop fell to the ground. Many survivors who were standing outside watching the excitement had already looked for something to hide in. Some people directly hugged their heads and lay on the ground. They didn't expect that the young man who looked harmless, as if he was being manipulated by the Mad War Alliance, could be so powerful with a gun. Guns are deadly. Moreover, when firing with both guns, they take into account two completely different directions at the same time and can achieve accuracy. This is almost a sniper perspective close to 180 degrees. The miraculous marksmanship is chilling. The big man holding the torture instrument was furious, and his lips suddenly split open revealing a row of formidable steel teeth. He dived and shot his tongue towards Jian Lusher. His tongue was extremely long, and the green tongue coating had a strong corrosive smell, which was obviously poisonous. At close range, Jian Lusher could only turn over in a hurry to avoid the attack of the long tongue. Where he was standing just now, there was a white mark on the ground corroded by rot. At this moment, a thin figure with fine steel thorns growing out of his body hugged the big man holding the torture instrument and rolled him to the ground. It was Yang Tian Zhao. The big man's whole body was immediately pierced by dense steel needles. And he screamed in pain. However, his long tongue also wrapped around Yang Tianzhu's body. 
and white smoke suddenly emitted from Yang Tinja's body, quickly corroding the flesh and blood. The blood prick from the big man's body was also highly poisonous when it flowed to Yang Tianzhao. Wherever it was touched, holes were eroded in Yang Tianzhao's clothes. At this time, a figure fell from the sky. Ying's pretty figure fell down, and she stepped on the head of the big man who was holding the torture instrument. The hard skull made a popping sound under her feet. This shows the power of her kick. She kicked again, like a long whip, whipping hard at an incoming physical superpower, kicking the superpower staggering. This stinky bitch! The superhuman was startled and felt a sharp pain in his arm, as if it was about to be broken. The power he was proud of had no advantage at all in front of this beautiful woman with black leather boots and black leather pants. This woman was not a superpower. Why are these people who are not superpowers so powerful? Bang bang bang. Before he could straighten his body, a 54 mm pistol bullet penetrated his eyebrow. The superpower opened his eyes unwillingly, shook a few times, and fell to the ground. At this time, suddenly a figure flashed. Zhu Yu Song was seen holding two curved double knives, sprinting towards Jiang Lu Shi, who had just shot a supernatural being. His whole body was green, and his forehead was like an insect's compound eyes, covered with densely packed small eyes. His originally thin body was completely elongated, and his jumping ability and speed were as fast as a cheetah's. In Jiang Liu Shi's brain, he was able to capture Zhu Yu Song very quickly, quickly capturing Zhu Yu Song's movement trajectory in his mind. Jian Lusha raised his hand and shot. He never thought that Zhu Yusong would use an S-shaped dodge route, moving his body back and forth quickly to avoid the shot. Speed type? Jian Lusha was slightly startled. One of his bullets was dodged by Zhu Yusong. This was the first time he missed a shot after turning on his brain nerves. Very good marksmanship. But it's useless in front of a person like me, who has awakened the insect's bloodline and has speed powers. Zhu Yusong laughed ferociously. Not only is he fast, but he is also very slow when looking at people with his compound eyes. The compound eye of a fly contains 4,000 single eyes that can independently image and can see objects within almost 360 degrees. How could Jiang Lusher ignore the action of raising the muzzle of his gun? However, at this moment, a ghostly figure appeared behind Zhu Yotsong's head. The sharp dagger was like a death scythe, cutting directly into Zhu Yotsong's neck, sensing the sound of wind in his ears. Zhu Yotsong quickly turned around and saw the beautiful face of a calm, cattered Lolita. Her cat eyes were as clear and bright as gems, but they shone with indifferent murderous intent. Zhu Yotsong's face turned pale with fear. He hurriedly raised two scimitars and protected his neck at the critical moment. With a clang sound, he hurriedly blocked the fatal move and was so frightened that he broke into a cold sweat. But a strong force was transmitted from the dagger, firmly suppressing the two scimitars at his neck. Zhu Yusong is an agility user. Although he is fast, his strength is not good. He was suddenly suppressed by Zero and could not move. At this time, he heard gunshots again. It's over! Zhu Yusong was suddenly frightened out of his mind and wanted to run away, but found a sharp pain in his chest. Looking down, Zhu Yusong suddenly saw a big hole drilled into his chest and heart. He fell to the ground with a crash. The two 54 pistols in Jiang Liuzhi's hands kept making loud noises. He stood majestically in the middle of the hall, and his whole body seemed to be covered with eyes. People from the Mad Fighting Alliance, who rushed towards him from every direction would be found by his bullets. There were eight or nine corpses lying on the ground. Several of the superpowers were the focus of care and were suppressed for a while, hiding behind the wall unable to move. Zhu Yu Song? Wang Shifu was really angry when he saw Zhu Yu Song was shot. Zhang Hai, who had been holding Wang Shifu tightly, suddenly felt tremendous pressure. He grabbed Wang Shifu's hands and suddenly felt an incomparable power. This man is much stronger than Boss Tuan. A thought flashed in Zhang Hai's mind when he was sniping Yang Feng and Subei, the superpower he met. Boss Tuan was already the most powerful physical superpower he had ever seen, but he has become a lot stronger now. But the suppression he received against the former King Shifu was actually stronger than the time he met Boss Tuan. Zhang Hai felt as if the huge power of Wang Shifu's body was concentrated on his hands. Wang Shifu's arm muscles suddenly swelled again, and the golden membrane on his arm seemed to be flowing with mysterious golden light, and his strength surged again. Under this force, Zhang Hai's whole body was pressed so hard that his spine bent downwards, and he continued to retreat. Area? Zhang Hai was stunned for a moment, and understood instantly. It seems that Wang Shifu has also mastered the domain, but he has never used it just now. Now he is trying his best. Get out of my way! Wang Shifu suddenly grabbed Ning Hai, 
and threw his hands to the sky. At this moment, Zhang Hai was caught off guard. His forward force suddenly turned to the sky, and his whole body rose into the air. But he gritted his teeth and did not let go. His ten fingers were still wrapped around the arm in front of him. Ying's figure suddenly appeared above Wang Shifu's head, and his long legs fell heavily from the sky and hit his head. At the same time, Ling also appeared behind Wang Shifu like a ghost. If Ying kicks down, even the iron pillar will be bent. But when it landed on Wang Shifu's head, Wang Shifu remained unmoved. Instead, he grinned ferociously at Ying, pulled Zhang Hai up, and swung it hard at Ying. Zhang Hai and Ying collided instantly. There were a few crisp sounds, and Zhang Hai clearly heard the sound of his ribs breaking. Shadow also hit the wall hard and couldn't get up for a while. She specializes in strength, but her physical fitness is far from that strong. The impact just now was completely powerful enough to weigh thousands of kilograms. Even if he eats a lot of mutated beast meat, his defense is still inferior to that of a superpower who has a very powerful power and has gathered a lot of resources to pile it on himself. At this time, Ling's dagger had pierced Wang Shifu's back, but it only penetrated about half of a finger and was blocked by Wang Shifu's tough skin. With a wave of his hand, Ling was knocked away by Wang Shifu before he could recover. Bang bang. Two gunshots rang out, and he was hit by two bullets in the heart. Wang Shifu froze. But then he looked at Jiang Lusher and smiled ferociously. The place where his heart was shot was strangely black. Like jet black metal. There was a dent there, and two pistol bullets were lying inside. Wang Shifu shook his body, and the bullets fell with a bang. He roared wildly, and Jian Lusher dived over. The penetrating power of the 54 pistol is already terrible. Can it kill him? Or is the firepower not enough? Is his defense so incredible? Several thoughts flashed through Jian Lusher's mind. At this time, Wang Shifu's hands had already grabbed Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher quickly retreated. While retreating, he was able to react quickly and suppress the superhuman who was trying to get out of the wall. He quickly retreated to a place, raised his feet on the ground, and a gun lying on the ground entered his hand. That's a shotgun. Jian Lusher, whose brain nerves are activated, can bring every place on the battlefield into his field of vision. He can observe every movement and react accordingly. This shotgun belonged to a Berserker Alliance gunman who was killed by him just now. The cold muzzle of the gun was aimed right at Wang Shifu, who was rushing over. I don't believe you are not afraid of guns. Jian Lusher moved as fast as a swimming fish. Before Wang Shifu could catch up with him, he faced the shotgun. Wang Shifu was stunned when he saw the shotgun, and a look of fear finally appeared on his face. Just as he was about to run away, the shotgun in Jian Liosher's hand burst into flames. Boom! Countless powerful shotguns were poured into Wang Shifu's body in an instant. He was suddenly blasted more than 10 meters away, screamed, hit the wall hard, and then pressed against the wall. His body slowly slid down. It turns out you're not invincible. Jian Lusher looked at Wang Shifu's beaten body and said calmly. At this time, there was silence all around. The few surviving Crazy Alliance superpowers had lost the courage to continue fighting, and hid behind the wall and sneaked away into the distance. Jian Lusher walked up to Wang Shifu's body, opened his body with his feet, and looked at Wang Shifu's heart. At close range, he could see more clearly. Wang Shifu's heart was now completely dark, with a dent in it. Something like metal was tightly pressed against Wang Shifu's skin. Weak alien plant energy detected. Pulling down the metal like black thing. Jian Lusher heard a prompt from the star seed in his mind. Jian Lusher was startled for a moment. Is this metal like thing the source of energy from the alien plant suggested by star seed? What a coincidence. This thing is actually in Wang Shifu's heart. Touching this thing carefully. Jian Lusher felt a chilling coldness coming from above. He couldn't help but shuddered and a layer of fine goose bumps appeared all over his body. No wonder Wang Shifu still wears a big cloak on such a hot day and sticks something like this on his heart. It's no wonder it's not cold. Jian Lusher carefully stored this thing, picked up his pistol and shot three times in one direction. Originally, old man Qin shrank his head and carefully slipped out from the corner. Can't see me! Can't see me! He muttered silently in his heart as he walked. This group of people was actually able to kill Wang Shifu and his group. This fighting power, and this kind of crazy behavior made old Qin extremely scared. Suddenly there was a gunshot, and as soon as he raised his foot, three bullets hit the ground where he was about to land with great accuracy. Old Qin couldn't help but tremble all over, and when he turned around, his face was already filled with a flattering smile. This, this little brother, you have to spare others and spare them. 
You don't need to kill them all. Right. Old man. I am just confused for a moment. And I can't see the mountains. Old man Chin stammered. Jian Lusher said calmly. I want to find someone named Ran Yu Sha. Old Chin was stunned for a moment. And the figure of a woman flashed in his mind. And then, he was ecstatic. Ran Yu Sha? You know her. She is in my nephew's power. Old man Chin said. Boss Chin did know these murderers who were looking for Ran Yu Sha. And he also saw that these people were not looking for trouble for Ran Yu Sha. But had other things. In this case, he moved his nephew out. Maybe these people would take action. Who is your nephew? Jian Lusher frowned slightly. The boss of the Mad Fighting Alliance. Chong Shunkai. Old Chin raised his head with a proud smile on his face. But he didn't wait for the reaction of Jian Lusher and others. He only heard a faint oh. Then, a cold barrel appeared in front of him. Shotgun barrel. Boom. Old Chin's body was completely beaten to pieces. Jian Lusher calmly put the shotgun on his back. He was a person with clear grudges. If Old Chin dared to cheat on him, he must be prepared to die. As for the boss of the Mad War Alliance, Jian Lusher is the kind of person who would do anything to him if he pisses him off. So why would he care about this? As for Ran Yunch's safety, Jian Lusher was not unconcerned. But what happened today was bound to reach Chong Shinkai's ears. However, the only person who knows that they are looking for Ran Yun Sha is Old Chin. If he kills him, Chong Shunkai will naturally not know about the connection between them and Ran Yun Sha. Search Old Chin's body and pick up all the guns on the ground. Let's go! When Jian Lusher spoke, his eyes slowly swept across the crowd outside. The survivors who came to trade outside had all hid far away. Jian Lusher dared to kill even Wang Shifu and Old Man Chin. In their eyes, he was already a lawless murderer. Now, outside, there was a row of people from the Huyang People's Front who rushed over for reinforcements. There are more than a dozen superpowers among them. You dare to kill people here? Do you think I don't exist? A voice suddenly sounded in Jian Liusher's mind. 